Hey everyone, we've gathered around to make yet another goaded tier list. This time we're going to be ranking different bottled water on our tier list to determine which one is the best of the best. As a master drinker of liquids, I can assure you all that you will be given the best of the best regarding opinions. I bet you you love drinking liquids, Donald. Joe, stop being weird and let's start this list. Up first we got Arrowhead water and I'm going to be honest, gentlemen. It's not bad, but it's not great, it's good. So I think we have a B tier in our hands here. I uh, have to agree with this decision. I have nothing bad, but nothing great to say about Arrowhead water, honestly. Sounds great then. We'll move on to Poland Springs water, and I have never had this water. This feels like some Polish exclusive thing, honestly. I've had it, but it's not as good as Arrowhead and definitely not as good as life water. Yeah, Barack, I can't lie to you. The German within me wants to rank this Poland water low. I feel like that's a bit racist, but I'm gonna listen to you both and put it at C tier. Up next, though, we have a pretty good brand here. I like it a lot. I am a big fan of Life Water. I like the water, but that shape is too phallic. I do not enjoy that cylinder shape entering my mouth. It seems to me that you like that shit, Barack. On Baby Donald, I bet Barack likes some big and round wee-wee shaped objects, don't you? Good one, Joey. Okay, what the hell are you guys like sucking the whole bottle to drink it? The water is good though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you guys enjoy drinking it and we'll have some if it's there, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so basically you guys just want to place it lower just because of the shape and how you both weirdly suck the whole bottle instead of just drinking it like a normal person. Yeah. yeah. Why the hell do I talk to you two? I'll place it in A tier then. Anyways, we got Nestle water and I actually like this one too, but again, it's not as good as Life Water, so I'm placing it at B tier. I still don't like Life Water being that high, but I agree. Okay, so we're moving on to Niagara Water and... I have to stop you here, Barack. This is Niagara Water. This is not American. Fuck the Canadians in this water. What did the Canadians ever do to you, Donnie? I just don't like the way they look, so I say we make this water sea tier. God damn it, Donald. I just want you to know it was going there before you even said anything. I was not influenced by you at all. Now, I got a controversial one here, fellas. I'm putting Fiji Water at sea tier. They are scamming the shit out of you, America. I love Fiji water. What the hell are you on about Barack? Nah, he's spitting right now, Donald. A little lesson from Biden University for you all. Better not send any kids to that place. Ignoring that, did you all know that the Cleveland Water Department ran tests comparing a bottle of Fiji water to Cleveland tap water and some other national bottled brands? Fiji water reportedly contained 6.31 micrograms of arsenic per liter, whereas the tap water of Cleveland contained none. How's that for you, Donald? You were killing yourself drinking that. God, imagine having worse water than Cleveland. I'm no longer drinking that garbage brand. Exactly. Thank you, Joey, for the not so fun fact. And as for the next one on the tier list, I still like life water more, so I'm putting smart water at B tier. I agree, nothing smart about that water, to be honest. The fuck does that even mean, Joey? Just ignore him, Donald, because we have another A tier in here joining us, and that's Evian water. Quite honestly, I want to put this in S, but since there's such a small amount, I feel like it should be exclusive. Agreed. Evian water makes me feel like I'm climbing a mountain, and I quite like that. How about you actually climb off the chair and get some exercise, Donald? Joey, you shouldn't fat shame. It's not nice to make fun of someone's weight, you sleepy fuck. No, I wasn't making a joke. I am genuinely concerned about your health. Guys, please, we're almost at the end. Anyways, I have Dasani at D tier because that shit is absolute garbage. But I really like Dasani. I think it is overhated. Of course Joe would drink Dasani. God, that shit tastes like dirt water. Yeah, Joe, that shit is kind of garbage. I think I would rather die of dehydration than ever drink Dasani. Come on, guys, you don't really mean all that. No, I think we genuinely do mean that. If I was dying of thirst in the Sahara Desert and had the choice between RC Cola and Dasani, I would still choose the RC Cola even if I knew it was actively dehydrating me. Joey, we are not joking. I'm with Donald here. I'd rather go full Bear grills and drink my piss than have a drop of Dasani. Fine, you guys are just being bullies. More Dasani for me. Please keep every single bottle, dude. Okay, next we have Aquafina at A tier. Ooh, excellent choice here, Barack. Okay, now you guys are fucking with me. No way can you guys tell me Aquafina is in A tier. Ain't no fucking way. Joe, what's the matter? That is a completely great and logical take. Yeah, Joey, what's wrong with Aquafina? Nothing is wrong with it. It just feels like you guys are gaslighting me because there's no way this is true. How can Aquafina be so high, but Dasani is so low? You're in denial, Joe Bag. Your taste buds are just inferior. Yeah, Joester, you're just butt hurt right now. Anyways, we have Ice Mountain at S tier to end off the list. The flavor is just unmatched. Once again, Barack has struck gold instead of Holmes with his drones. 
I really enjoy the rich flavor that emanates from Ice Mountain. I have a full fridge of them. Okay, now what the f What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list. And this time around, Donald and Barack picked me to do this tier list because they know I am the meat expert. Yeah, no one really handles a sausage quite like you, Joey. Frankly, I might give you the title of the number one meat beater because no one tenderizes their meat like you do. Oh, thanks, Donald. I really appreciate nice moments like these. Well, what about you, Barack? Why did you choose me to do this list? I just want to sit back and see the chaos unfold just to keep it real with you. The chaos of all this meat being raided. Don't worry, Barry, as the meat expert, I will guide these meats carefully to your mind with these accurate ratings. Speaking of which, these meats got me salivating, That's so let's get said. started. Up first, we've got bacon, and I think we all know where this is going. You can put this one anything. I put bacon bits on my mac and cheese, my pizza, my eggs, like this is the most perfect thing to ever exist. I love me some bacon and will confidently place this into S tier. Okay, that's extremely valid. If you place this next one where it belongs, I may have to also deem you the Meat Master Joe. Prepare to crown me the king of meats because I have brisket going into S tier alongside bacon. Get a good brisket and it is simply game over. I will drool over this and will take a brisket sandwich over almost anything any day of the week. Get me some good sweet and spicy barbecue sauce alongside it and oh man, it is wraps for me because I will immediately go into a food coma. Holy W, Joey, I actually cannot believe what I'm witnessing. A good Joey tier list is crazy rare. I may have to buy a lottery ticket. No need for a lottery ticket, Donald. Simply get your money up instead of your funny up. Anyways, up next we got turkey. And unless it's turkey ham, I don't really jive with turkeys. Like, I feel like we eat it during Thanksgiving because of tradition, but no one else is eating turkey outside of it, and sure, it might be healthy. But this isn't about health. When I'm downing my brisket sandwiches, I do not care about my clogged arteries because I eat for the love of the game, and nothing will stop me from shoving these meats in my mouth. So for that, I will be placing turkey into a solid C tier. I'm afraid chicken clears it easily. Okay, Joe, but a Thanksgiving turkey slaps. Like, I feel like we are underrating this right now. Yeah, not very American of you to put turkeys that low, Joey. Listen, fellas, C tier is not bad at all, and I will eat turkey, but you can't tell me with a straight face to hand you a turkey leg over a steak or something. Anyways, up next, we got fish, and man, oh man, I love me some fish. I love the aroma, the texture, the taste, you name it. I love it, like having some grilled salmon belly or some fried fish and chips. Oh my God, call me schizophrenic because the surf and turf goes absolutely bonkers. Just for those things alone, I have to put fish into S tier. I do indeed love fish, but I would not say I'm a fan of the smell, Joey. Reminds me too much of your upper lip, if we're being honest. That's because I'm a muncher. If you know, you know. Up next, we got ground beef, and I like ground beef, but solo, it doesn't stand on its own that much. It's definitely good as an addition to certain dishes like spaghetti, rice, nachos, you name it, and it probably makes it bang. But you'd have to be a meat demon to eat just ground beef alone with nothing else. And to be honest, I'd respect the hell out of you. As for a rating, I think this would belong in B tier. Still a step above turkey, but not quite an A tier. I feel like that's a pretty valid line of reasoning. You know, Joe, so far nothing outrageous has been said, but I am quite interested to see what you have to say about sausages. We will get there when we get there, but right now we got back-to-back -back heavy hitters because I got steak and chicken both going into S tier. Give me a juicy medium rare steak, which by the way is the only way to have steak. I'll also allow medium well, but I'm a diehard steak fan. Then when we talk about chicken, oh man, grilled or fried, it is guaranteed to bring you happiness. Like I cannot stress how miserable my life would be without the invention of fried chicken. Big dubs on these two ratings, Joe. Looking at this list, it's just so hard to rate anything low because every person knows how delicious meat is. On God, Donald, I do have some things going lower though, but for all my sausage haters, I'm afraid I will not be doing that to these delicious meat rods. You can literally make a sausage out of anything and they will fit perfectly in your mouth hole, which is why I have these going into A tier. I love me some sausage and will happily eat hot dogs whenever they're available. So if you like it so much, why is it being placed in A instead of S tier? Because every time I eat a sausage or hot dog, freaking Donald has to yell out, hey everyone, he's about to eat a glizzy. And then everyone stares at me and I then I get nervous and end up throating the glizzy in front of everyone. But that won't stop my love for them. But sad story aside, up next we got lamb, huh? Well, I don't really have a strong opinion on lamb. I had it once and it tasted a bit gamey, but it wasn't awful. But based on my 
one and only tasting. I have to say it belongs in C tier, but more importantly, we have to talk about lobster and I will keep it real with everyone. Lobster is a bit overrated, like we hear about how everyone is twerking for lobster and how they would drench it in butter and stuff. But it's not that amazing. I think it is extremely overhyped, but still delicious. Like I would not pay a lot for lobster, but if it is there, I'll eat it. And for that, I think I will be placing it into B tier. Like it's pretty good, but again, too many people suck it off. Just like the way you suck off those glizzies, right, Joe? But aside from you sucking those dogs like a vacuum, I have to say that you just haven't had good lobster because it bangs every time I have it. You got to make sure you go somewhere where it's the specialty, like you can't be in the Midwest of America expecting to have some nice and fresh lobster. Yeah, I actually have to agree here with Donald. You have to go somewhere where you can get it fresh, like just caught and was living a happy life in whatever tank it was in and then getting murdered because you ordered him off the menu. For something like this, you got to go to like Maine or something to get some super fresh lobster, Joey. No, I don't think I will. Up next, we got some pepperonis, and I feel like this is a very limited meat. Like, it's still good, don't get me wrong, but you can't do much with pepperonis, I feel like. Maybe they'll go on a sandwich or pizza, but you can't do much else with them. So I feel like a C tier is warranted. Now that I'm looking at the next entry, I also have to say that salami belongs in C tier as well. Like, it's also delicious, but man, you can't do much with it. I do like salami sandwiches, though. Really? because I think you're not a fan of either of these because we kept making fun of your nipples that one time at the beach. Yeah, we kind of tag teamed you that day. We had Donald calling you pepperoni nips most of the day, and then I uh, piled on and called you salami tits. I blame the alcohol because of all of that. Don't take it personally, Joe. It was a personal attack from me. Please do take it personally. Listen, I don't care. I have pretty thick skin, so like, I don't care about those very rude and hurtful comments and uh, totally didn't keep my shirt on after that because I let it get to me, ha ha. I just got cold at the beach, so I had to start wearing something because I like to stay warm. Nothing more than that. And you should stop reading into that day. Anyways, up next we got ham and oh man, I do love me some ham. But it had me thinking, when do we ever eat ham if it isn't on sandwiches? Like I have ham during Thanksgiving, but not during any other time, unless it's on a sandwich because that bangs. So taking all that into account, I think I have to place ham into B tier. Like it's still good, but I don't really have it that much. Seems to me like you do not have very thick skin, but who am I to judge? But anyways, I still think ham is elite, even if it isn't had very often. Like get me slice of Thanksgiving ham with some cranberry sauce on top and we are set. Plus, wouldn't ham in general be like needed because what else would you put on sandwiches? Well, I mean, it isn't super needed because you can always put bologna or like salami or pepperoni on your sandwiches. Plus, I don't think it means that type of ham if we're being honest. I mean, look at the picture. It is clearly talking about a big piece of ham, but the rating stands. Let's just go up next and we got pork and man, oh man, pork is freaking yummy. Like I could name off lots of things that encompass pork, but I'll leave you all with one simple food pulled pork sandwiches. Jesus, man, I will kill someone for a pulled pork sandwich. And I think that much praise gets it into A tier. I would place it higher, but I know there are some pork haters in the world who unfortunately will never eat this delicious piece of meat. But Joe, you have bacon up there, and that is almost most certainly pork. So like, what the hell are you even waffling about? What if I told you that I was talking about turkey bacon? Also, I'm pretty sure beef bacon might be a thing, so like pork bacon isn't the end all be all, so make sure you get your facts straight. But well, uh, in this particular case, you just so happen to be right because I was talking about pork bacon. But you know what? I don't care. And I don't mind having pork below bacon, even if that makes no sense, because this is my list and you can't do anything about it. Now, finishing this all off, I have shrimp wrapping everything up. I got these little suckers going into A tier. They're delicious, and despite being bottom feeders, they are nutritious as hell and are good in almost any manner that they are prepared. Okay, let's relax now. I agree with the rating based on flavor, but let's get one thing straight. I wouldn't say they're little, more like average. Yeah, Donald has a point. You're trying to make shrimps sound like a whole ass snack, but in reality, jumbo shrimp fills you up, man. I do agree that the other shrimps are teeny tiny though, but have enough of those and you'll get stuffed. Uh, I was talking about the other shrimps, Barack, not the jumbo ones. Quite frankly, if you ask me, the jumbo shrimps are a bit too big, and at that point, it's not enjoyable, right? 
Like no one likes things that are too big because then they just don't feel, I mean, taste good. Well, I like both big and small shrimp, but uh, this feels like we're not talking about shrimp anymore. But to be honest, I like where this conversation is going. Uh, I don't think I do. What is up, gang? We are back at it again with another tier list, and unfortunately for everyone, we have to do a vegetable one. Donald and Barack said I wasn't allowed to do another tier list unless I do this one, even though I barely eat veggies. Literally, the other day I saw you munching on raw onion like you were Shrek or something, bro. How are you going to say that you barely eat veggies? Ew, did he really do that? Listen, don't knock it till you try it, and there's a reason why Shrek be eating his onions like that, but just because I like that doesn't mean I like them all. That being said, I have had most, if not all, of the vegetables on this list. And immediately, I want to start this list off by saying that artichoke is terrible and belong in D tier. I hate it. And if you love artichokes, then I would probably hate you too. Actually, uh, I take that back. I wouldn't hate you. Sorry I said that. Way to freaking backpedal on your comments, Sleepy Joe. This is why you can't establish a loving relationship with your son. Oh, you're right. Uh, I don't think those two things correlate, Joe, but let's not bring up Hunter and instead continue on with the list, please. Dude, I wish I could, but what the hell is arugula? Are we still talking about vegetables or is this shit a Pokemon? I have never seen this or tasted this, but it looks a lot like kale, and I freaking hate kale, so I have to place it into F tier. Common Joey L, I personally love arugula. Do you actually? No, but if Joe hates it, then it has to be good for something. That thing looks like poison ivy. If you like it, you may as well go outside and munch on some grass, bro. But enough of that, let's move on to an actual good vegetable, and that is asparagus. If you don't like asparagus, then quite frankly, I don't think I like you. Ooh, way to get them, Joey. That'll teach them. I'm just saying how I feel because some roasted asparagus hits and makes a great side dish if you're eating something meaty. And as we all know, I am the meat expert. Donald even said I am the best meat beater out there, so you all know I am pretty much bona fide. I can confidently say I need some roasted asparagus alongside my steak just to expand my flavor palette and introduce my tongue to a melody of flavors. And for that, I have to give asparagus an A tier. A melody of flavors. When did you decide to start using your brain more, Joey? Ever since I've been putting young Sheldon on loop, I swear my brain has expanded to like triple its normal size. I think I can hear people's thoughts. Guess what I'm thinking right now? Hold on, let me focus in with all my powers. Hung, uh, uh, hung, uh. Brain Blast, you're thinking about young Sheldon, aren't you? No, I was thinking about how your son doesn't love you. Yikes. Well, uh, at least I tried to guess it, and I'm sure Sheldon would have appreciated that. Anyways, up next we got avocado, and I'm pretty sure that's a fruit, but the list maker must have not seen enough young Sheldon to know that. But alas, I will rank it in this tier list, and this is an obvious S tier. Like we suck this fruit off in our fruit tier list, which you should all see if you haven't already. Let's just head on to our next one, and that is beets. I actually don't mind these a lot, and it's cool how multifunctional they are. Like, I think you can use them for red dye, and like they have a ton of iron in them, which is good for us. They kind of taste like nothing, which is a W in my opinion, and I think a B for beets is a solid assessment. I don't like go crazy for beets, but a motherfucker like me would partake in some beetery. Did you learn that beets can be used as dye from young Sheldon Joey? No, what the fuck? Why does everything have to relate to young Sheldon, bro? You need to go outside more often. Anyways, up next we got bell peppers, and I think a solid B tier is in order for these. I like them, but I don't really like them that much, if that makes sense. I'll eat these on my pizza because they add a nice extra crunch, and they're nice to add in for your chicken and rice. But again, I do not go crazy for these things. Then while we're at it, we may as well grade broccoli, and I do indeed fucks with broccoli, and I think it's a better add-in for different foods than bell peppers. Like some steamed broccoli slaps, and you the juiciness from it adds to the food that you're eating. I think an A tier is in order. Broccoli does not slap that much Sleepy Joe, you're insane. The so-called juice you're tasting from the broccoli is just water from the steam bro. You're literally confessing to liking broccoli water. And so what if I do? You're gonna take me to the cops or something. Yeah, I didn't think so, bro. Maybe your fat ass could use some more broccoli in your diet with your overgrown Oompa Loompa ass. Uh hmm. sorry about that. I just won't take any broccoli slander, but you all can slander the next two because I am very indifferent towards Brussels sprouts and butternut squash. Like these are both okay, like Brussels sprouts are overhated in my opinion, but yeah, I think a solid B tier for them both is in play. 
I don't even remember the last time I've had butternut squash, if I'm being honest. Like, I literally cannot recall the time I had it. Uh, it's slightly better than what I have going into C tier. But if anyone was expecting cabbage to go there, then you will be upset to learn that I actually have cabbage going into A tier. I think it's pretty good, especially when you have it accompanied with the right dishes, but more importantly, everyone, we have an actual S tier coming through, and that is carrots. I love carrots so much, and I would even juice my carrots sometimes, and if you combine that with some OJ, then you got yourself the healthiest banger of a drink on your hands. Plus, by itself, it's good as hell, too. Like you can smack on some baby carrots as a snack if you got some munchies. Like some baby carrots and hummus, absolutely slap. Baby carrots and hummus? Way to get real ethnic here, Joey. See me personally, I'd rather just have my carrots with ranch, but I'm glad you actually placed this where it belongs. I feel like carrots can go in almost every dish. On God, Donald. I'm glad we could agree on that, but anyways, up next we got cauliflower, and I think I like this almost as much as broccoli. I think a solid A tier is in order, because I mean, who doesn't like cauliflower? And actually, now that I think about it, it may actually be better than broccoli. This next veggie, though, I am pretty conflicted about. I like celery a decent bit and can eat it with some peanut butter, but what else is celery used for? Dude, it's often used in soup, like a lot, actually. Oh, then I guess I'll put it in A tier. I just like it with peanut butter, though, but more importantly, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing because I spot two back-to-back -back monsters? Corn is an absolute S tier, and I don't want to see anyone arguing otherwise because I will eat corn in almost anything. Sure, it may have next to no nutritional value, but I personally love the flavor enough to not care. And I think it's funny that my poop has little corn pellets. Then we got cucumber, and oh man, I love me some cucumber. I also think this is technically a fruit, but it won't matter because it's an S tier either way, like some cucumber lime Gatorade slaps and some cucumber sandwiches absolutely bang. What in the hell is a cucumber sandwich and why does it sound so cursed? It's actually pretty good. It's cucumber with cream cheese and some people add other stuff to it, but I keep it plain. That sounds almost okay, but couldn't you just make normal sandwiches? Huh, I guess I could, especially since I'm not a vegetarian, uh-huh. Uh, well, either way, it doesn't matter. And up next, we got edamame, and I think this is a banger that belongs in A tier. Some salty edamame in my mouth sounds so good, and then I got eggplant, and I genuinely have never had eggplant in anything aside from having eggplant lasagna once. And they replaced all the pasta layers with eggplant. I think a B tier is good for this. Why was it eggplant lasagna? I don't know, dude. Maybe because it was vegetarian or something. Dude, that makes no sense at all. Why would they replace the pasta if they were gonna make it vegetarian? Huh, uh, now that you mention it, it still uh, had meat and cheese, so it couldn't have been vegan or vegetarian. Well, I guess I just got scammed. I don't know what else to say there. Up next, we got the best vampire repellent, and that is garlic, and I am a huge fan of garlic. It adds flavors to your food and is amazing on bread as a spread. I think this is an instant S tier for being yummy and defending you from vampires. Joey, how many times do we have to tell you that vampires aren't real? You go ahead and think that, man, but once you get bit by a vampire from San Francisco and wish you had your garlic on you, don't go crawling back to me. Yikes from San Francisco, that would be game over, bro. Yeah, because they would bite you in style, but anyways, after that we got some ginger and jalapenos. I think ginger's all right and would add that into B tier. I'm not really a huge fan of it, but I respect it as an ingredient that probably gets added to my food without me knowing. And as for jalapenos, I think that's our first C tier, fellas. Like there are better chilies out there and jalapenos are so whatever. Just say you can't handle the spice, Joe. I saw you dying from hot Cheetos the other day. I don't want to hear it from you, man, but oh God, we have my worst fear up next. And that's kale. It's pretty garbage, but arugula looks like poison ivy. I'm at a crossroads, but I think I'd rather have kale going into D tier. Then after we got leeks and I don't know, place this into B tier, I guess. You spent the whole list just shitting on kale and yet you didn't take this opportunity to place this into F tier. What the hell, Joey? Yeah, I just don't know. The arugula really threw me off. And again, this is my list, so no arguing with the Joe dog. And up next we got lettuce and mushrooms. I have something to tell everyone and that is that lettuce is overhyped. It has no nutritional value at all. The better thing to put in your sandwiches is spinach, and that's a life hack for everyone listening. But I will admit it adds flavor to your burgers. So I will not disrespect lettuce too much and give it a solid C tier alongside jalapenos. Mushrooms, however, they get special treatment from me, and I will place them into A tier. I know there are a lot of mushroom haters, but I love them in my pasta, my pizza, you name it, and I will love it.
I like the lettuce take, but mushrooms taste like wet Lizzo ass, bro. Well, then I'd love me some of that then, but more importantly, what the hell is an okra? It looks like a messed up piece of corn. Uh, no clue. Yeah, same. Well, I'll put this into F tier, and you all already know where I'm going to place onions at, so no need to explain the S tier ranking, because these are simply elite. And next up, we got peas and potatoes, and I like me some peas and think they should get a solid A tier ranking, but more importantly, we got potatoes. And that's an honest to God as tier for me. Maybe it's the Irish blood inside of me begging me to place these that high. But when have you ever heard of someone complaining about potatoes? Uh, the people who try to lose weight, that's a lot of carbs. And you need those carbs for energy. Come on, guys, it's simple, young Sheldon science. Up next, we got pumpkin and radishes, and pumpkins are kind of whatever. I think Barack rated it higher on the fruit tier list because I think it was on there too, but I give it a solid C tier. And as for the radishes, I also give that a C tier. How is pumpkin so low? Like there's a reason people get excited for fall because they get their pumpkin flavored desserts. Yeah, well, I don't care because these are veggies. Now settle down and let me talk about these next two, which are indeed some bangers. And we all know I love normal onions and oh boy, if we mention red onions. Well, uh, I actually like them less, but still an S tier for me. And honestly, I don't know why I hyped up scallions so much. Hmm, uh, I think they're an A tier. Joe, your mind is actively rotting as you're making this tier list. My mind is as sharp as ever. It's sharper than a knife, actually. A cool knife, but anyways, we got spinach next. And I definitely am a spinach guy. It adds extra iron to your meal and has fiber instead of just being a whole load of nothing like lettuce. I think that alone gets it A tier and it would go higher, but admittedly, it doesn't taste the best. Kind of like our next entry, which is sweet potato, and I do not like it that much, especially when compared to normal potatoes. It still gets a B tier from me because you can do some good stuff with it, not gonna lie. Up next, we got a good veggie up next though, and that's the tomato, the real showstopper. Now I know a lot of don't like it, but I love tomatoes. I can eat cherry tomatoes like they're candy and they're full of all the good nutrients you'd want while also making your food better. An S tier is needed for this veggie. I'm pretty sure that's a fruit too. Shut the hell up, Barack. You think I don't know that already. I did not make this list, so stop telling me that. Uh -huh. And wrapping up this list, we got turnips and zucchini, and I think they're both pretty all right. I think a C tier would be nice for the both of them. Who the hell actually likes turnips, bro? Maybe some people do, Donald. You can't judge. Yeah, Donald, maybe some people love to turn up like a turnip. <laughs> Joe, kill yourself. Hello, everyone. It's me, the master grinder, the Don himself. I am here to rank ramen flavors since Joe and Barack were really excited to do this one. I just suggested I do the list due to my superior taste buds. Donald, I'm honestly surprised you wanted to do this one, especially since Joe is a big fan of ramen. I sure do love noodles. They're just so easy to make and are a great snack. Joe did the last list, and I'm not fucking letting him do another, but let's start this list off with roast chicken ramen. Who the fuck has ever had this one? Ooh, I have Donnie. I really like the flavor, but I prefer the original chicken. See, Donald, maybe Joe should do the list instead. He is not doing the goddamn list. It is my turn, and I said I was going to do ramen. I'm putting it in C tier. Next, I have the chicken flavor at A tier, man. This was a real lifesaver when all I had to live off of was the small loan my father gave me back when I was a youngin. Wasn't that loan like a million dollars? Listen, Joey, a small loan is a small loan. A man like you wouldn't understand the hardship I had to go through. I remember once I had to dip into my savings to fully buy one of my many apartment complexes in full. Real big struggle there, Donnie. Did you also use part of that loan for Stormy Daniels? Uh... Next, we have beef flavor at D tier. It literally tastes like someone put dog food into my noodles, cooked it with Dr. Pepper, made the noodles out of clay, and then proceeded to run them through feces before serving it to me. Donald, don't say that. What if people genuinely like that flavor? I'll believe that people really like this flavor once Lizzo stops lying to everyone about being vegan, because ain't no way that is possible. Moving on, we got the picante chicken, and this nice bit of spice makes it better than the normal chicken flavor and moves it up to S tier. Amazing take here, Donnie. I'm genuinely surprised you like the spiciness it adds, but that flavor really does one up the OG chicken. I know I'm amazing, what can I say? I know they say God sculpts everyone in his own image, but he must have been in his bag when making me. Anyways, next up, we also have shrimp in S tier because that is the staple ramen flavor I always used to get. Surviving in the slums of the Jamaica estates, I remember opening up this for a nice snack. Isn't that place like a pretty good neighborhood? Joe, you know nothing of my struggles. 
No, uh, I just pulled it up. This place looks pretty nice to live in. The place was infested with illegals, Joe. Sure, most of them were gardeners, construction workers, maintenance guys, and restaurant workers, but I felt danger around every corner. Wow, Donald, you know they were probably really good, hardworking people. Good people can do bad things, Barack. Remember, the McChicken used to be only a dollar, but now they are damn near three dollars. I remember thinking back then McDonald's were the good guys, but then they blindsided their number one consumer, which is me. I've been filled with nothing but vitriol and hate for the franchise ever since. Sure, I still buy their stuff like every other day, but I'll never forget that my precious McChicken is no longer a dollar. But moving past all that, who the hell has ever had creamy chicken ramen? I've never even heard of that before this list. Who is making these flavors? This seems like a Joe type of flavor, something senile people would enjoy. I have never had it before, Donnie, but it sounds delicious. I feel like I would have remembered a creamy chicken ramen if I ever had it. Let's be honest, Joe, you most definitely wouldn't have remembered. Up next, we have the Oriental flavor. I once again have never had this. The only type of Oriental I like are the people and their massages, if you get what I mean. I don't get what you mean. What's cool about a massage? Just forget it, Joe. You wouldn't get it. Be glad you don't get it, Joey. That's how Donald is getting in trouble for the stormy thing. Can we give up that bit already? This next flavor must have been in Mexico only or something, because I've never seen the chili flavor. I've had it before. See, Donald, this is why I should have made the list. I think that's a decent flavor. Joe, you did the last one. I am doing this one, and I have never had it. Your opinion is invalid since I already gave you one. So why even do this tier list, Donald, plus Joey listened to you on his other lists? He doesn't get shit after that Sun Chips fiasco. And next we have the roast beef flavor, which is at D tier, because that is garbage. Probably tastes like Joe's wife. Probably tastes more like Stormy, you orange fuck. Joe, did I not just say to drop that? Let's proceed with the list. This next item is peak and tay beef, and this is a D tier. It also tastes bad. It's like someone added hot sauce to boiled hot dog water to add to my ramen that was already made out of raw sewage. You know what? I've never heard someone describe it like Donnie. I know, I know. I'm a genius, a wordsmith, a poet, practically a full-fledged writer. I mean, I do have a book, and up next I have chicken mushroom ramen at B tier. It's good, but I tend to prefer the original chicken more. Same can be said about the lime shrimp, just because I tend to like the originals more than the variants. However, the lime chili shrimp is slightly better, so I have that A tier accompanying the chicken flavor. Whoa, don't you think you're going a little too fast, Donald? You gotta really soak in the flavors and describe them. Joe, for the last goddamn time, this is my list and I refuse to hear anything about it. All my decisions are final and this is the absolute correct list. Some say this is the best list. All right, Donnie, time for the most important one. Where do you place the pork-flavored ramen? I place it at D tier for do not eat as it is haram, inshallah, my brothers, and mashallah to all living life. Wait, what the fuck? What's going on, gang? Me, Barack, and Donald are going to rank some chips on our tier list. Let it be known Donald is probably the most qualified for this. Why, thank you, Barack. I appreciate the fact that you know about my superior taste buds. I think he just meant you're the most qualified because you look like you eat the most chips out of all of us. You calling me a fat ass, you sleepy motherfucker? Uh, let's get this list started with Cheetos. How we feeling on that, fellas? Solid starter chips. I like them, but I've never heard someone say, yo, get me some regular Cheetos. Barack is right. Ain't no way a sane person would go and say, please give me some regular Cheetos. Like, if they're there, then I'd eat them, and they're not bad either. They're okay. Safe choices belong in C, and next up we have Funyuns, and I personally am an onion man, so I like them a lot. No wonder your breath fucking reeks, Joe, but they are pretty nice chips, but not the best. Yeah, they're slightly better than Cheetos, so I'd say B tier is solid. All right, sounds great. Next up is Lay's Salt and Vinegar, and I'm a huge fan of these. Ain't no way you're a fan of these, Joey. If you took one bite out of these, you'd crumble to dust. I swear I love these. Yeah, they're okay, but let's not overrate them, Joe. It is just salt and vinegar. And what more could you want from salt and vinegar? Say the end of vinegar, Joe. Why? Don't fall for that, Joe, but I know you love these chips, but I'd say me and Donnie would put them at B tier, right? Yeah, they're good, but not that good. Fine, I'll move them to B tier, but you guys better put these next chips high because I love spicy sweet chili Doritos. I gotta admit it, Joe. These are underrated, to be honest. As a man with great taste buds, I like the little tang these chips have, but they're not the best Doritos. Oh, I agree, but I'm thinking A tier is good for these. And the spicy nacho Doritos up next, I'm giving a B tier while I'm ranking the Doritos. Yeah, they're not as good as the originals, in my opinion. Agreed. Next, I'm putting Pringles Original at B tier because they're solid as well. Can't go wrong with Lay's or Pringles Originals. 
Good take, Joe. Not everything needs to be fancy. I just hope you guys don't get too upset at my next take because I have barbecue lays at B tier as well. No fucking way you have these the same rank as original Pringles. Like, I know I just praised them, but what the fuck, Joe? Nah, he's spitting right now. Lay's barbecue chips are weaker compared to other barbecue chips. Like any kettle cooked, one blows it out of the water. On God, Barack, and with that, I'm putting Ruffles original at D tier because the ridges hurt my mouth. Yeah, you ever bite one the wrong way, and next thing you know, the roof of your mouth is bleeding? Too many times, Donald. And next, I have Cool Ranch Doritos at B tier because they're solid but are outclassed by the other flavors. Agreed. And with that, our first S tier is coming up, and I'm proud to say that it is sour cream and onion. I have to agree with that. Alone cheddar and sour cream are good. But combined, they are elite. Those make me want to come with how good they are. Have you guys tried the LeBron chips? The chip is good as fuck, Donnie. We gonna ignore what he first said? Okay, fine. Ooh, one of my personal favorites is coming up, and those are original Sun Chips. I want to put those at B tier. Fuck no, you aren't. They are going to D tier. Who the fuck says they like original Sun Chips? Yeah, Joey put that shit in D tier. Fine, we can put it in D tier, but Cheddar Sun Chips have to go in B. That's fine, Joey. Those aren't bad. Now, here's a sleeper chip, and that's the Chili Fritos, which I'm putting in A tier. That's an actually good sleeper, Joe. Waking up for that, take Mr. Sleepy. Thanks, guys. Hope you guys like classic Lay's at A tier as well, since it's a classic, as the name implies. Can't go wrong with that. The next two I have at S tier, and that is both the Nacho Cheese and Flaming Hot Limon Doritos. The Nacho Cheese is a classic and deserves its spot, and the Flaming Hot one is just so fucking good. I see too many illegals enjoying the Limon-flavored things, Joe. I don't know about that one. No, Trump. Trust me that Joe is spitting right now. Then I have Sour Cream and A. Another banger. Thanks, Barack. Next, I have Fritos at D tier. I wouldn't even feed this shit to my dog. On God, that shit is gross as fuck. We need to deport all those fucking chips. Next, I have Cheeto Puffs at B tier because I like grabbing a bunch of them and chew them till I have a huge glob of cheese in my mouth. What in the ever-living fuck, Joe? They're good, but who the fuck does that? I like having the big glob and then swallowing it. So, uh, where are you ranking Cheddar Pringles? They're pretty good, and generally I'm a fan of Pringles, so I'm putting them at A tier. I can get behind that, but the sour cream and cheddar would be higher, correct? Yes, and up next we got these god-awful Frito scoops. Another D tier, honestly? Who the hell eats these? I would rather be a blood-sucking vampire in San Francisco than ever eat those chips. Next, I'm putting sour cream lays at B tier. Whoops, accidentally moved original Sun Chips to B. This fucker did that on purpose. Joe Buddy, move that back to where it belongs. Wow, guys, so next I have hot Cheetos at S tier. We all know it would be there, Joe. Now fucking move the Sun Chips. Joey Buddy, please. And lastly, I got hot Cheeto puffs at B tier. Joe! Fine, guys, I'll do what everyone wants, what everyone is thinking. I make my lists with honor and integrity, and I plan to take your guys' opinion on this, and I won't just ignore it. I am a man who carries himself highly and will never make people upset. I will make a move. Thank Christ. Thank you. I will move Lay Sour Cream to A tier. Motherfucker. What is going on, gang? Your favorite presidential trio is back, but this time we're going to be grading Gatorade flavors, and seeing as how I am the most athletic of the group, I'd say I'm the most qualified to make this list because I constantly drink Gatorade. Joe, you are definitely not the most athletic person here. I doubt you'd be able to beat Donald in a race, even though he's as big as Lizzo. Why the hell did I catch that stray? And weren't you the one that kept saying we shouldn't do Lizzo jokes? Yeah, but she's canceled now and was fat shaming other people. Imagine how fat you gotta be to have Lizzo call you out on your weight. Probably some huge chungus of a person. Okay, but none of that matters because I am making the freaking list because I drink the most Gatorade. You know what, I will give you that because I know for a fact you only drink Dasani water. And when that isn't around you, exclusively drink Gatorade. I already know your pee is darker than amber. The harsh yellow in my pee is my power level and I wear that with pride. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started because I'm getting a bit tired. Up first, we got Fruit Punch Gatorade, and this one is like basic, but it's a very good basic. No one has ever rejected Fruit Punch Gatorade. It's a solid A tier for me because it's not the best, but I believe it is universally liked. Sleepy Joe, what if someone doesn't like that flavor? It's not too crazy to say someone doesn't like Fruit Punch. How the hell does someone not like Fruit Punch? Like, I'd get it not being your favorite, but that shit just tastes like fruit. Like it doesn't even have a real flavor because it's a bunch of fruits mixed together. The literal flavor is fruit. You cannot hate fruit. Okay, he actually spat there. I can't even lie. I always be spitting.
Anyways, up next, we got citrus cooler, and this is pretty decent. I don't think it's as loved as fruit punch, but it deserves a solid B tier, if I'm being honest. Then we go back to A tier with the Arctic Blitz, and I just want to ask this question. What the hell is Arctic Blitz supposed to taste like? I can tell you one thing, though. The Gatorade Company nailed it with that flavor. I may not know what it's supposed to taste like or what flavor it is, but if you drink an Arctic Blitz when it's cold as hell, you get exactly what they mean. Like... I don't know how else to explain it, but it's an amazing A tier for me. Joe, you're spitting, so don't worry. Having these cold is a game changer. I really like this flavor, but not as much as the Glacier Freeze, if I'm being honest. Dude, we will get to that, but we have to talk about what I honestly think is one of the most overhated flavors, and that's orange. I still don't think it's better than anything we have on the list. And whenever you tell a motherfucker you got orange Gatorade, they look at you kind of funny. And for that, I will have to put it into C tier, but it's not that bad. It's me, Joey. I am the motherfucker who will give you the meanest stare down if you try handing me an orange Gatorade. I think I'd rather just drink water at that point. Yeah, Joe lost me with that one. I think he only likes it because it resembles the color of his piss. Okay, it does look like my piss, but that's aside from the point. Moving on, we got our first S tier, and that is the Fierce Strawberry. God damn, is this shit good. I love strawberries, so that probably plays to my bias, but I think it is one of the best Gatorade flavors to exist. And you know what? I'm going to carry the momentum from that selection and say something that might trigger some folks. I think the lime cucumber flavor we got coming up is a solid B tier, and I'm tired of pretending that it isn't. It's a solid flavor, and sure, I won't have a whole fridge full of these, but every now and then, the lime cucumber combo hits me harder than Hunter hits his bong. I cannot agree with you on this one, Joe. You must have some tamale in you because the only people I see enjoying the lime cucumber are the illegals. They beg me for the stuff once they're done with the lawn work. I can't help it. Must be the hardworking bone in me that loves that cucumber lime. Up next, we got Glacier Freeze, and it's like the evolution on Arctic Blitz. Unless I got those two mixed up, but I swear one of these is better than the other, but they both slap. I'm pretty sure I got it in the right order, though, and I am placing Glacier Freeze into S tier. Joey, you're supposed to know we literally bought you every single flavor and made you do a taste test so that you would have the most accurate rankings. Dude, what the hell? Go easy on him, Barack. It's hard to remember when you're his age, and on top of that, he's got the dementia to worry about. Thanks, Donald. I always knew you had my back. I wouldn't really say that counts as having your back, but whatever, move on to the next entry for us, Joe Dog. Okay, so up next we got Glacier Cherry, and it's another great entry in the Glacier series. I do wonder how the heck they made it white slash gray when it's supposed to be a cherry flavor. That genuinely bamboozles me, but whatever, I won't complain as long as my mouth is filled with that white, yummy goodness. I am placing this into A tier. Man, I bet you're a huge fan of having that white liquid in your mouth, Joe. You betcha. Unfortunately, same cannot be said for our next entry, Fierce Green Apple. I don't vibe with it all that much, but it's a solid flavor. I'd personally place it in B tier. And my opinion is kind of the same for the fierce grape flavor because I like that slightly less and I think I'll have it joining the orange flavor because I am not that big of a fan of grape. Sorry, Barack. You hear that, Barack? You better get it back in blood. Your homeboy grape is getting dissed by this nursing home patient. Dude, what the hell are you on? You're all so lucky I actually love the hell out of grapes. Yes, we all remember the freaking fruit tier list. Please let me finish because we have two final flavors. And up next, we got the lemon lime Gatorade. It can get a bit sour, but I enjoy the flavor and have it going into A tier. Up next though, we have the best freaking Gatorade flavor to even exist. I still don't know what blue is supposed to taste like, but I swear that this flavor tastes just like blue. I have the cool blue Gatorade going into an easy S tier. What the hell is up with Gatorade making flavors that have weird names? We got Cool Blue, Glacier Freeze, Arctic Blitz. Like, what the hell is next? Me personally, I hope we get a female discharge flavor. What the fuck? What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time yours truly is bringing you a Cheetos tier list. I had a lot of time to think in jail, and this is the main thing I was snacking on in there. I must have had at least 50 bags of Cheetos during my very long and excruciating time in prison. Weren't you there for only 20 minutes? Hold on, let me Google this. Yeah, it says right here that you were only there for 20 minutes. That doesn't seem long at all. How the hell did you eat 50 bags of Cheetos in 20 minutes? That is actually kind of insane. Listen, I said it was an estimate on the Cheetos I ate. Also, don't trust Google. It is simply fake news. 
and I may not be able to fully recall my prison time, and I would prefer if you two would simply not bring up such a traumatic and tough time for me. You just said all you did was eat Cheetos in there. Yeah, that was my struggle meal. You would never get it, but anyways, enough of this blabbering. Let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got the Flaming Hot Chipotle Ranch Cheetos, and I will be immediately be placing these into C tier. This was kind of mid, and maybe that comes from the fact that I don't like ranch like that. I love ranch, don't get me wrong. I eat it on my wings, put it on my pizza, sometimes my fries. You all know how it goes. But sometimes ranch doesn't need to be placed onto things, and Flaming Hot Cheetos did not need that because they are delicious as is. Yeah, whenever I have too much ranch, I get bubble guts, and I end up just sharding myself when I think it's a safe fart. And then if I keep eating ranch-flavored things despite my body's first warning, well, I end up spewing bile from both mouths of my body if you catch my drift. That is absolutely vile, Joe. It's actually astonishing to me just how putrid you are. But I did see that interview where you reacted to my mugshot, and you said I was handsome, so you're on my good side, Joey. Has he seen Donald Trump's mugshot yet? Mr. President, are you worried at all about that? I did see it on television. What'd you think? Handsome guy. Up next on the list, we got some classic hot Cheeto fries, and I think this is an easy S tier. These things slap and are just great to eat. I can't have too many because it gets spicy, but I love the texture they have, and it can be a great switch up when I get too tired of munching on hard, hot Cheetos. So I think that one should be up for no debate, but this next one, see me personally, I am a fan of the cheddar jalapeno Cheetos. I believe they belong at a solid A tier, but I can see arguments for either having it higher or lower. I personally really enjoy the flavor and the slight hint of spice that these things have, and I am sure many others also appreciate it. Extremely valid. I mess with the cheddar jalapeno flavor as well. I'd say an A ranking for it is just right because I already see like maybe two better Cheeto flavors than it. Ooh, I hope one of them isn't the flaming hot Cheetos with lime because I actually have that going into B tier. Now, before everyone hates on me, just hear me out. You can just squeeze limes into your normal flaming hot Cheetos and it's basically the same. Some say better. Yeah, but what if I don't want to cut limes, Donald? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever thought about moving your lazy ass every now and then? Of course you haven't. Sorry, Joe, I forgot we're cool now. I'll cool it down a bit, but anyways, up next we got the classic Cheetos, and I also have that going into B tier. I like them a decent bit, but I won't go crazy for them. I respect them for being the OG Cheeto, and will love them forever because of that. But if you ask me personally, these next ones have them beat by a mile. I have the Cheeto Puffs going into S tier because these things are banging. The texture is so much better. I like the airy bit it has and can easily demolish a family-sized bag of these in, like, record-breaking time. Oh, yeah, now this is one we can most definitely agree on, Donald. I freaking love eating Cheetos puffs and just seeing how many I can chew in my mouth before swallowing. Then when I finally can't put any more in my mouth, I end up swallowing this big yellow glob of cheese and I feel it slowly move down my throat like a big ball of mucus. God, I love it so much. Uh... That makes me want to rank it lower, but again, you called me handsome, so I am letting a lot of stuff slide today. Up next, we got hot Cheeto puffs, and this is joining the cheddar jalapeno in A tier. I like these, but I must admit that the classic flaming hot are better in my opinion, but it's nice to switch it up every now and then. Now, this next one is dangerous, like they should put a warning label on this because I almost ended up in the hospital. These black label hot Cheetos are something fierce. They are so hot and I kept chugging milk after like three handfuls of these. But I must say this, the flavor is absolutely immaculate and they belong in A tier for entering God's domain of too spicy. If they're that spicy, can you really even say you enjoyed it? Like why rate it that high? If you can't handle it and are barely gonna eat any? Because they're good, I don't need to explain it further. Jesus, man, no one ever complains about Icarus flying too close to the sun because he's a motherfucking dog for trying that in the first place. If it slaps, it slaps, even if it's super spicy. It's like eating something super sour, like, yeah, it'll hurt a little, but it hurts in a good way. Actually, I take that back. I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, let's just wrap up the list and go on to our final entry, and that is the classic Hot Cheetos. Now, if you think I'm going to come on here and try to say that it is anything other than an S tier, well, then you got me fucked up because the classic Flaming Hot Cheetos is a certified banger and absolutely belongs in S tier. Is it because it hurts you in a good way? Is that why you like it so much, Donald? Jesus, I take it back. 
I knew it was going to be you who was going to rag on me. I mean, it wouldn't have been Joe. We know that for sure. Yeah, I know I've been quiet for a while, but uh, I like it when stuff hurts. Like, it hurts so good, so good, I can't help but let out a little yelp. Like, I'm really into the pain as gain sort of mentality, except I want no gain and all pain. I live Let's for cut it. the video here. What is up, gang? Your presidential trio is back once again, and this time we are bringing you a much anticipated tier list and one of my favorite inventions ever. Cheese. Joe, who was anticipating a cheese list? Like, I am looking at this list, and I don't even remember even having some of these cheeses. That's because you're not a cheese diehard like I am. But uh, to be honest, I haven't had a decent bit of these cheeses either. But the ones I have had, I know I am bona fide. Man, how are you going to suggest doing this cheese tier list when you haven't had a decent bit of them? Why didn't you do something better? Because the Joe Dog does what the Joe Dog does. And I don't think anyone has had these last cheeses towards the end of the list. But if you have had these, let me know where you'd grade them because I have not had these elusive cheeses. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the list. Up first, we got a good old fashioned cheese that many people have had in their lifetime. I am sure all of you have had amazing American cheese and always put it in your sandwiches because I know I always do and these especially slap on hamburgers. I think to properly do this great cheese justice, I'd have to place it high up. And I am thinking this has to belong in S tier. Most individuals use this cheese and even if it's not their favorite, it has to be somewhat up there in the rankings. You just can't go wrong with this cheese. I personally just like it because it has American in the title, so I have to place that in S tier just for that reason. But it does bang on burgers, although I'd personally add different cheeses on my burger as well just to mix it up. I get that. Like this next one, we got up next, I freaking love it on my burgers, and that is blue cheese. It's so good that they even have this in a dip. Like, think about how good it is just to have a dip dedicated to it, and you bet your ass, I dip my wings in blue cheese, and I will also be placing this into S tier alongside the American cheese. You strike me more as a ranch guy, Joey. And like the type of ranch guy to just suck the sauce with no food, like a straight slurp from whatever container it's in. Oh, I definitely do, and I also do that with the blue cheese, but I just wanted it to be known that I love blue cheese. And up next, we got Swiss cheese. It's the staple cheese you see in a lot of cartoons. Anytime you watch Tom and Jerry, you already know they got this big cheese block on there that is usually Swiss cheese, and despite it being a well-known cheese, I want it to be known that I do not mess with it that heavily. I still think it's good as hell, but compared to American or blue cheese, I simply don't think of it that highly. I'm thinking a decent A tier for this one is in play. Joe, this might be a bit of an L take from you, but quite frankly, it doesn't surprise me. If you place this next cheese low, though, I'm going to have to make Lizzo body slam your ass. I think I'd actually kind of like her slamming me, but uh, no, I have Gouda cheese actually going up high as well. Cheese lovers know that if you got a good piece of Gouda, then you get a good piece of cheese on your hands. Boo, we don't like the cheese jokes, Joe. Sorry if you think it's cheesy, but the jokes are here to stay unless I cut the cheese and make everyone smell it. Haha, I crack myself up, but yeah. Gouda is the bomb.com, and I will be placing this into S tier. Some slices of Gouda on top of your pizza slaps and will be bona fide. Up next, we got Asiago cheese, and this is the most mid one so far. Maybe I am a hater, but I don't know. I just don't really mess with Asiago cheese. Like, there are a lot better options, and for that, I will be placing this into B tier. Okay, what the hell? You talk about how it's not that good, but then plop it into B tier. That makes no sense. That's just because I freaking love cheese. The hardest thing to do on this list will be finding the worst piece of cheese. Like we got another mid one up next and I am sorry to all my brie cheese lovers, but I also think it's not popping enough. It simply isn't bust down enough for me to go devour it like a rat. I still enjoy it as well, but I think it belongs in the Asiago tier. So I will be placing brie cheese into B tier. Maybe I am missing out, but I don't really like the flavor of it. I swear, if you talk all that shit about Brie and Asiago only to put something as basic as cheddar up there, I will split a wig. Uh, well, about that, I kind of uh, will have cheddar going into S tier. I don't know how anyone could hate cheddar because that shit slaps. Like whenever you eat chips, what flavor cheese are they? Cheddar chips. It's not like they have Munster cheese flavored chips. I also add a ton of cheddar to my mac and cheese, and I am not ashamed of it because it simply slaps. You know what, Joe? This is your list, and if you want cheddar to go that high, then so be it. You're just saying that because you love cheddar. 
Don't think the Joester didn't see you munching on those cheddar Pringles the other day. But anyways, up next we got Koti Ha cheese, and Donald probably hates it because it sounds Spanish, but this cheese is a certified banger. If anyone ever spots this cheese, just know that eating it straight out of the bag is delicious. And for that, I have to place it into A tier. Then while I'm here, I may as well rank the next one, which is cream cheese, and I have nothing more to say other than it is freaking amazing. I will be placing it in A tier as well because it's an amazing spreadable cheese. But I had the chives and onion cream cheese the other day, and I ate the whole container, and I swear my breath smelled god-awful for like the next week and a half. That definitely was not the cheese man. Me and Barack constantly tell you how awful your breath is and always offer you a mint or piece of gum as soon as we see you in person. Yeah, because of the chives and onion. Joe, this has been happening for a while now. This isn't some new development where all of a sudden we just started giving you gum. Oh, well, uh, I may have to up my teeth brushing duties from once a week to like twice or three times a week. Anyways, up next we got some nice feta cheese, and I'm a big fan of feta cheese. I think I'll have to place this into A tier as well. All I'm seeing is these cheeses being rated high as hell, like there's no cheese beneath B tier. The Joe dog loves his cheese, what can I say? Don't worry though, I have the next cheese going into B tier. I am not too huge of a fan to be honest, and unfortunately for you, Donald, I happen to love these next two cheeses. Up first we go the Monterey Jack cheese, and which I have going into a solid A tier, but then we have the big kahuna, and that is mozzarella, and this is an instant S tier. I love the hell out of mozzarella cheese. I'll eat it in stick form or in my sandwiches too. Ooh, what also tastes delicious is putting globs of mozzarella on your pizza in different areas. So when you bite, you just get some gooey deliciousness all inside of your mouth. But be careful because it can be so gooey that you end up swallowing too much and choking on it. You have to be trolling. And it's not like I hate all of these cheeses, but no way Gouda is that high up, especially with everything else you just put up there. Like, no way you just said all of those things with a straight face and genuinely believe that they are all that good. But also, it doesn't surprise me that you like those gooey loads of cheese in your mouth, so I am not surprised. You bet your bottom dollar I do. I love all of these cheeses and all those gooey, delicious, salty loads in my mouth. But anyways, up next we got another good cheese, and that is Munster cheese. I fucks with the Munster, but I'd give it a solid B tier, but it cannot compete with these next two titans we got up next. We got the Parmigiano Reggiano, and that is bona fide S tier. I put Parmesan cheese on almost anything and everything. Like if you don't put cheese on your pasta, I may look at you a little funny, but I'll let it slide. But I cannot live life without Parmesan cheese. Then we got our final S tier, and that is the provolone cheese. I need that in my life as always, and it's a great alternate for American cheese in my opinion, and it always slaps. You need to relax with the way you say load and the gooey word. But I cannot lie, Joe. It's a bit weird nothing is low, and I have to agree with Donald on this. Like, Joe, every single cheese on this list has been rated higher than a C tier. You really don't have any cheese that you actively dislike. But aside from that, I want to give you a huge W on the Parmesan and Provolone take. Yeah, actually, I do, in fact, have a cheese that I do not like. And, well, uh, I know everyone might hate me for this, but I genuinely have a high level of disdain for this cheese. Like. It actively repulses me and makes me want to gag and puke at merely the thought of it. Even thinking about it now, it makes me shudder and quiver in fear because that's how much the cheese has scarred me. And unfortunately for the lovers of this cheese, I have to break it to them that Romano cheese tastes god-awful. That is a definite C tier for me and no higher than that. I just cannot put it higher. Hold on, you just went on a tirade about how awful it was. You literally said you shuddered and quivered in fear because of that cheese and said it tastes awful. Actually, you went even further beyond that and said you were repulsed by that fucking cheese. So how the hell is it a C tier when you said all those negative things about it? Because it's still cheese, duh. I'll eat cheese till I die. I cannot stop my love for cheese even if I hate it. God help you, Joe, because I genuinely cannot understand your dementia-ridden mind. I do need God's help because I haven't tried any of the cheeses left on this list. So I have to put these all into the never had tier. And just doing that pains me because I need to have all of those delicious cheeses in my little mouth. You really never had a single one of those, Joe? No, why do you think I left those last you freaking mouth-breathing, rock-chewing, glass-eating nincompoop? Like you got me fucked up if you tell me with a straight face you had Humboldt fog cheese. Like, what the hell is that? Jesus, man, I just asked a question. Why am I catching a stray? Okay, more importantly, Joey, what are your thoughts on dick cheese? 
Gross dude, don't ask him that. He won't know what it means. Shut up, Barry. Do not ever speak for me. And to answer your question, Donald, I've never had that before, but if it's cheese, I know I'll love it. So if you got any to feed me, I'll happily eat it. Oh, you bet your ass I have some of that cheese to feed you. You just got to close your eyes and open wide and say, ah. Jesus Christ, save me. What is going on, gang? Your presidential boys are back at it again with the tier lists. This time we're doing cereals. Boy, howdy, am I excited. Knowing you, Joe, you're going to put some shit like Special K at S tier. Wait, hold on, guys. Where's the music? Our fucking editor is being lazy again. Frail, you fuck, come and put on the music. I was literally about at it. Don't let him bully you like that, Frail. He's just upset that he's going to go to jail soon. Well, way too soon for that, Joe. And what was even funny about that? This is Donald's life we're talking about. Yeah, you dick. Ah, uh, hamburgers. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, whatever. Let's get this list started. We have our first entry, which is the Apple Cinnamon Cheerios, which I'm gonna be honest, fellas. It's okay. Yeah, they're not as good as the OG Cheerios, to be honest. Yeah, like if I want something healthy and tasty, I'll get the normal Cheerios. But what's the point of the Apple Cinnamon? I'd rather just get Apple Jacks at that point. On God Donald, same can't be said for Cookie Crisps, though. It's a solid A tier, just because there are better chocolate cereals, in my opinion. Guys, I don't know that cereal has too much sugar. Oh my God, here comes this pussy with his, oh, my tummy hurts. Man, grow the fuck up, Joe. Guys, it's not me, I swear I love sugary cereal, but when I have too much, I get an upset tummy and then I have diarrhea. Joey, that is way too much info, but you also know what that sounds like to me? What's it sound like, Barack? Like a personal problem. Got his ass, Barack. Anyways, we got Special K at C tier because I genuinely can't imagine anyone under 300 pounds saying, oh man, I can't wait for this Special K. I don't think it's that bad if it has berries and stuff. Oh my fucking God, Joe, that shit is garbage. You're lucky it's even at C tier. I think I would rather drag my balls through miles of broken glass only to have them doused in lemon juice as I get mauled by a bear than have Special K willingly. Well, frankly, I think that's a bit excessive. Now, I'm kind of with him on that one. Anyways, we got kicks at C tier as well, like they're decent as a snack. But I swear I've seen more people eat kicks as a snack with no milk than I have people actually eating it as cereal. After that, though, we have another A tier, and that is Apple Jacks. Ooh, I love me some Apple Jacks. Remember the commercials they had with that skinny piece of cinnamon? I just know that Mofo chases after big girls only. Probably wants his face smushed by Lizzo. I want my face smushed by Jenna Ortega. Gross, Joe, what the hell? I was just saying she's hot. Joe, she is only 20-something. She is basically a child, what the hell? We have to hurry before Joe inevitably says something weird again. Sorry, guys, I may or may not be off to perks. Jeff, feel me, man. Do you hear what he is saying? Donald, let's just continue and maybe he will stop. I got cornflakes at D because once again, ain't no motherfucker say, damn, I'm craving some cornflakes. That's like hearing someone say, damn, I wish there was an all you can eat buffet for just grits. My brother from another mother, you know what's cooking B, dog? Don't do that, Donnie. Up next, I got Count Chocula at B because it's a decent chocolate cereal and then Captain Crunch at C tier. There's a reason why you don't see Captain Crunch that much anymore, but it used to be banging back then. I swear they must have changed the formula or something. I remember munching on those more than I ever munched on my wife. Joe, what the hell, man? Nobody wants to know this. Joey, now you're kind of scaring us. Ooh, guys, look, it's Rice Checks up next. I freaking love Rice Checks. I think we should put that at S tier. Joe, you know we're not doing that. Were you trying to act cool and say funny things so we'd put this up higher? That is totally what that fucker was doing. Guys, please, I just think Rice Checks is underrated. Please put it high. It's going in D tier, and there's nothing you can do about it, Joe. Up next, we got Captain Crunch peanut butter, and I'm going to be honest that, and Honey Bunches of Oats are solid. Both are kind of slightly better than mid, in my opinion. I don't know about the Honey Bunches, man, but I guess out of all those types of cereals, that is the best one. On Gang Barack, when I get that big cluster in my mouth and bite into it, it just bursts in my mouth. Makes me so happy to have it inside me. Uh, yeah, I like the oat cluster, too. I got Rice Krispies at D tier because they're pretty bad as a cereal. And next I got Cinnamon Toast Crunch as our first S tier. Oh, hell yeah, I'll fucking twerk for some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. On God, Donald will be on all fours throwing it back. What the hell do you two mean by that? Like it's so appetizing that I am willing to twerk for that cereal. It is a very twerkable cereal. Uh, sure, well, up next we got one that I think Joe will appreciate and I'm placing Mini Wheats at A tier. It is good as hell. Mini Wheats? Yay, I love Mini Wheats. I had to throw them a bone, Donald, plus they're not that bad. I like them a decent bit and feel like they're an A tier if we categorize the healthy cereal. I'll let this slide just so Joe stops acting so weird. 
Thanks, Donnie. Our next S tier is going to be Cheerios because they are healthy, lower cholesterol, and genuinely taste good. I agree. You can also have them as snacks, and once you finish eating all the Cheerios, you can drink the milk and it tastes sweet like honey. I know you guys probably would think I hate this, but I think this is genuinely good. I have no issues. Next, I have Reese's Puff at A tier because they are elite, but the other chocolate cereal have it beat honestly. What hell no? The peanut butter adds such a good mix, Barack. This is an L take from you. I know it should be S, but I just can't put it there. Maybe when the list is done, I'll rethink it. Up next, I got Rice crispy Treat cereal at C tier. They're good, but still, I would rather have chocolate crispies. I also see up next, we got another Cheerios box. I don't know the difference, so it'll just go in B. You better not do Lucky Charms, Dirty Barack. Yeah, I love the marshmallow thingies that it has. I think I'm putting it as an A tier, fellas. The marshmallows are elite, but once you eat them all, you're left with bland cereal. Same can't be said with our next S tier, and that is the Cocoa Krispies. This shit is delicious. On God, Barack, then when you finish all the cereal, you got a bowl of chocolate milk. I hate to agree with Joe, but he's right. It's an elite cereal. Thanks, guys. And up next, I have Fruit Loops going at A tier because they're kind of like Apple Jacks minus the cinnamon, but they're really good. And then I have Raisin Bran at C tier. God, I hate Raisin Bran. Imagine someone giving you such a shitty cereal that they stockpile that shit with sugar just so you can eat it. Isn't that Frosted Flakes? You don't get it, Joe. They are not the same. Speaking of not the same, Golden Crisp is not the same as the other cereals, and I think it's a D tier. Unlike the Fruity Pebbles, which I have going at S tier because it is an elite cereal. Fruity Pebbles are so elite, Cocoa Pebbles and Fruity Pebbles belong in the Cereal Hall of Fame. I would once again twerk for these cereals. Donnie, settle down. We are not even at the Cocoa Pebbles yet. Shut up, Joe. We all know where it's headed anyways. I hate going out of order, but he is right. I then have Cocoa Puffs at A, and then I have Frosted Flakes at S tier. This shit is delicious, and it leaves behind this sugary milk. Like, I don't even care if I get diabetes. Well, I care if I'll get diabetes. Joe, you'll die of dementia before anything else. Don't worry about diabetes. All right, settle down, fellas. I have Captain Crunch Berries at A tier. This one is a banger, I'm not going to lie. Whoa, I agree, but more importantly, where are we putting Double Raisin Bran and Honeycomb at? Joe, don't even act like those are contenders for anything good. Barack is putting that shit in C-tier. Stop trying to play them up. Donald knows me. I also have tricks at B-tier, but I really like those tricks yogurt things. Whatever happened to those? You know I fucking love those things. I don't know what happened to them. Michelle probably ordered them to shut down because she didn't want to make more fat kids like Donnie. You shut your mouth, you sleepy fuck. I am literally the definition of a chiseled alpha male. Joe, shut up. Let's just finish this list I want a game. I have Pops at C tier and Cocoa Pebbles, of course, go in S tier. There is no surprise here. The commercials for Pops made me crave it so much. But then when I actually ate Pops, it reminded me of why I don't get it. Real as shit you've said yet, Joey. Lastly, I have these Honey Smacks at D tier. This shit was sold in these big ass bags. It was like it was made to feed horses. It is borderline prison food. You hear that, Donald? You better start getting these since you gotta adjust to the prison lifestyle. Ah, oh, listen, guys, they are not taking me to prison. I'd like to see those fuckers try to... FBI, Fuck! What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and we are all so happy to bring you this Arizona tier list. We constantly drink these because, well, who can beat that 99-cent price tag, and they're just delicious. It's probably because of all the sugar that they have. Like, have you guys ever looked at the amount of sugar that these things have? And people drink more than one of these a day. No shit, Joe, but that's why you also get their diet drinks. They may have the best diet flavors in the goddamn game. I will forever love their green tea flavor and their diet Arnold Palmer is basically my drinking water for the weekend. That sounds super unhealthy, but it's not my life. So let's just ignore that and get started with this wonderful list. Up first, we got the Arizona Lemon Flavor Iced Tea, and their iced teas are absolute bangers. I love all, if not most, of their stuff, and they do honestly have the best diet drinks in the game. But yeah, I think I will place this drink at a solid A tier. I really do like this flavor. Now, this is a banger. I agree wholeheartedly with this selection, and I would even go as far to say is that this is a genius-level placement. Well, let's relax now. It's just a list. He's not running the country or anything, so he doesn't deserve to be called a genius. Relax, Joe. No need to get so jealous. Up next, we got the Fruit Punch Drink. And yet again, I will be placing this into A tier. It's a really freaking solid flavor, and I think the biggest problem with this list will be choosing the bad flavors. Like any Arizona drinker knows that most of what they put out are pure bangers. 
They just taste so good. And I don't have a lot, or actually, I don't really have any bad things to say sometimes. I guess that's valid, um, but I can come up with a lot of bad things. Like, guys, can we talk about the amount of sugar? Well, yeah, we know that. We already discussed that, Joe. Plus, you can't even say anything because you've said that you love Arizona's yourself. Like, I'm pretty sure you said this yesterday. Why do you even think we're making this list if we all didn't like drinking them? Well, uh, I, I just thought you were thinking out of the box. Dude, you were drinking in Arizona when I told you this. Whatever. Let's keep moving forward, and the Golden Bear Strawberry Lemonade is a bop. And I have this going into A tier. Oh, snap. I also see this next flavor, and I can't even lie to you. I have the Grape Aid Arizona going into S tier. We have too many bangers on board, and then this masterpiece of a flavor comes by. Well, it doesn't surprise me to see that you would put the grape flavor up there. Maybe it's genetics or something. And I, uh, of course, mean that your relatives must like it and your close family must like grapes as well. And, uh, shit. See, what Donald means is we all assume you like grape-flavored things because A you're A big black. fan of fruit. You two are testing me today. But yeah, I love grape-flavored stuff. It's okay, though, because I also recognize the greatness in the other flavors. We yet again have another S tier, and that is the green tea flavor. It is amazing and a classic Arizona flavor. They even have a cucumber version of this, and that one slaps, too. I'd still prefer the OG, but it's nice to switch it up. And I can't talk about the best flavors without mentioning the classic and favorite. The Arnold Palmer is going up into S tier as well. I don't think I need to explain why I have this so high because this shit is a slapper. Anyone who has had Arizona knows it is banging. Okay, so no hate or anything, but how the hell do we have back to back to back S tier placements? Like no way you actually think they're all the same level, Barry. But I fucking do. And you know what? The Kiwi Strawberry coming up next is also a certified banger that belongs in S tier. You are trolling me right now. You have to at least put grape down in A or even B. Joe, let's not touch that grape situation or we will get canceled. I, for one, enjoy this placement and think Barack has done a splendid job. Hmm. I'm not entirely buying it. But I'll let it slide. I still genuinely do believe that all those flavors at S tier are certified bangers. Arizona is just such a great company that it's hard to choose or rank flavors low, except for Mucho Mango, which I have in B tier. Dude, you are making me angry. Now let me be clear. There is a perfectly reasonable and sensible reason as to why I do not like it that much. It's because I have had so much of it and I am sick of it. Okay, Barack, that's kind of a fuck-ass situation. How are you going to blame Mucho Mango for your inability to swap flavors or even drink another thing? I don't know. Like how I did just now, I guess. Either way, I have the peach iced tea and raspberry iced tea also going into B tier. I like them, but I rather have green tea or an Arnold Palmer. They're pretty good though, and I would recommend the audience still try them over the Mucho Mango. That's a bit excessive, but whatever, man. It's your list, so go ahead and hate on Mango, I guess. Thanks, Donald. Following up all of that, I have the watermelon flavor going into A tier. He is trolling right now. It's a good flavor, but how is it above the other three? Ah! Jesus! What the hell? Well, you made him power screech and then leave. You done broke, Joe. You happy about that? A little bit, actually, yeah. He always does that to us, so it was nice to dish it back to him. So you actually don't think those flavors are that low on the ranking? God, no. I love Mucho Mango and Peach Iced Tea. The raspberry can stay in B, though. Like, I still like it, but A, I would actually rather have the other teas. Actually, wait. I think I wouldn't have their sweet tea over that, and I will be placing that into B tier. Barry, you're really losing your touch with the list, man. How is there no C or D tier? Dude, Arizona fucking slaps. I don't think I'd put more than two flavors under an A tier, in all honesty. Except for this herbal tonic, actually. I've never had it, but the can looks unappetizing. Like I would not go in a store and look at it and go, ooh, this looks great. I'd leave that right where it was, but I'll still place it in C tier. Could have gone D tier for that one at least. I mean, look at that yellow ass can. Looks gross. And you could have placed Jalapeno Cheetos higher, but you didn't on your tier list. Jesus, man, you're still hung up over that? What is going on, gang? We are back from a little break, and we are going to get started with our barbecue tier list. I know we usually would have Donald for these food tier lists because he's an elite eater, 
and consumes calories unlike any other president we have ever seen before. But we got another Donald versus video coming up, so we have to gear him up for that. First of all, Barack, I only consume those insane amounts of calories because I am on a bulk, and I need those calories to fight off the wolves that our subscribers think I can't beat. Everyone was up in arms over the fact that they thought I could not beat an alpha wolf. Again, if I get that guy in a headlock, what is he going to do? He has no hands, and therefore I would easily choke him out. See, I know none of our viewers would beat an alpha wolf because the wolf would smell the fear on them and not on me. I will tame that wolf like a freaking Minecraft dog. Jesus Christ, Donald, please, I don't want to hear this again. We don't need to hear about this because you already explained it in the last tier list. Just be happy and appreciative that you get to do a cool tier list. The old Joe dog over here is stuck with nothing cool. I want to fight things or do a barbecue tier list. Joe, you don't consume enough calories, nor do you meet the melanin requirement that Barack has. Excuse me? Uh, disregard that, and please, let's get started with this list, because I know you, of all people, must be well-versed in eating barbecue food. You have to watch what you freaking say, Donald. But as for you, Joe, I would not worry too much because I have a special popsicle tier list ready for you. And if you keep behaving well, then I got a hot sauce tier list for you as well. Oh boy, I love popsicles and hot sauce. God, we're treating this fucker like a make-a-wish kid. This is like when they sub in the Down Syndrome kid to get a basket in the last minute of a high school basketball game. Well, at least then we'd get cheers and applauses from the audience. In this instance, all we get is a happy Joe. It'll please all the Joe heads. We are a unified force. What I feel is what they feel. Stop trying to start a goddamn cult, Joe. And let me finally actually get this list started. Up first, we got hamburgers. And I don't think anyone can argue that this belongs anywhere below an S tier. Like this is the prime staple of American barbecue culture. Holding a barbecue without burgers of any kind is like a cardinal sin. You should be hunted down by the highest forces of law and be subjected to cruel and unusual punishments if you don't have these at a barbecue. Like you have got me fucked up if I show up at a barbecue and you have no hamburgers. Like I will split a wig. Jesus, calm down, Barack. I actually did not know you were this passionate about barbecues. I was just making a joke about it because you were brown, but goddamn man, usually it's me or Joe that has the deranged jokes about these things. But here you are saying you want to murder people for not having hamburgers. What if they're vegetarian, my man? If you come to my goddamn family barbecue and say you're vegetarian, then I will personally drone strike you. Ahem. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, got a bit too carried away there. Let's continue next with another staple in American barbecue culture, and that is the hot dog. This is yet another S tier, like I could explain it. But we all know Joey here loves dogs the most, so I'll have him explain it. Thank you for allowing a higher power and being such as myself to explain the glory that are hot dogs. You see, they are the perfect type of thing to have for any occasion. I know I'd want hot dogs to be served during my funeral, but alas, I am here to tell you that they can be boiled microwaved and grilled. The perfect trifecta of amazingness. And apart from being super diverse in their cooking methods, you can also have them in different ways. You can slap some relish on a dog, mustard, onions, tomato, mayo on your buns, ketchup, you name it, and it will have it. You can wrap a piece of bacon around it and have a little bacon dog, or you can have a pure brat dog. Don't even get me started on chili cheese dogs because honestly, I will just ramble about them the whole video. That is the most coherent I have ever heard you speak, and the fact that it's about hot dogs is what is the most stupid thing to me, but I respect your level of meat riding. Up next, we got chicken, and I won't lie, a grilled chicken does not really appetize me like I want a nice, moist chicken. And if we got someone on the grill that doesn't know how to properly handle it, then I know it will be a waste. I think a C tier is okay for that because I don't really mess with chicken at the barbecue. Plus, then it feels gross to place any other meat where the raw chicken was. Moving past that, we got something that is even goddamn worse, and that is a salad. Like, who the hell are you bringing a goddamn salad to my barbecue? If I wanted to chew on something gross, I'd just yank a chunk of grass and start munching on it. A straight D tier for this monstrosity. What about the people that are just trying to watch their calories, Barack? Nah, I am with Barack on this. If you come to a barbecue, you already know what type of food is coming through. Don't be surprised when it's all meat and unhealthy. I will throw that salad bowl back at your face if you bring that. If I want a palate cleanser to get rid of the greasy feeling I have, I'd eat some Twinkies. 
God, that is so American. I love this nation, but yeah, I just chew on corn or have a side thing, but we're not there yet. So let me instead rate mac and cheese, and this is an excellent side dish. I will be welcoming you with open arms if you bring mac and cheese to the barbecue. I feel a solid A tier for this entry. And since I mentioned it already and it's up next, let me go ahead and rate corn. And I think I will be also giving this an A tier. If you do get too much of a greasy feeling or you're getting some meat sweats, a bit of some side dishes or corn will do you good. No need to get some salad or whatever that next entry is. What the hell is that? Spinach, instant D tier for me. I think we are being a bit excessive here, guys. I, I... I am not like putting my life on the line for salads, but I think they do some good for barbecues. Like whenever you guys go to Korean barbecues, don't you make a little lettuce wrap with the kimchi and meat whenever you guys go there? Why the hell would we go to a Korean barbecue when we are goddamn Americans, Joe? Next, you'll be telling me to go to a freaking communist barbecue. You can't be serious, right? Like you're both trolling, right? We're dead serious here, Joe. Anyways, up next we got kebabs, and I like these depending on how you make them. You can do beef, chicken, and shrimp kebabs, and all of it grilled, of course. Would I be throwing it back if someone made kebabs? No, I would not be, but I would enjoy them if they were there. I think a solid B tier is in order for this one. The next one, though, is a very enjoyable side dish, if you ask me. Like, if you ask me, I would prefer some cornbread over some goddamn salad like Joe over here. I'm giving this an A tier. Okay, I did not say I prefer salads over cornbread. All I did was say that they probably aren't as bad as you and Donald make them out to be. Look at this guy already switching sides, pathetic. Agreed, Donald. Then after that, we got another S tier, and that is mashed potatoes. Like, I don't think you can argue against this. This is like the only set of carbs we have on the list. Then, oh my God, we got some fried chicken, and this is also an S tier. Well, of course you'd put fried chicken in S tier. Okay, ha ha, very funny that I said it was an S tier. But I know if your fat orange ass was making this list, you'd also have this going that high. Don't act like you didn't eat all my Popeyes the other week. You devoured that faster than Joey Chestnut in his prime. Okay, you caught me, but explain to me why spaghetti is on this list. Can I actually vouch for this? See, I always have this as a side dish because spaghetti rules, but recently I invited my petite Filipino friend to a barbecue, and he brought some Filipino spaghetti, and the Joe Dog has a new obsession. Like, shout out to all my Filipinos, because you guys have the best spaghetti the Joe Dog has ever tried. I hate to agree with him, and I know why he likes it so much. Filipino spaghetti has hot dogs cut up into it and is slightly sweeter. But I must admit it bangs, but normal spaghetti also bangs, and I was gonna put it in S tier either way, but I guess uh, we can shout out the Filipinos. Then following that, we got yet another goddamn S tier, and that is a nice slab of ribs. Jesus, these ribs are so amazing. Like, I will need some falling off the bone, and I can already taste how good it'll be. I might need some ribs sometime soon because just talking about them has my mouth salivating. Let's move on to our next entry, which might be a bit controversial, but I assume this is potato salad, and I won't lie to you all. I'm not the biggest fan, and I prefer a lot of things over it, but I do understand that some people throw it back for some good potato salad. I think a B tier is fair for this, but I would understand if you personally don't rate it that high or that low. Potato salad is okay. The Don doesn't really go crazy for it. So I think it's good at B tier. More importantly, Barack, let's talk about the goddamn beans up next. Oh, yes. Let's please talk about beans because I freaking loves beans at a barbecue. Like I will need them on my platter. Like I don't know how to explain it, but they just add so much to my plate. Like if you take a bite out of your hot dog and then get some beans after, the flavor combo in your mouth is just immaculate. Uh, yeah, I don't really jive with beans, Joey. I am sorry to say, but they are just a C tier for me. I do not really think they are extremely necessary, but it sure beats a salad. I will slaughter your entire lineage for that placement, Barack. Sure you will, buddy. Then wrapping up this list, we got sausages, and I assume it's just the pure sausage. I will be ranking this at an S tier still, because some sausage with a nice snap is a great addition to any plate at the barbecue. Man, looking back at this list, I am pretty proud of the placement. Yeah, I like this list, but I know we won't get the same opinions from Joe over here. Yeah, but who cares? It's just Joe. Hey, man, are you still upset? Ha, huh, he must have taken a nap. I guess so. What the? How'd you get into my house, Joe? It'll all be over soon. Don't worry. Run, Barry! What is going on, gang? It's me, the Joester, also known as the Joe Dog. And I am here with my two best friends in the whole wide world, and that is Donald and Barack. 
It's sad to me that you call me that, but I doubt either me or Barack return your unrequited feelings of friendship. I honestly hate you at times and merely tolerate your presence for our online audience. If that weren't a thing, I would have already left your presence around 10 times over already. We all know your son is so much cooler than you, and quite frankly, I'd rather spend a day with him staring at paint dry than spend one moment in Six Flags roller coaster with you. That's just how boring you are. Damn, dude. Ha ha ha, that's our Donald, always being so sassy, but deep down, I know he doesn't feel that way. I definitely do. But anyways, now that we're done joking around, let's get this tier list started, my good buds. Oh, wait, before anyone says anything, I do not want to go through every single individual beef jerky brand because there are so many out there, so we just dwindled it down to Jack Link's beef jerky flavors first and foremost. And then we added a Slim Jim because why not? I feel like they're pretty well known. Anyways, up first, we got teriyaki beef jerky, and I have to give this thing an S tier. I love the Asian persuasion that the teriyaki provides. And much like their women, you already know, the Joe Dog enjoys his meat in small bits and very Japanese. Yeah, I have no doubt in my mind that you would prefer small pieces of Japanese meat in your mouth. It's just so on brand for you, Joey. Yeah, you totally get me. I love those meat bits in my mouth. But anyways, up next, we got another S tier, and that is the original beef jerky. I feel like this is the pure essence of meat, and you truly cannot go wrong with original. Like maybe teriyaki is a preference, even though we all know it's delicious. But as for original flavored beef jerky, there is no dispute that this belongs up there because it is the purest form of dried meat. I can eat this on a road trip, camping, gaming, and even when I'm watching kids play at the park. You don't mean to say your grandkids, right? Like uh, you're watching your grandkids at the park, right, Joey? You gotta be more specific with that. Um, Joey, please respond and say that you were only watching your grandkids. Please, Joey. So following up the original flavor, we got peppered beef jerky, and these things sure are delicious, but I will only be giving it an A tier. Like it gets a bit too spicy, and I feel like I'd rather have a sweet and spicy flavor or just the original, because the pepper is like spicy, but it makes you cough, if that makes sense. Like when you chew on a pure pepper molecule, that shit kind of sucks. On God, Joey, you know what? Thank you for standing up for those who can't handle spice because the peppered meat makes it tougher to eat because I swear they just add hella pepper without even thinking of distributing it evenly throughout the slices of meat. We cannot be seriously considering ignoring what was just said earlier, right? We're just gonna act like he never denied my allegations. We aren't ignoring it, Barack. We are addressing the pepper problems right now. But you must want us to talk about the pepper issues in the next one, which is another A tier in my book, and that is cracked pepper with garlic steak strips. Like, even though me and Donald talked about how the pepper bothers us, I just want everyone in the audience to know that most beef jerky is delicious, and we just nitpick the finest ones. There will, however, be some C and D tiers, so wait till you all hear about those. Thankfully for everyone, we won't be talking about those yet, because up next, we got another S tier, and that is these absolutely delicious pork tender bites. And for as haram as they are, I cannot begin to describe how delicious these things are. You all need to buy yourselves a bag right this instant if you are a fan of pork and beef jerky, but have yet to buy these gifts from God himself. I have to be honest, this whole list just looks delicious to me. I will have a hard time rating any beef jerky below a B or a C. Nah, trust me, Donald, we have some coming up that you wouldn't even wipe your ass with. Like, they are so gross, I would rather lick some unwashed taint than ever expose my taste buds to those things ever again. But don't worry about it quite just yet. We are still on the path of goodness and deliciousness. And up next, we got jalapeno chicken bites. And I must admit, this is a B tier from me. I don't mind the jalapeno, but Jesus, man, I always find myself choking on chicken. I don't know how, but these freaking chicken bites almost knocked me out of presidency more times than I can count on both of my hands. These are choking hazards, and also I don't really like chicken that much, but it still deserves a B tier for providing something different to the table. Joey, why the hell do you keep eating these if you keep saying that you're constantly choking on them? Like, what sense does that make? If I kept repeatedly choking on a certain type of food, I would simply avoid eating in the future to avoid said choking. Yeah, but to be honest, I think I am addicted to the thrill of sometimes wondering if I am going to survive this bag of chicken bites. Like, it gives me a big thrill. It's like gambling. But instead of doing it on sports or horse races, I gamble on my own life. And there is no better thrill than that, let me tell you. Enough of my kinks, though, because up next we got the Doritos collab with Jack Link's beef jerky and these freaking bang. 
I am immediately giving these an A tier because they are pretty freaking good. Like, it is probably the best thing in A tier, if I am being honest with you all. The sweet and spicy mixture is always, uh, for sure, a great combo for meat. And if it's the Doritos flavored ones, then it is a home run and just got knocked out of the park with this great combo. Those seem deadly, but not as deadly as the ones we have up next. Like, there is no way that Jack Link's collabed with Hot Cheetos, and I wasn't there to find out about it until this tier list. Oh, but they did. And let me tell you all that it is actually quite, well, uh, it's actually rather okay. I am giving it a solid B tier, but honestly, that might be the hater in me speaking. Because when I saw the flaming hot on it, I was expecting pure greatness from these things, but I was disappointed when they didn't taste like the nectar of the gods. They are still pretty good, though, and remind me quite a bit of the hot Cheetos mac and cheese. Like, I also expected that and the normal Cheetos mac and cheese to be literally amazing. But they disappointed me with how mediocre they were. Like, I will still eat them and enjoy them, but I was expecting more. And funnily enough, I prefer the hot Cheeto mac and cheese over the normal Cheeto flavored one. Just goes to show that sometimes these Cheeto collabs don't always hit. Like, do you guys remember the freaking Mountain Dew collaboration with hot Cheetos and we had spicy Mountain Dew? Like, that tasted like they put pepper in my freaking Mountain Dew drink. I actually like the design of the can for that one, though, while this one has nothing going for it. But whatever that is for another day, because up next we got our very first C tier. And that is the pickle flavored beef jerky. And maybe it's because I hate pickles and everything they stand for. But I did not really enjoy these that much. Like, again, it's still not that bad and is actually better than what we got in D tier. But Jesus Christ, man, I don't like the flavor of vinegar and cucumbers together. Ooh, you are going to piss off the pickle lovers with that one, Joe. And quite frankly, I stand by them because I am a man of the people, unlike your sleepy ass. There you go again with the Sleepy Joe comments. Learn a new bit already, Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Anyways, up next, we got our first D tier, and that is the smoking hot peach-flavored beef strips. Like, I don't know who concocted this in the lab and thought to themselves, yeah, this shit is going to be banging because they clearly should be blindfolded and then tied up and be shoved into a car trunk and driven for hundreds upon of hundreds of miles and deserted into an abandoned forest and forced to fend for themselves for days and weeks until they ultimately find a way out and as they are about to escape to freedom or find someone to help them, we then kidnap them again and force feed them these disgusting slabs of meat until their stomach explodes or they choke on their own vomit because that is the most merciful death I can conjure up for these lower than scum human beings. I'd even do that one medieval trap where they rub honey all over someone and tie them to a boat and let the insects eat them alive as they drift across a lake. Jesus Christ, Joe. You have some morbid ass thoughts. And I think this is rooted in some deeper problems you aren't quite tackling in your own life. Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about anything. The more I say, the more that can be used against me in court. Uh, I mean, I was just joking is all. I am just quirky like that. Anyways, up next, we got the next D tier, and that is the Jack Link's Chew. And these taste the worst, but it isn't quite awful. I'd just rather have almost everything on this list over it. Well, not the freaking hot peach flavor, but that chew is good for the first, like, two bites, and then it's just kind of gross in your mouth. Like, I think this product was invented to help people who are into chewing tobacco. So, like, respect to Jack Link's for that. I can definitely see it as a substitute for it and can probably help with people who miss that chewing sensation. But unfortunately for me, I just am not a fan of it. It's fun to chew, though. I have had it a couple of times, and I don't think it merits a D tier. I like chewing on it for fun. And unlike dip, I can actually swallow this and get my protein. Yeah, I guess. But either way, this is my list. So I am happily leaving these where they are. And let's hurry up and round off this list because I am trying to go to the park right now. Anyways, up next, we got another S tier, and that is the beef steaks. They are perfect to go size and shape, and you can snag one of these and just snack on them wherever you are. You can eat these at home while gaming, while you're doing groceries, while you're driving. And most importantly, you can eat these while at the park sitting down on a bench and then uncomfortably being forced to leave after a parent was about to fight you because allegedly you may or may not have been staring too hard. But as I was telling everyone, I was simply focused on eating my meat stick. See, this is shit that will get you canceled, Joey. This is why we need to keep you on the right path and get rid of your outside privileges. Ah, uh, fine, dude. Let me just finish off this list. And lastly, we got Slim Jims, and I like these a lot. I think it's a solid C tier because they taste funny after you eat so many in a row. Like, I don't know, but they tasted mighty funny to me after eating 11 sticks in a row. 
Jesus Christ, why the hell was your dumb ass eating so many in a row? Well, the kids in the park weren't eating them, and honestly... That's it. Cut this episode off or we won't get sponsors. Hello, all. As everyone can see by the title, we are continuing my epic and amazing tier lists with a Mountain Dew flavor one. Before any of that, I'd like to thank at the John Apocalypse for suggesting this idea because I personally think I am the biggest Mountain Dew expert we have. The only Dew you're an expert of is doing absolutely nothing in Office Sleepy Joe. Yeah, but I wasn't sleeping when it came to these lists. And let's be honest, you're just mad because we didn't do a soda tier list in general, but we'll get to that eventually, Donald. Your Diet Cokes will not be disrespected, probably. Joey, I, for one, am excited for this list as an average fan of the Dew. I love me some Major Melon. Barry, you gotta wait for that placement, but I can assure you all I drink the Dew as water because that's how much I like it. Bet that piss is the darkest yellow of the world. On God, it's almost orange. Anyways, let's get started with the list, and I have original Mountain Dew and C tier. It's a solid selection, but trust me, guys, the flavored stuff is so much better. I don't know, Joey. C feels kind of low, like as if you're disrespecting the Dew. Let me cook once again. Berry C tier is not bad. It is simply average, and I believe out of all these flavors that the OG Mountain Dew belongs here. As for the next entry, we have Livewire, and I'm putting this as our first A tier entry. It's a bit slept on, but I personally enjoy it. Hilarious hearing you talk about something being slept on, Joe, considering all you do is sleep. The only thing I sleep on is a bed, Donnie. Chew on that. We do have another A tier, and that is Major Melon. It's a little newer, but I love me some melon, guys. I do like melon, and this is one of the better, newer flavors, in my opinion. I love melons, guys. I am a huge fan of big old melons. In fact, I think I may be the biggest fan of melons that I know of. Right, Donald. The flavor melon has is great. Up next, we got Diet Mountain Dew, and out of all the flavors, this fits into the D tier the best because it's good for a diet soda. But in general, it's one of the weakest of the list. Don't worry, though, fellas. There's going to be another one joining it in D tier. I have to agree that Diet Dew is not as good as other flavors and frankly isn't as good as Diet Coke either because we all know that is the most elite diet soda. Well, I don't know about that, but it's a discussion for another day. This next one is a spicy soda, and that is the Mountain Dew Hot Cheetos collab. This was surprisingly not awful like I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it added a nice little kick to the soda and did not taste like utter garbage. And as for a novelty soda, I think it was neat. Hell no, fuck this drink. I almost died from the spice. It was literally like someone mixed pepper and soda together. The carbonation plus the peppery sensation almost killed my ass. That's why it's going in C tier, Donnie. Don't you worry. I wouldn't drink a whole case of these, but if they're there, I would definitely drink them. Then after that, we have another A tier, and that is Mountain Dew Frostbite. This is a nice flavor overall, and I like it a lot, but just not enough for S tier. Joey, I don't know. That shit is pretty good. What could you possibly be reserving for S tier? That is easy as hell, Barack. Much like with my Pop-Tart list, I'm only reserving two flavors for S tier. And the easiest S tier of my life right now is this next one, and that is Mountain Dew Baja Blast. This shit is so freaking good, I would go to Taco Bell just to get this flavor. Like, Taco Bell Baja Blast is simply elite. And then we have it alongside some chalupas. Jesus, I'm going to cream myself at the thought of it. Now you're straight spitting, Joey. Baja Blast is legitimately one of the best Mountain Dew flavors and I refuse to hear anyone else say otherwise. Woke up feeling dangerous, didn't you, Joey? You know the Joe dog got that dog in him, of course. Then I have to put the ginger snapped flavor at D tier. This might be one of the worst Mountain Dew flavors to have come out in a while. Anyone who has ever tasted this knows that you would be better off chugging battery acid off of Lizzo's ass crack than ever drinking one of these. Jesus, the Lizzo jokes are back. I thought we were done with them. Only I make the Lizzo jokes, Joey. What the hell? I'll make a better analogy. Drinking ginger snapped Mountain Dew is like having Lizzo throw up in a blender and then mixing it with some dying person's stomach bile and then savoring every second of the sewage smoothie. Thanks for the tag team, Donnie. Anyways, up next, we got both Baja Gold and Legend going in B tier. Baja Gold just isn't as good as normal Baja Blast, in my honest opinion. And Legend is good, but it pisses me off that it's only available in Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, who the hell goes to Buffalo Wild Wings when they could go to Wingstop instead? Wingstop is way better than B-dubs if you're going to get wings. I can agree with that. It's all the same shit, guys. We have to remember to rate the soda and not the food, you freaking troglodytes. Sorry, Dad. And next up, we have Mountain Dew Spark going straight to A-tier. 
I am building up suspense for that next S tier, but yeah, I have Mountain Dew Spark in A because it is one of my personal favorites and is relatively new, so I gotta let it marinate a bit and truly let it earn the higher ranking if it ever reaches that. On God, you have to let that shit ferment for a while before we decide on moving it up, but out of the newer Dew flavors, this is a good one. Now, you guys may have been expecting this, but I have Mountain Dew Code Red going in S tier simply because it is the best year-round flavor. Like, you can never go wrong with Code Red, and it is definitely up there with Baja Blast. I don't know if I agree with that. I tend to prefer the newer flavors more just because I get sick of having so much Code Red. No one is telling you to drink that every day you mouth breather. It is elite, and I refuse to hear otherwise. Then to top off the list, I am putting Voltage in A tier as well. It's good, but again, not as good as Code Red. I want to get topped off right now. Like on gas or something? This fucking guy. Hey gang, we are back yet again with another tier list, and this time we are doing a fruit tier list. And before anyone says anything, we do not have any exotic fruits here, so I don't want to hear the Latinos complain about the lack of guava or the Oriental people complain about the lack of rambutan. What the heck is rambutan? That sounds like a funny word. Of course, this guy knows nothing about fruit. He probably gets all his fruits from soda. Rambutan are these little spiny balls that probably resemble what you have down in your pants more than fruit. Gross Donald. Let's just go ahead and get this list started. To start things off, I am putting apples in A tier. A for apple, I love it. Not why I put it there, but whatever, sure. I just think it is a super solid fruit. I mean, who doesn't like a good apple? Up next, I'm putting bananas in C tier. They're kind of just there, and I never ever go out of my way for a banana. Plus, every time I eat one, Donald and Joe always laugh at me when I put it in my mouth. You're practically asking for it when you're throating that banana berry. Huh, good one, Donald, but in all honesty, cut up bananas in your cereal slaps, I can't even lie. So it's fine to cut it up and eat it in cereal, but it's not okay to eat it alone. Yes. yes. Okay, that is completely absurd. Anyways, I got both blackberries and raspberries going into B tier. Barry put berries in B tier for Barry. Joe, calm down before you get a stroke. Hearing Joe say all that makes me angry that I'm also putting blueberries in B tier. Berries belong in B tier. Blue, rasp, or black, they all berries. Wow, okay, so he's not gonna say it again. Well, anyways, I got melons going into C tier. They are all right, but I would rather have many other things. Go figure Barack isn't a melon man. God, I love me some big old melons. I'll catch shot after shot of melons in my face. Yeah, I'll catch some back shots from some melons too. Now, I don't know about that one sleepy Joe. Enough. You two need to grow up. Up next, I got cherries going into A tier as they're pretty good overall, but those seeds annoy the hell out of me. Yeah, itty bitty cherries are all right, I guess. Makes sense you're not a melon man considering the cherries your wife has. What the hell did you just say? Nothing, look Barack, it's grapes and watermelon. Your people love those things. Now what the fuck do you mean by that? Ooh, now Donald, you know that's not okay. Now, 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 how about we all stop jumping to conclusions? I am just assuming that Barack's people, the Hawaiians, love watermelon because they are tropical fruits, and Barry always talks about his love for wine, so I just assumed he loves grapes. I'm letting this slide only because you're correct. I love grapes and watermelon so much that they go in S tier. Now, grapefruit, though, I want to put them in C tier because I like them, but I know everyone doesn't. Who the hell likes grapefruit? Are you an old man, Barack? You have to put a fruit in D tier, and this is the worst one out of all of them. For the record, I happen to love grapefruit. Oh God, Donald, you're right. I'm moving it to D tier. Up next, we got mangoes and I love me some mangoes. The illegals sure do love those fruits too. I buy them by the baskets whenever I see one and they always bang. They're slappers, man. The tropical fruit is always amazing and same can be said about oranges. I freaking love both of these and I am putting both into A tier. I almost wanted to put mango in S tier, but I want to be a bit reserved. Not too many S tiers. When I get mangoes, I suck on that ma like crazy. I be sucking the mango seed like I'm getting paid to do it. Back in college, they called me the suck machine with the way I was sucking those mangoes. What the fuck? Ignore him, it's the dementia speaking. Then I got peaches going into B tier. It's all right, but I don't think I'm going crazy for peaches. Pineapples though, I will go crazy for pineapples and I think my most controversial thing on this list shall come. I am putting pineapples in S tier. I'll eat that shit till my mouth starts bleeding. Nah, man, I cannot. I'd flip mangoes and pineapples on this list. I don't want my mouth to feel like Joe's after a Friday night. You wish you had my mouth. No, Joey, I really do not. All right, settle down, guys. Up next, I got pomegranate going into C tier. They're good as hell and in juice form are amazing, but in its base form, it's too annoying to eat. 
Base form? The fuck are we talking about? Anime transformations? Just say that it sucks eating unless it's juiced. Can't even lie, Barack. What you said was pretty stupid. Like borderline window liquor. All right, whatever, but we all agree it's C since no one said anything. And up next, I got strawberries as our final S tier. The most used fruit in any juice, good as hell to eat by itself, and is available everywhere. Why the hell is avocado on this list? Because it's technically a fruit, you idiot. Okay, but like, why do we have avocados on the list, but not guava, jackfruit, starfruit, dragon fruit, or any other good ass fruit? Shut up, Joe. Sorry. Avocados go into a solid A tier, and all those fruits you mentioned, Joey. I'd probably put them into S or A tier. Does that make you happy? I guess it does, a little bit. But where does Rambutan go? Up your ass. What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and we've been getting comments to do a shake tier list. So I decided to get the gang around and go ahead and start another ranking. I am the ice cream expert, so I think this extends to shakes as well. Well, shakes have ice cream in them, so I would say that you are the most qualified based on that. But if we were counting the amount of calories someone eats a day, well, Donald has you beat by a mile. Barry, shut the hell up. I told you that I am on a bulk. When I finally cut, I'll be so freaking shredded. Only thing you're cutting is some more snacks open. Anyways, let's start this list off and we have a pumpkin shake. Now, I like pumpkin pie, but if you hand me a whole ass shake dedicated to the flavor of pumpkin, you and me are going to have some problems. I like pumpkins, but they should not be in shake form. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like it is simply way too much pumpkin to go through in one sitting. Like imagine slurping on pumpkin flavored sweetness for like five minutes straight. And if you get a super thick shake, it's basically game over. I will be placing this into C tier because I guess no shake can be truly awful. But goddamn pumpkin shakes are not the best thing you can get. Joe, you exaggerate so much. People love pumpkin a lot and Starbucks makes a killing off pumpkin spice lattes. This is why I know more about business than you. Yeah, they sell pumpkin spice lattes. It has a hint of pumpkin. It's not the entire thing like a shake would be. Anyways, continuing my hater rampage, I am putting mint shakes. So a shamrock shake from McDonald's, or as I like to call them, shamcock shakes, right into D tier. Joe, hold your ass down. I get hating those things, but I for one enjoy shamrock shakes, and you have to realize a lot of people in general love those shakes. The comments ate you alive last time you talked badly about shamrock shakes. God, fine. I'll put it into B tier since I guess I can skip brushing my teeth and just have a shamrock shake instead, but I won't be happy about placing it that high. You have to at least let me place this next one into C tier then. I don't even know what the hell it is, so sure. Go ahead and place it into C tier. Barry, I am so surprised you don't know what it is. There's a banana right there. It's your favorite thing to suck on and eat. On God, Donald, we do not be fucking with the bananas. I will confidently place a banana shake into C tier and have no qualms about it. Up next, though, we got our very first S tier, a classic shake, really, and that is the pure chocolate shake. I love this thing, and I genuinely believe it is extremely hard to mess up a chocolate shake. If you somehow find a way to mess that up, then you have a talent for screwing up everything in life. The simplicity behind this flavor and the deliciousness is what boosts this into an S tier. And this is an extremely uncommon Joe W, but I will let it slide and allow you to spit. On God, I be spitting guys. Sometimes it's saliva, and sometimes it's the truth. But anyways, up next we got a peanut butter shake, and this is a pretty good one. If you love peanut butter, and I have loved it ever since someone taught me a cool trick involving peanut butter and a dog. Ever since then I have loved it, and a shake version of it is absolutely delicious. And I will confidently be placing this into an easy A tier for this list. What the hell did you say in that first part, Joe? That I love peanut butter? I don't know what's so weird about that. You know, a lot of people love peanut butter Barack. Joe, that is not what you said, but you know what? I'm too scared to talk further about what you did with that peanut butter. Please just go on to the next shake. Uh, I was planning on doing that anyways. This next shake is my personal favorite, and I have the cookies and cream shake going straight into S tier as well, because who doesn't like this? It's basically an Oreo shake, and I love Oreos so much. I get the double stuffed Oreos and make a quadruple stuffed Oreo by taking two apart and putting them together. I love that creamy white stuff so much. I bet you're a huge fan of that white stuff going inside. Do you swallow all of it, Joey? Well, of course I swallow it all. How else am I supposed to eat it? You acting kind of strange slime. Anyways, we got yet another S tier coming up and that is the strawberry shake. I freaking love strawberries and I can drink them in juice, eat them fresh, eat them in ice cream form. 
and I will also devour it in shake form. I think this was an easy one to grade because of how fire strawberries are. Well said, Joey. As a fellow strawberry lover, I am proud to stand by your statement. Even more proud you did not say any weird stuff during all of that. Thanks, Barry. I try really hard to not be myself sometimes. Well, to wrap up this list, we got vanilla flavored shakes. Now this is a tough one for me because I love the hell out of vanilla ice cream, but vanilla shakes are just a bit too much vanilla, if that makes sense. It's the same as the pumpkin reasoning, except I can handle more of the vanilla. Is it because it's so good and creamy, all that yummy white vanilla going inside of you and on your lip? Donald, sometimes you weird me out by how freaking accurate you are. Yeah, it's thick and creamy and I love it inside of me, but not too much. So in total, I will be giving it an A tier. Are we even freaking talking about vanilla shakes anymore? No. no. Hey everyone, it's your favorite president here, Barry Barack Obama. I am joined by Joey and Donald on our soda tier list right here, and I'm sure we're gonna have a great time. Barack, I am obviously their favorite president, but anyways, what do you mean we're gonna have a great time? Don't you mean we're gonna have a blast? Oh, I get it, it's because Barack loves to blow. Yes, Joey, we all get it. Haha, <laughs> what a funny and original joke, Donald. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got seven up. How are we feeling about this gang of lang? Heads up 7-Up is an elite game, so I think this should be maybe above mid. Joey, we're talking about soda, you idiot. But yeah, I'd say B-tier would be perfect for it because it's one of the better citrus sodas, but not amazing. Like, I wouldn't send someone to an internment camp if they handed this to me instead of my tried and true Mountain Dew or Sprite. Yeah, I'm feeling that Donnie, a solid B-tier for this would be good. Moving on, we got Bang's Root Beer, but we're going to pretend it's a Mug Root Beer. I personally have that going into A tier. Like you can never go wrong with some root beer because it always bangs. Ooh, that and cream soda goes hard, can't even lie. Joe, you are so old, you may as well crumble into dust. Cream soda? Was that the only thing they had in the prehistoric times and that's why you twerk for that? Donald, you will make Joe angry. And trust me, you wouldn't like Joe when he's angry. Don't talk in third person, Joe. It freaks me out and makes me think you're up to no good. Anyways, we got another solid entry and that is Canada Dry Ginger Ale. That is super solid and I think the diet version of that drink is legit. One of the best diet drinks. I hate that it has Canada in the front, but I must agree it is elite. Not as elite as this upcoming drink we have here. Now Barry, how are you gonna do this? Because the list is based on overall flavor. And even though Diet Cokes are quite literally the best diet soda ever made. We all know it isn't much when compared to the real thing, but I believe we still got to give it credit. Still can't believe they let him put a Diet Coke button in the White House, but they refused to put an ice cream button for me. Joey ice cream is probably messier to transport to the Oval Office. And God, the stains it would get from you dropping ice cream would piss me off. But yeah, Donald, I am with you, don't worry. I think it deserves merit for being one of the best diets. And we'll place it into C tier. It isn't as good as normal Coke, but for a diet drink, it is indeed elite. Huge W for you, Barack. I'll gift you some explosives for this massive W you gave everyone. Hilarious, really funny guys. Please do more jokes anyways. Up next, we got Sierra Mist, and this is straight garbage. So bad, in fact, that they completely ditched their old name and rebranded to Starry, and no one still cares. Just for taking L after L, I have to place them in D tier for how bad they handled the whole brand and the flavor is whatever. I would rather have so many other drinks, like it's so forgettable, and I feel like that's worse than being bad. While we're speaking of bad drinks, let's go ahead and knock out Diet Pepsi from this list, and I am putting it in C tier. It is worse than Diet Coke, but still pretty good for a diet drink can't even lie. I honestly can't tell the difference between Diet Pepsi and Coke, if I'm being honest. Oh my God, Joe, it is so obvious, but of course some smooth brain rock chewer like yourself wouldn't be able to tell. Now let's settle down because I have a pretty controversial take coming up and that it's the fact I'm putting Dr. Pepper in C tier. It is pretty mid and I feel like people say you either like Dr. Pepper or you don't and I don't hate it or love it. It's kind of just there and I would rather have most other sodas but I'll drink it if it's there. I can't say the same for Pineapple Fanta because that is indeed a banger and belongs in A tier. I don't get the Dr. Pepper hate to be honest. It's a good drink and should go in B for bussin. Ignore him, Barack. I also applaud the W move in putting Pineapple Fanta up in A tier. I'm assuming you're putting Grape Fanta up there with your fascination with grape flavored things. Uh, I never said I loved grape flavored things and I actually have that going into B tier now that you mention. 
What exactly made you think that I, of all people, would love grape? Ooh, you're gonna get a spanking now, Donnie. Why, uh, I just, you see, I just really love grape-flavored things, and I assumed you and me had similar taste buds. Nothing involving what you looked like made me think you liked grape-flavored things. Never said it was because of how I looked like Jesus Donald. Ignoring that, I have Orange Fanta going into A tier, as it is a classic Fanta flavored that I believe all enjoy. Up next, however, we have our first S tier, and that is Mountain Dew. All three of us love it so much, we made a freaking tier list revolving around the different flavors of Mountain Dew. Everyone should go watch that it was a banger video, and we refuse to listen to any of the Code Red hate. The tier list is absolute and is the best Mountain Dew one ever made. I wish I can take a shower in Mountain Dew and leave myself all sticky and yummy. What the hell is wrong with you? Let's just move on and go to our next entry, which is Coke. And let's all be honest, you all know where this is going, and it is a straight up S tier soda, no ifs, ands, or buts. The only one I can see everyone questioning me on is this next one as I am putting Pepsi in S tier as well. I am a Pepsi believer and I genuinely like both Coke and Pepsi. I don't know why people like to create this divide. You know what, Barry, I'm a Coke diehard, but I'll admit it. When the function has no Coca-Cola, I ask for a Pepsi instead. They're both really good in my opinion, unless we talk about the diet versions. I like Pepsi more, to be honest. I like how blue the can is. I don't know why you would even care about the color, but I am glad Donald is in agreement with me. Up next, I am putting Sunkist in A tier. I feel like every time I have Sunkist soda, I am never disappointed. It's always enjoyable, and I can't really complain about it. Now, what about this next one, Barry? I swear Sprite belongs in S tier, and that's not even talking about McDonald's Sprite because that shit hits different. It may even be the best soda in the world if it came strictly from McDonald's. Don't worry, Donnie, I got Sprite going into S tier, and if McDonald's Sprite were in this, I'd have that going in God tier. McDonald's Sprite hits me like a truck. I swear they somehow carbonate that way more than it should be, and it makes my throat hurt and my eyes water so much when I swallow it, but I take it nice and good down my throat. Yo, what the hell? Pause. What is going on, gang? It is your supreme leader back at it again with another tier list. And this time around, we are doing a sports drink tier list, which I am obviously the most qualified for. I will be grading these on their thirst quenching power, their design, their flavors and taste. But most importantly, I will be grading them based on how well they can help with my hangovers. Well, that's not really the best purpose for this tier list, considering that these drinks just help hydrate you and replenish lost electrolytes. Yeah, well, I am in desperate need of that whenever I'm out late hanging out with Hunter and partying like the madman he is. I need a super drink if I'm supposed to recover from his alcohol and coke-fueled parties. Dude, what the heck? He never invites me to those. How did you get in? I already have told you dozens upon dozens of times, but your son prefers me as a father figure, and he has told me countless times that he wishes I were his real dad. Now I wish I could return the sentiment, but I straight up told him that it's very weird for a grown man to be telling me these things, but I like partying with him, so I let it slide from time to time. But enough of these weird familial issues you got going on in the Biden household, and let's talk about some drinks. Up first, we got the tried and true Gatorade. You can never go wrong with this drink, and really it's probably one of, if not the best drink on this list without a doubt. This is getting an S tier from me, and there should be no debate about it because they are bona fide in this and are the titans of the sports drink industry. My favorite flavor is definitely the blue Gatorade, but if you all want to hear more about that, you can check out our Gatorade tier list. W plug for our video, Donald. And yeah, I always find myself gravitating towards Gatorade first and foremost whenever I need a drink like that. I'll have them when I'm sick, hungover, or actually tired and thirsty from playing sports. So you admit that you use these for whenever you're hungover, but you chose to get upset at me for saying it. I said that I was upset that it was a part of the rankings, you buffoon. Now, can we all settle down and get along? It's just a fun little tier list, and we all know that we should only use them after we have had a heavy day of exercising. Shut the hell up, Joe. Don't go telling me what to do, but I will go ahead and continue because I see some atrocity up next, and that is the Sam's Club default sports drink. This is like opening a case in a video game and receiving the most basic common skin in the whole thing. These things don't even have a name. They're just labeled as sports drink. I have to give this a C tier, and... If I saw someone pull up with these, I would immediately call them out for even thinking anyone would want these. Do they really taste that awful? 
Oh, well, uh, they don't uh, actually taste that awful. Like, they're actually kind of decent. But what will the girls think when they see me sipping out of the Sam's Club default skin sports drink instead of a Gatorade? I seriously doubt any single soul would care about what another person is drinking. Oh, but you would be surprised, Barack. You would be shocked at what people have to say. But anyways, up next, we got a D tier, and that is Gatorade's version of Pedialyte. This shit stinks and tastes god awful. Like, I get that it is supposed to taste awful, but Jesus, man, I would rather drink taint sweat than ever subject myself to that abhorrent drink. Someone handed me this the other day, and I saw the Gatorade logo, and that shit lulled me into a false sense of security. I felt like I was a little kid who just got dropped off at a sex offender's house by his parents and was told he had to stay there the whole week like that is raps. It's open season. That's just how awful that thing was when it touched my taste buds. Oh, it is indeed raps if that were to happen. Uh, not that I would know. You're not very subtle with these things. I hope you realize that, but I don't think anyone cares, which is the worst part of it all. Following that, we got Great Britain's national drink, and that is Prime. And let me tell you that these kids in the UK go absolutely batshit crazy for Prime is an understatement. Having a bottle of Prime would mean more to a kid in the UK than the Pope of the Catholic Church meeting Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the flesh. Like, there are levels to this that a normal human being cannot simply comprehend, and I'm trying my best to explain it to you all. But enough of that, because now we got to talk about the ranking, and quite honestly, I actually like Prime. I don't think it is as good as these people in the UK make it out to be, but I am a huge fan of the Glowberry and Ice Pop flavors. They are, however, loaded with sugars, but that's fine, I guess. And I am thinking that a solid A tier is needed for this pretty good drink. Pretty spot on with that. I am not going to lie. I enjoy Prime too, but it is definitely overhyped, but I still enjoy the two flavors you mentioned. I'll have some from Time, but ultimately, I think I'd rather have a Gatorade or a Body Armor. I have to agree on the Body Armor take, but we're not there yet, so let me continue with my list. And when we get there, you can start sucking off body armor. Anyways, up next, we got Powerade, and this is like Gatorade's little brother. Like, everyone looks at this drink, and they think it is sorry as hell. Still, though, as much as I am hating on this drink, I don't think it's awful. And I actually kind of like it now that I think about it. I think I am just hating on it because it's funny. But this is a solid A tier in my books. So is that why you make fun of me? You hate on me constantly, but is it because everyone in the audience expects you to do it? But in reality, you actually think I am super cool and love being friends with me? Is it like that one episode of SpongeBob where Squidward secretly likes Krabby Patties but doesn't want to tell anyone because he's so shy and embarrassed? No, Joe, I genuinely have a certain level of disdain for you. Let's not talk about things that'll make me angry, and instead, let's talk about something that I really love and is very much so near and dear to my heart. Your kids? No, you idiot. I'm talking about the list still, and I freaking love Liquid IV. I love this product so much, and it literally hydrates you so quickly, like I can feel it almost instantly. And I have to give this product an S tier because of that. Like, if you're drinking, I would heavily recommend taking these while you're drinking, and you will have an amazing time. And even when you're playing sports, these will help quench whatever thirst you have. And I can assure you of that personally. Jesus, this is reading out like an ad read. You're not sponsored by them, are you? I freaking wish, man. That would mean unlimited liquid IV for me. And we all know I love that, but unfortunately, I am just glazing like a motherfucker for fun. It's okay, though, because up next, we got body armor. And as Barack was saying earlier, this is indeed a pretty good product. Like, I wouldn't say it's better than the top two in S tier, but it is definitely the best thing in where I'll place it, which is in A tier. I like the flavors they have a lot more than the other drink, and they are the official drink of Kobe Bryant. And man, oh man, that guy is a close friend of mine. May he rest in peace. I'll never forget the fall he took for me out in Colorado. He was really a lifesaver for that back then. Uh, what the hell are you talking about, your fall guy? Are you tied into that case in Colorado way back when? Uh, nothing at all. Let's talk about vitamin water, everyone. Oh man, I don't like vitamin water, but I do think it's better than that Sam's Club members mark default Fortnite skin ass drink. I'd rather pull up to the function with this vitamin water drink than with that off-brand Gatorade wannabe Sam's Club drink. But on its own, I really don't like vitamin water that much, but a solid B tier would be an okay placement for it, in my opinion. I don't think there are tons of vitamin water fans out there. And even if they are fans of the drink, they have to agree with this list. Like, no way they'd argue with me that vitamin water is better than Gatorade. 
You seem to be very passionate on signifying how mediocre vitamin water is. And as a fan of vitamin water, I choose to respect your opinion, but ultimately disagree with your verdict. Joey, you do not speak like that. Stop trying to talk all smart and formal when we all know you huff glue and paint in your free time. Anyways, enough of Joe, because up next we got Propel Water, and I wasn't sure if I should include this on the list, but I decided to add it either way just to appease any person who is a fan of this water. I think it is another B tier in all honesty, like it isn't bad once again, much like vitamin water, but I will never go out of my way for Propel Water. Like, why wouldn't I just drink water instead? I don't know, but either way, that is simply where it goes. Okay, that's nice and all, but what the hell is that last drink? Oh, you've never heard of BioSteel? Neither have I before making this list, and that's why I'm placing this in C tier alongside the other unknown ass sports drink, because these things were not made for human consumption. They were made for real life NPCs and human bots that go out of their way to drink these instead of consuming what every other person drinks. See, a motherfucker like me goes against the grain and chooses to actively drink other things that not a lot of people drink. You know why? It's because I am different and I am not like all of you. I walk my own path in life and I am a trailblazer instead of a follower, which is the type of vibes you're giving me, Donald, big follower vibes. Shut the hell up, Joe. You don't know what you're even saying. You're an old dementia-ridden man who can barely remember what color his own underwear is. Jokes on you, they're all white except for the big brown stain near my ass. That's so vile, Joey. But you guys want to know what the coolest sports drink is? Now, I drink this every day no matter what, and quite honestly, it beats everything else in this list. It can be used to cure thirstiness, hangovers, you name it, and honestly, it will help. The magical drink I'm talking about is called water, everyone. Listen to this freaking guy talking about water. What is the point of sipping on water when I can simply get all the liquids I need in my day from Gatorade? and I will get some lost electrolytes. Come on, Barack, we all know the clear winner in this. On God, Donald, now you're spitting facts. Like, please tell me, Barack, why in the heck would I ever decide to drink normal water when I get my yummy, yummy vitamin water? Well, actually, unless it's yummy, yummy Dasani water, but aside from that, I would prefer not to because I like to see how yellow my pee can get before my doctors tells me to start drinking my water again. Okay, that was a bit much. I very much so don't agree with everything Joe says but his heart is kind of in the right place. You two are both gross as hell and will eventually get diabetes. You two do realize that? Joke's on you, I already do. What is up, gang? It is your presidential trio back at it again, and this time around, we're making a seafood tier list and freaking frail, and Donald thought it would be hilarious for old Joe to get the most stupid list of them all. Like, most of these animals aren't even cooked, man. Like, there's an alive catfish on the first slide and a freaking jellyfish on here. Who the heck is eating jellyfish? I have been dishonored with this choice of a tier list. Come on, Joe, you know we chose you because you have some good takes when you want to have good takes. Plus, it was your turn, and we already knew you would complain. I told our editor, Frail, to make this list like that just so you can get screwed over. The people want Donald versus animals, and we are focusing our resources on that. It's not my fault you got left over with the booty tier list. Well, joke's on you because aside from the pictures on this tier list, I'm actually pretty big on seafood and like them when it's cooked, unless it's sushi, I guess. But I guess I will start this list for our precious viewers and all the big Joe heads out there. Uh, what and who are the Joe heads? Well, as the name implies, you idiot, they are fans of the Joe army and they worship me. Kind of like a cult the more you think about it, but I do these tier lists for them. Anyways, up first we got catfish, and despite this picture of a very much so alive catfish looking mighty unappetizing, I have to be the first to say that fried catfish bangs, and I am a pretty big fan of it. I think all in all I will have to give it a solid A tier. I think most people like catfish, so this is a pretty safe bet. Yeah, I can see catfish going that high, but I can also see it going higher or lower. What kind of weenie-ass willy-nilly answer is that, Barack? The biggest non-answer ever if you say, yeah, I can see that, but I can also see it being higher or lower. Stop pandering to the damn audience, Barack, and put a real opinion. Fine, I like where it's at exactly, because catfish is good, but not the best on this list. There we go, Barry. That wasn't so hard, was it? Anyways, up next we got uh, what I presume to be our clams. Honestly, I think a solid B is in order for this one, but if you cook enough of these in butter, I won't be able to tell you the difference. But the same cannot be said for our next entry, which is crabs. Now, I don't want to hear no, oh, crabs are overrated talk in the comments because I love crabs. I am a crab man and I even love the imitation crab as well. This is an immediate S tier for me and I really have a hankering for some soft shell crab. I keep seeing people eat soft shell crab, 
by cooking it in the air fryer and then just devouring that little dude hole, like with the shell and all. Well, no shit, Joe. It's a soft shell crab for a reason. Just because it's a soft shell doesn't mean the first thought is, oh man, I should eat this with the shell and all. Like, what the heck are you talking about? But enough of that, because we are moving to our next S tier, and that is crawfish. And get me a seafood boil with these bad boys in there, and I will practically sign whatever bill you want into existence. These bad boys are God's gift to humanity, and quite honestly, most shellfish are freaking amazing. Boy, it must suck to be allergic to these things, but honestly, even if I was allergic, I would just carry that thang on me and eat at a seafood place. What the hell are you talking about? What is that thang you're talking about? The EpiPen thingamabobber. I would eat as much as I could like a speed run of it, and then once the throat was closed up to the point where I couldn't breathe, boom, I would inject myself and be good to go. But honestly, if all people get are rashes or hives from seafood, the Joster only has one thing to say to you. Do not let your body tell you what you can't or can do. Always defy the odds and carry on. I don't know if that's good advice. Nah, I heavily smell him on that. The doctor said I was morbidly obese, and I turned and looked at him and said, I already know I am morbidly obese. He was stupefied at the thought of my superior brain power and tried telling me to stop eating KFC. Jesus Christ. Donald, you madman, you sure showed that stupid idiot doctor. I swear some of them are fake news. I got told I was suffering from Alzheimer and I just shook my head and laughed at him. But yeah, I swear some of them are fake news. I got told I was suffering from Alzheimer and I just shook my head and laughed at him. Uh, Joe, you do remember that we are currently doing a tier list, right? You just repeated yourself. A tier what now? Oh, snap, crackle, pop. There's some squid on our screen with a tier list. Man, whoever was making this so far was cooking, but it's time for the Joester to take over. And I have squid going into B tier. It's all right, but I am not about to throw it back for some squid. The only squid I fuck with is squid game. You guys smell me? But anyways, after that, we got octopus or squid tentacles. Listen, I couldn't tell you what that is, but either way, it's a B tier as well. Joe, I thought you were a freaking seafood expert. That's why we gave you this tier list to do. Maybe a self-proclaimed expert, but I do love seafood. My bad, I don't know the difference between octopus and squid tentacle. Also, this list isn't freaking labeled, and half the stuff on here is alive. What do you want me to do about that, Barack? You want me to go back in time and label this list? You want me to prepare every single dish on here and then take pictures of each one for our tier list? Shit, I may as well go out on a fishing boat and catch all of these before cooking them right. Okay, fine, I get it. I am sorry, please go on with the list. That's what I thought anyways. After that, we got snails. And last time I checked, I'm not a Frenchie, so I am placing this into C tier. Snails aren't as gross as you'd think, but still not amazing. Then after that, we got a freaking joke of a food that goes into D tier immediately, and that is a jellyfish. Like, can you honestly even eat these? Isn't it all just membrane? And like, even if you were to indulge in some jellyfish, it would be like six centimeters of meat to enjoy. Hey, Donald, that should be your catchphrase. Shut the hell up, Sleepy Joe. That's why you're not doing the animal fight tier list, and I am. I wouldn't want to make that anyways. I love animals, and I love to eat them. Moving on past that, we got shrimp, and I have to give this an S tier. I am a shrimp guy, and I love eating them in almost any way prepared. I think I would prefer them to be fried and just have some surf and turf. But following that, we got lobsters, and you all already know where this is going. Straight to S tier, because even though I admit it is overrated, I still have to say that in this pure seafood tier list, it belongs all the way up in S lobster rolls go absolutely crazy, and even just normal lobster with tons of butter will make any man shed tears of joy. That is, of course, if you're not allergic. I want them to die for lobster. I know I would. Following that, we then got mussels, and I'm actually a pretty big fan of mussels. I'm a pretty big fan of mussels and their overall flavor slash texture. I think an A tier is good for this, but then up next, we got a whole ass octopus. And again, I don't think it is appetizing at all to have the very much so alive animal for the picture, not to mention it's an underwater picture. So already in my mind, I got this vivid image of an octopus swimming happily in the water, and that's what's going to be going in my mouth to eat. I'll still give it as B tier because I swear I have had octopus before, and it actually kind of slapped. I can't even lie to you guys. Some octopus ceviche kind of goes hard, and I would recommend seafood lovers to try it. But before I hear any other comments, I'm actually going to need you all to try our next entry after because we have smoked oysters, and this immediately goes into A tier. The reason for such a high rating is because I have recently seen a lot of TikTok videos and they recommended some smoked oysters from a can and some homemade garlic bread. 
and oh boy, it's a combo that will make you want some more and more. I think for that alone, it deserves a solid A tier for being that delicious. Way to go on a long ass rant about oysters and octopuses, Joe. I was about to shit on you for your opinions, but like I keep saying in other videos, for some odd and mysterious reason, you choose to have good takes whenever you make tier lists. But when it comes to me and Barack, you always have these abhorrent and rancid takes on our lists. What? Me? No way. I guarantee you that if either me or Barry were doing this tier list, you would be jumping for joy at the thought of eating some jellyfish. Nah, it's all in your head, man. I always have the same takes, no matter who is doing what tier list. Anyways, enough of your blasphemy, and let's move on to our next entry, which is salmon. And of course, this is an obvious S tier. This is like a God tier food in any tier list, I feel like. It's a goddamn superfood, and I will enjoy any type of salmon that is prepared in any type of way. And uh, up next, we got what I think are sardines. And now, while I love sardines from a can and tomato sauce, I uh, just cannot place it that high and will be giving it a C tier. Yeah, I don't really mess with sardines either, but they're not awful. Like some people will act like they just ate out of grandma's booty hole when they have some sardines. That is gross, dude. Don't bring up grandmothers in that context. Have some more shame, Barack. After that, we got scallops, and I like me some good scallops and believe it merits a solid B tier. It is no smoked oysters, that's for sure, but still good. Then after we got prawns, I believe, or maybe the one before was prawns, and this is shrimp. Listen, I honestly am not quite sure, but it really does not matter because they are both ranked as an S tier in my eyes. Wow, why the hell did we even allow you to make this when you don't even know the difference? Listen, man, I chose to do this one out of the kindness in my own heart. I am sorry I can't tell you the difference, but like, what do you want me to do? Like, what the hell is that next thing? Another freaking squid slash octopus. This is a C tier, I don't care anymore. And then after that is some canned food. What the hell is that? I don't care. This is a C tier too, because apparently it's too hard to just label and prepare the foods for old Joe. I'm going to sleep. Wow. Uh, what now? Well, we could be nice people and go apologize to crybaby Joe and tell him that we will try to do better next time because we care about him as a person. Or we can announce that Sunday, 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 we will hold the Donald versus animals list this Sunday. Amazing plug for our upcoming video. I am glad someone said it because that video is going to pop off. But uh, aside from that, I am guessing we're not apologizing to Joe, right? No shit. Hey everyone, it's my turn to make some lists and I want to take a moment to thank Zach Martin 3006 for this idea. As soon as we saw it, we all knew we had to rank some Pop-Tart flavors because they are delicious as hell. And I think I am a connoisseur of the tarts that pop. Yeah, you're a huge tart, a big friggin' retard if you ask me. I've never seen someone as tarted as you. Oh, gee whiz, thanks, Donnie. Joey, you know that? Never mind, you'd be happier without knowing, but please enlighten us with your list, Joey. Oh yeah, time to get epic. Anyways, first and foremost, I feel like we have to put blueberry in A tier. Personally, when I think of Pop-Tart, I think of blueberry, but I don't think it's the best flavor, if that makes sense. I totally get that. Whenever you see Pop-Tarts, you always see a blueberry. It's a great, safe option. You know, Joey, I figured that you'd pick a fruit-flavored one and put it high. You always seemed like a fruity guy. I am a fruity guy. I like to think I'm the fruitiest guy I know. Thanks for being so nice to me today, Donald. I really didn't expect it. Moving on, we got brown sugar up next, and that's a solid A tier as well. People be sleeping on brown sugar, but I think it's another safe option again, and it's good. Joe, this is an okay choice. I agree. People sleep on brown sugar, but it probably could have gone in B tier. Nah, trust me. Just let me cook on this one. With my next entry, I'm putting cherry in C tier. What the hell, Joey? I don't think it's that bad. Isn't it basically the same as blueberry? No, you freaking buffoon. It is not the same. You guys ever compare a real cherry to artificial cherry flavored things? They are not the same, and I, for one, am a hater of artificial cherry. I do not want that Pop-Tart, but if it's there, I will eat it. It will remain in C tier. Can't really disagree as I never had cherry Pop-Tarts. I'm just used to popping them. Gross, Donald, but Joe, what about everyone else who likes cherry-flavored things? Fuck them. Anywho, I got chocolate cookie dough and chocolate chip both in B tier. They are better than cherry, and I love chocolate. Call me the chocolate man, I'd be eating dookie like it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Joe, listen to half the shit you say. It either makes no sense, or you somehow in your dementia-ridden head believe it to be cool. Just let Joey be himself, Donnie, but these are solid selections for B tier. I'm just keeping my eye out for this one particular chocolate flavor. Is it the chocolate fudge Pop-Tart? Because that is going straight to A tier. Like I said, I am the chocolate man and I think this is better than the other two. Okay, that's more valid than what you did to the cherry flavored Pop-Tarts. 
Are we still going on about that? Jeez. Next, you'll say that the confetti-flavored Pop-Tarts are good, but they're actually garbage and go in D-tier. Sleepy Joe wakes up from his slumber, I agree. Anyone that likes confetti or shit with a ton of sprinkles must have a hole in their brain. I am not a fan of birthday-flavored things and this confetti cupcake one. They are scamming you, America, with this lazily-flavored product. What if I like that flavor, guys? You deserve the absolute worst in life if you do. Like that flavor is stinky as hell. And if you like it, then you must be a stinky person. Anyways, don't worry, everyone. We'll wash our brains of that with our first S tier. And that is the cookies and cream. These are so appetizing. I will absolutely get on my hands and knees for this flavor. This biracial flavor is a bop. I'm a huge fan as well. W of a choice here, Joey. I don't get it. If you're a fan of cookies and cream, why not just get Oreos? They taste exactly the same. No, they do not, Donald, you freaking Neanderthal. There is a very clear difference only the most elevated of Pop-Tart eaters will know. Up next, we have another banger, and that is the hot fudge sundae flavor. Oh my God, this can bring tears to my eye from how good it is, but it's not in the elite section. I'm only holding two flavors up there. Joe, never call me that again. So we know cookies and cream are there, but what the hell could the other one be, Joey? Patience, Donnie. Up next, we got raspberry, and I'm going to be honest, I like it, but I prefer strawberry. So I'm putting this in B tier. I feel like it's an honest placement for it because everyone likes strawberries more. Way to assume there, Joey. What about the people that prefer raspberries over strawberries? And what about those innocent kids that you blew up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Never question me again, Barry. Next, we got red velvet going at C tier, and it's an okay flavor. I much rather have the next flavor, and that is the s'mores Pop-Tarts, which are going in A tier. These are good as hell, and the marshmallow and chocolate flavors make for an elite Pop-Tart. So now that we got that out, we can assume that your sleepy ass put strawberry in A tier as well since you put raspberry in B and said strawberry was better. Donald, what the heck, man? This is my list and I get to rate them. But yeah, they go in A tier, but I bet you won't guess where the unfrosted ones go. Your old shriveled shrinky dinky ass would probably like these unflavored messes. Wrong, Donald. I actually have all three in F tier as they taste like doo-doo fart. And I am not a fan of them at all. Give me all the sweet stuff, even if it gives me diarrhea which directly leads us to finale, the magnum opus of sweet Pop-Tarts. And that is the wild berry flavor. I would sacrifice one of my kids for this Pop-Tart. Now, Joe, we know how much you like Pop-Tarts, but that's a pretty insensitive thing to say. How could you get rid of any of your precious kids? This fucker is just using that as an excuse to get rid of Hunter, I bet. Well, as the great Drewski once said, you've got me. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're ending off Trump week with a bang, and we are doing a tier list based on limited time fast food items. A special shout out to Frederick Munster 6024 for the idea. And let's go ahead and get started with this list because I see a banger to start off. And that is the Taco Bell nacho fries. These things are so delicious and I'm happy to start the list off with an easy A tier in all honesty. Agreed, Donald. The cheese sauce paired with the fries is simply elite and I love these things a lot. Whenever Taco Bell has them, I make sure to get them. That cheese be versatile too. I'll put that on everything after I finish my fries and I have some cheese left over. I can't even lie. I'd be slurping that cheese if I have no food to dip it in. That is absolutely putrid, Joey. I don't know if you thought we would agree with you and be like, hell yeah, we love slurping cheese too. Like, no, that's gross. And you should feel bad you even said that. Moving past that, we got the Mexican pizza. And even though I don't like that first word in that food, I have to admit, those illegals make a damn good pizza. It's an honest C tier. Okay, Donald, you do realize that it's not actually a real Mexican pizza. It's just a menu item for Taco Bell, but yeah, they're pretty all right. I remember liking it more than I actually did when they brought it back. I had one again and again, it wasn't bad, but like, it wasn't the best thing ever. I agree with the C tier. I've never had a Mexican pizza, guys. I only get my pizza from Little Caesars and that is elite. Joe, that's gross and save that for the next tier list. Up next, we got our first S tier and that is the Fiery Doritos Locos Tacos from Taco Bell again. I'm starting to notice that Taco Bell has the best limited time food. Why the hell don't they just keep these amazing items? But yeah, we got this in S tier because they add a perfect amount of flavor spice to the tacos and taste like better Doritos Locos Tacos, and those were already elite as hell. I love Doritos Locos Tacos so much, they're possibly my favorite thing from Taco Bell. It grosses me out you agreeing with me, but you know what? I'm glad you feel the same way, Joey. Wow, we all seem to be in agreement. That's pretty cool. Taco Bell brings everyone together, but yes, now we move on to the first D tier, 
and that is this gross unicorn frap thing from Starbucks. It didn't taste absolutely awful, but it pissed me off seeing how much people made a big fuss about it online. And just for that, it deserves D-tier alone. I loved these. Me and my bestie Aubrey would go and get them when we'd go on our Starbies runs. Jesus Joe, stop calling him Aubrey. You're going to make Donald think it's a girl. Oh, hell no. Of course, him and Drake would get these together. I don't know what's fruitier, their bromance or this drink. The next item we got is the beefy crunch burrito from Taco Bell. And this was also amazing. The chips in the burrito added a perfect layer of crunchiness to my burrito. And it's an honest to God A tier, and I would place it higher. But I'm saving the S tier for the most elite of items. You better have some good stuff in S tier, Donnie. This item is a big hit, like I would push a disabled kid down some stairs for a single bite of that burrito. Whoa, that's a bit too far, Barack. I'd like only push a make-a-wish kid down some stairs at max. Okay, can you two relax? We got a personal favorite of mine, but I recognize they're not the best thing, and that is the Mac and Cheetos. They're crunchy and gooey at the same time. This is pretty good and deserving of a B tier, in all honesty. I don't remember them being that good. And didn't they give you, like, only six Cheetos in the package? It's probably a C tier at best, Donald. Simply get your money up, Barack, and you wouldn't care if it came with six because you'd have bought more and would have enjoyed their flavor. The next B tier we got is the KFC Double Down, and it was good, but shit, man. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack eating this. It's a great idea, though. The genius who decided to make a sandwich where the bread is chicken deserves the Nobel Peace Prize. God, that thing screams America to me. Yeah, but then your fingies get too greasy, and it's kind of uncomfortable to eat, to be honest. Yeah, and it seems a bit excessive. Couldn't you achieve the same results with two chicken patties in the middle? Shut up, guys. I have the superior taste buds, and it's only a B tier. It's not like I placed it in S tier. This next entry, however, I am sorry to any McRib fans, but this is going into D tier right off the bat. I kid you not, I took a bite out of a McRib, and I genuinely felt less human, like a piece of my humanity shattered and dissipated into the atmosphere. I still ate it all, but it felt like I was eating a barbecue rubber sandwich and it was one of the worst experiences of my life. I think I would rather be gangbanged by Mandingo and Lex Steele than ever take another bite of a McRib. Jesus, Donald, you must feel really strongly about that. Also, who's Mandingo and Lex Steele? Oh, Barack, you need to grow up and see the world more. Mandingo and Lex Steele are some fine gentlemen, some of my favorite actors. Oh, I guess I'll check out some of their movies later. You've probably already seen them without realizing Barack anyways, we got the McDonald's Southwest salad, and hear me out, guys. This is an S tier. Now, you may be thinking, wow, Donald is so much healthier than me for eating that salad. And you'd be correct, but aside from that, this salad is one of the best things to ever come out of the McDonald's menu. They still have it, but it no longer has the fried chicken as an option. I still urge all of America to go to their closest McDonald's, ask for a Southwest salad with Southwest dressing, and yes, it has to be Southwest dressing. Pour all the ingredients into the bowl, and then pour all the dressing inside. Give it all a good mix and enjoy. You all have been put on by the great Don. You know what? After that whole speech, I feel like I'm going to have to try one just for you, man. Yeah, so I just looked it up, and despite it being a salad, it has like a 1,000 calories, so like it's not really healthy. Shut the fuck up, Joey, and don't track the macros. Just enjoy food for the fine art it is. Up next, we have another S tier, and that is the Naked Chalupa. And oh my God, I would come for this thing. It is the best thing from Taco Bell. I would twerk for this thing all day long. Once they have a box for that thing, I order that every day of the month. Yeah, we can tell by your size that you ordered it that much. Shut the hell up, Joey, as for our final entry. America, this may upset you, but Shamrock Shakes are a C tier for me personally. It's good, but I can't have one every day. Still good, though. I am a certified shamrock hater. Why the fuck does anyone like mint? Go brush your teeth if you like mint. It's the same shit. Want a shamrock shake? Go mix some toothpaste and vanilla ice cream. It'll taste the same. Don't you fucking dare say that, Joey. You need to follow your own advice and probably get something minty since you have rancid old man breath, you deteriorating old shit. The only minty thing about me is how fresh I dress. Get owned by the J-Dog. Shamcock shakes will forever be ass and so will anything mint flavored. What is up, gang? Your presidential trio is back, and this time around, we are going to be ranking our favorite set of alcoholic beverages. And you all already know that your main man, Joe, has you all set and ready for the best type of brews to get you messed up. Joe, I swear to God, if you try convincing that Everclear is somehow an S-tier alcoholic drink, I might have to publicly execute you. I can't do that, Donald. Even I have my limits. 
especially after that dark night in 1978, I can't talk about the atrocities I committed, nor can I discuss who and what groups of people were affected by the heinous acts I did. But I can let you know one thing. It all started with the idea of, hey guys, wouldn't it be funny if we did shots of Everclear to get messed up fast as hell? And next thing you know, I wake up in a hotel room with mysterious red stains that I cannot disclose and a bunch of what many could assume to be human heads in the hotel freezer. But uh, I had nothing to do with the Ted Bundy murders. And I am more than glad we got that psycho in jail. And now he is where Epstein is. Jesus Christ, Joe. What's that one Tame Impala song? Uh, oh yeah. The less I know, the better. Yeah, let's just apply that to this list. And please, for the love of God, don't do any more Everclear shots. Uh, I won't do any more Everclear shots starting now, but anything before that, just know that I was not liable. And that, uh, I in no way have any connections or ties to Epstein or the murders Jeffrey Dahmer committed. Ahem. Anyways, let's get this fun list started. Up first, we got hard seltzers, and I personally am a fan of White Claws or Trulies. Don't forget about Topo Chico's, because those freaking bang, and I'd argue that they are the best hard seltzers. That is a great point, Donald, but all in all, I think I am going to place hard seltzers in B tier. Like, I don't really get these drinks, because if you want to get drunk drinking very horrible tasting alcohol, then you might as well drink beer which is better in my opinion. But I guess if you're a sparkling water fanatic, then I guess your butt flutters at the mention of a hard seltzer. But anyways, let's move on to our next entry, which is rum. And the Joe Dog very much, so enjoys some rum chata. I think for that alone, I have to place it into A tier. It is simply delicious, and I don't need to hear anything other than rum chata in order to place rum this high. So you're literally just placing rum this high because you're that big of a fan of rum chata. There is no other reason aside from your huge personal bias. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. That's exactly what I said. Why do you ask some dumb fucking questions sometimes, man? Anyways, before Barack pisses me off more, let me talk about bourbon. And I love bourbon chicken, but that is not at all similar to the beverage. And I have to say, I am a fan of bourbon. Put it on the rocks, and I will probably have some of the best sleep of my life after drinking it. It's not something you will bring to a party, but it is a refined drink that I will have while lounging on my recliner and maybe watching some Breaking Bad before going night-night. I will have to give it an A tier for those reasons alone. I can't even lie, Joe. For once in your life, you said some real shit. That lounging in the recliner with some bourbon while Breaking Bad plays. Man, that sounds like a vibe. Maybe some fireplace going on in the background so you can hear the crackling of the fire while you see Walter say he is the one who knocks. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. It's quite the experience, I cannot even lie to you. Now up next we got craft beers and you may be asking yourself, hey Joe, what the heck is a craft beer and why is it different from a canned beer? Well, let me tell you the difference. Craft beer is beer that has been made by craft breweries. They produce smaller amounts of beer, usually less than large breweries and are often independently owned. So if you wanna help out the little guy, I suggest you try your locally owned beer brands but I also won't hate if you get the usual Bush, Modelo, or Miller brands of beer. I still have craft beer going into S tier because they experiment more and usually have the cooler and funkier flavors slash brewing methods. That is an actual good take from you, Joe. Uh, why are you taking this list so seriously? Because I want what is best for our dear subscribers and that is whatever will mess them up the fastest or whatever tastes the best to them. Some of them want a weekend drink to forget that the weekend even happened and some just want something smooth and nice to relax and take a load off. And trust me, I am the expert at taking loads uh, off. Yeah, uh, anyways, let me move on with the list. And after that, we got gin. And I have this going into C tier. I am sorry for the gin lovers, but I don't really drink it that much. And it's not really something I feel like people go out of their way for. Like, when have you guys ever heard someone go and say, man, I am craving some gin right now. Can we go buy some at the store? Like, no, those combination of words have not been strung along, but maybe I'm hating too hard. I do think it is somewhat solid, but of course not what I would prefer. Hard hating on Jin here, only to give it a C tier. I thought you'd give it a D with all that hating. He must be reserving D tier for something truly awful if he's willing to absolutely trash Jin for that long, but still give it a C tier. Guys, can we not talk about it yet? I shudder at the thought of it, but let's instead move on with the list. And up next, we got red wine. Now with Thanksgiving coming up, I have to place red wine into A tier. Having this paired up with some greasy or fatty food during Thanksgiving is some of the best shit I will ever experience in my life. They also say that it helps aid with digestion, and even if it doesn't, 
you will catch the Joe dog getting tipsy off the Thanksgiving wine. Is that when you start sniffing all the girls in your family, Joe? Don't be weird, man. This is my family we are talking about. And anyways, I do the sniffing before as well. So your point is moot. But anyways, after that, we got some vodka and let me hear my vodka haters loud and proud. Okay, good now that you all outed yourselves. I want you all to take a long look in the mirror and realize that you're wrong. A good vodka is extremely smooth, and honestly, I compare it to tequila at times because when you have a good version of either, you know you're going to have a good time. I am happily placing this magical elixir into S tier. I will use vodka to mix drinks or just take straight up shots of it if I want to. The vodka take is a good one, but how the hell is it similar to tequila? Well, uh, I just like taking shots of them both. So I guess it's the same to me. It's kind of like our next entry, which is white wine. It is similar to red wine, but it isn't at the same time, but I still have it going into A tier, despite the fact. Now let's talk about something that is also similar to another thing on our list, and that is whiskey. It is essentially very close to bourbon, but ultimately there are some differences, and that mainly comes in the form of flavor. I am a huge whiskey guy, and I will be placing this into S tier. Give me some Jameson whiskey, and I guarantee it is wraps. Whiskey is a bona fide S tier. I am glad you have some semblance of a brain, Joe. I can't even lie. When you volunteered and kept begging us to do this, I really had my doubts, but you keep proving me wrong. Okay, yes, we get it. You thought I was going to be a little jokester, but I take this seriously, man. Getting drunk is one of the many things I do better than being a president. That along with many other things. You wish, buddy. Anyways, up next, we got some cider, and I really have no strong opinions on this. It's a solid B tier, in my opinion, but moving past that, we got tequila. And oh boy, I'm a huge fan of this stuff. Like, I actually don't understand tequila haters. Like, all I hear is, oh man, I get super messed up on tequila. It's dangerous. Like, what the hell? Stop being a pussy and just drink and handle it. See me personally, I will always be an advocate for this S tier drink and will forever love it. I don't even need a lime with my shit or a chaser of any kind because the Joe Dog is a freaking unit of pure alcoholic power. You've all seen Hunter run amok. Where do you all think he got it from? You know what? A lot is starting to come together when it comes to your family dynamic or just however Hunter acts. I just think it's all clicking now. Yeah, he gets it from his old man, but my crack days are over. And now here come the beer days. And speaking of which, we got good old canned beer, and I myself am a bush man, but not just any kind because I need me some peach-flavored bush specifically. I will do a handstand twerk off the wall if you give me enough bush beers, and I will have some crazy motion back there because old Joe got some junk in the trunk, if you know what I mean. See, I want to believe you, but I just know that Donald has some crazy bunda in his trunk. Do not sexualize me, Barack. I will compete for him bunda for bunda with him and will win out if you see my motion. After all that, we got commotion, we got brandy up next, and I am a mild fan of brandy, but I still believe it to be better than gin. I think I will give it a solid B tier, but up next we got an elixir of magic, and that is mead. Now this is some ancient tribal stuff, like things the Vikings used to drink, and the longer you ferment this wonderful thing, the more the alcohol content is, and I have had some delicious mead that was made at home, and I swear one glass will mess you up, and the flavor was absolutely divine. I will have to give this an S tier. You've been watching people make mead on TikTok, haven't you, Joe? I may or may not have dabbled in some mead-making TikToks, but that is neither here nor there. However, I would recommend people to look up mead-making YouTube videos because it is super interesting. It's like watching Guga Foods make some yummy steaks. But anyways, let's finish the list because we are basically at the finish line. And up last, we got Everclear. Man, oh man, this is going to be a D tier for me. I cannot handle Everclear, and it tastes like garbage. Have any of you ever had shots of Everclear? I would not recommend it because it absolutely burns and should only be used as a mixer. And even when you do use it like that, the drinks end up tasting awful too. I'm not a fan of this and will place it into D tier. Jesus, Joe, you have something against Everclear, don't you? Next, you'll be saying that one night you blacked out on Everclear shots and started a national war crime. What? I was in no way involved with the attacks during 9-11. Never accuse me of that or the Boston Marathon incident. Uh, what the hell? Uh, Joe, he didn't mention either of those things. Do you have something you want to tell us? I've said too much. Oh, crap, I'm going to end up like Epstein, aren't I? Uh, this was all satire. Let's, uh, cut the video. What is up, gang? We are back yet again with another tier list. This time, we got a cake tier list ready baked and fresh for everyone. Oh, because cakes get baked, so that's why you said baked. No shit, Joe. Way to point out the super obvious thing I said. Now let's settle down, Donald. What if there's someone in the audience that didn't get that reference as well? 
Well, then I'd be surprised they even mustered up the knowledge possible to open up YouTube and click on this video. Like they'd have to be mouth breathers like Joe to not understand what I meant. But enough of all that, let's get on to our list. And up first, we got carrot cake. Now, I don't know about you, but I am a fan of carrot cake. Like it's still cake and has a good flavor. Give me a slice with a glass of milk and it's game over, man. I think I'll place it into B tier. I freaking hate vegetables and I would never place this cake that high. If you're so fine with carrot cake, why don't you go ahead and make a broccoli cake? Or better yet, just make a cauliflower cake. Jesus, Joe. What's the hate for carrots? They're probably the best type of vegetable. Sleepy Joe being weird is nothing new. Best to ignore his rock chewing ass and move on to the next item, which is a cupcake. Yeah, I don't know if it really qualifies as a cake. More like just a baked good that happens to have cake in the name. Plus, it's so small that it would piss me off getting that. Like, imagine you're being promised cake and someone whips out a teeny tiny cupcake. Me, personally, I would get heated as hell and knock that shit to the ground. Plus, the cupcake word has really fallen off because of EDP 445. Like, I can't even say I do like cupcakes anymore because people will immediately make a reference to him. Fist bump, Donald. See, just like that. Did you know the fucker got caught again for trying to meet up with a 15-year-old? Jesus Christ, what the hell has this world come to? I might have to put cupcakes in D tier for that. EDP sounds like a pretty cool guy. I might have to ask him for some cupcakes sometime soon. Yeah, you'll be able to ask him once the two of you share a prison cell. Anyways, up next, we got a certified hood classic banger right here, and that is cheesecake. I am sorry to any cheesecake hater, but I have this delicious ass shit going straight into S tier. Like they have places like the Cheesecake Factory centered around those delicious things. Like how could you not like these things? I freaking love cheesecake. I can't even begin to describe how much these bang. Sure, let's all suck off the cake made with cheese instead of giving cupcakes the flowers they deserve. Jesus, Joe, you didn't even like cupcakes until I mentioned EDP was a fan of them. You need to relax before they catch you texting some miners. Now what do miners have to do with this? Last time I checked, this isn't Minecraft. Joe, I hate you so much sometimes. Let's just jump towards our next entry, which is chocolate cake. And I think we all know where this is going. Let's not lie to each other and try to make it seem like I will not be placing this in S tier as well. I can demolish a whole chocolate cake, and if you put Oreos on top of these things, I will go apeshit for these things. No complaints from me about this. Well, I do love chocolate, but guys, if I have too much chocolate or sugar in general, I get really bad tummy aches and then have to diarrhea all over the toilet. God, we know this, Joe. You make it like your central talking point every video. We get it. Jesus, this is raising my blood pressure. Thankfully, up next, we got yet another banger, and that is red velvet, and I think a solid A tier is in order for this delicious ass cake. Now, I heard red velvet isn't really like a flavor because the red is food coloring, but God damn, I love the cream cheese that's used on this thing, and that alone makes me a huge fan of this cake. Have you guys ever had the Nothing Bunt Cakes? Those things are delicious, and whenever I go there, I always make sure to get my red velvet or chocolate one. Ooh, my favorite is the confetti-flavored one. You are such a little kid, Joe. I bet you like sprinkles on your ice cream, too. And what if I do? You know what? I am not surprised in the slightest bit. Anyways, up next, we got strawberry cake, and I love strawberries in almost every single sweet or treat, but I ain't gonna lie. I feel like cake is the worst way of having it. That being said, I still think it bangs compared to everything on this list, and we'll be giving it a solid A tier in this ranking. Don't get me wrong, it's probably the worst strawberry flavored thing. Like I'd rather have ice cream or strawberry candy, but compared to all the things here, it is still high up there. That's not that crazy to say Donald. I don't necessarily agree, but I can see where you're coming from. But more importantly, what is that next cake up on the list? Uh, I have no clue to be totally honest. I think it's an ice cream cake. As an ice cream expert, let me verify. Hmm. Yes, interesting. I think it's all starting to click right now. Yes, the cake and the ice cream combining. Hmm. Ooh. Uh. So what is it, Joe? Oh, I don't know. I left my glasses in the White House. Jesus Christ. Let's just say it's ice cream cake. And if it is, I may have to place this immediately into S tier. Ice cream cake is possibly the best version of any cake. It combines my two loves into one. And I couldn't be more grateful for that. Okay, what about that last one? What's that? Man, quit it with all the questions. Always yapping and yapping away. Now let me think. Hmm, I actually know this one, and I believe it is coconut cake. I just wish our editor would have labeled these so that it would be easier, but fuck us, I guess. Anyways, if it is indeed coconut cake, I'll give it a solid B tier. I like coconut shavings as much as the next guy, 
But if you ask me, this is OD. What's that mean? What's an OD? Is that like being an OG? Come on, Joe, get with the times. It basically means you're overdoing it. Like for instance, you are being OD with your diarrhea references in our videos. Oh, like how a drug addict overdoses on his drugs and he is ODing. Wow, way to take this to a dark place, Joey. Do you possibly have something on your mind relating with substance abuse? I'm worried about Hunter guys. Uh, yeah, uh, let's just cut the video. What is going on, gang? We are back once again with another tier list, but this time we are doing a donut tier list. I happen to be a donut aficionado, so I'm pretty sure I'm the most qualified to be judging all these delicious donuts. No, that's not quite the reason why we let you do this list, Donnie. See, the main reason why me and Barry thought you should handle the list is because you're a fat ass. Shut your sleepy ass up, Joe, before I kill you before the dementia does. Let's all relax now. What Joey meant to say was that you are simply an elite eater who has the best taste buds. Hmm, I do have elite taste buds, so I'll let this entire thing slide. But let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got a Long John. These donuts are basically your normal frosted donut, but just long as hell. I think for this, I'm putting it at an A tier. Dude, I actually really like these. I love to see how far I can put one down my throat before I ultimately take a bite. You guys know what I always say, I love thickness, but this thing has both length and girth, let me tell you. Jesus, Joe, you are some sort of special, most likely the needs sort of special, to be honest. Anyways, up next we got an old fashioned and I am assuming this is just a normal ass donut. Yeah, I can't really say I love these because it is just fried dough, so I might have to put this at D tier because it's worse than everything else on this list. I do like me an old fashioned in another way if you all catch my drift. I don't think I'm catching your drift quite honestly, but I think an old fashioned with like some hot chocolate bangs enough to merit a C tier to be honest. I personally like eating it that way. That is such an old person thing to say, Joey. God, I bet you have as many wrinkles on your face as you do on your nutsack, bro. You know what I actually kind of- All right, enough of that. No nut talk when I'm speaking of donuts. Let's continue on with the list. And I got double chocolate donuts in B tier. It's just a bit too much chocolate, but I still mess with it heavily. Valid, I feel like too much of a good thing sometimes turns into a bad thing. Thanks, Barry. I knew you felt the same way as me. And up next, we got the classic sprinkle donut going into A tier because it is a staple. Like you can never go wrong with a sprinkle donut. I won't lie, I do not like sprinkles. Like what do they do? They are just there and I would rather just have it with just the frosting. I don't want any opinions from the nutsack man himself. Either way, I'm sure we will all agree on this next one going into S tier as glazed donuts are literally like perfection. You can never go wrong with this selection and if you get me a dozen glazed donuts from Krispy Kreme, I think I would cream my pants. I hate that you use the word cream like that, but like goddamn man, I have to agree that it do indeed be bussin'. I love Krispy Kreme so much, I think I would wipe out an entire country rather than lose Krispy Kreme. Well, that isn't really saying much, Barack, since you wanted to wipe out all of the Middle East free of charge, but yes, Krispy Kreme is indeed the best. Up next, we got a jelly donut, and I have that in A tier as well. Like, you cannot go wrong with a jelly donut. Shit is just delicious, and I will eat it up any day of the week. Ooh, I quite like jelly donuts too. I love eating them with tea or something slightly bitter. God, Joe, do you also eat them while doing your crossword puzzle? You are such an old fart, I wouldn't be surprised if you keel over any day now. Anyways, up next, we got a chocolate frosted donut, and that goes into S tier because it is elite as well. Once again, I just feel like you can never go wrong with this option, and it is always banging. Extremely valid take here, Donald. This next one, though, guys, I wanted to put higher, but I was afraid the audience would, like, kill me if I put it in S. So I am instead putting powdered donuts in A tier. Like, I just love eating powdered donuts. I love the mini powdered donuts. Wow. Yes, Joey. I can definitely tell the audience would go feral and jump my ass considering you agreed with me. But quite honestly, I did not expect you to have an actual dub today considering how you always have bad takes. Yeah, I love eating them with my tea or a fresh tall glass of prune juice just so I can clean out my bowels real quick. And there goes all that. I take back my compliment and I will now move on to the last donut, which is of course a Boston cream. I like this going into B tier. I just think it does a little too much. Like I always get my cream falling out of it because they fill it up like I'm some girl in the middle of a bukkake and I hate that. It's still once again, pretty good. You know, in 86, I once participated in a 33 man bukkake to celebrate my neighbor's birthday. He was turning a young 76. We do not need to hear any more of that. But going back to the list, Donald, I noticed you have basically had everything placed at B or higher, aside from the old fashioned. 
but even then you have a ton of A tier stuff. Why is that? I just feel like this is where the food is accurately rated and people will love it. I think these donut tiers are solid as hell and most people would agree that they simply belong that high. I genuinely believe that this is how the list should go. All of these donuts belong that high and I haven't heard anyone say otherwise during this list. I think you rated them that high because you're such a fat bitch. What's up everyone, it's your boy Joe Dog, and I am in my element. This right here, this list right here is going to be my magnum opus. This is the ultimate ice cream list and keep everything in mind, I will still eat any type of ice cream you put in front of me. But I have favorites. I'm also joined by Barack and Donald. I can't wait to see everyone in the comments absolutely roast the ever-living hell out of your precious list, Joey. Now, Donald, let's relax now. What if he has some good takes? Don't matter, it's a Joe list, so it's bound to be bad to moderately awful. You simply don't understand, Donnie. This is my shit right here. I am the ice cream man, and I want everyone listening to this to understand. Let's go get this list started, and I'm putting chocolate in S tier because it is a classic elite flavor that you can never go wrong with. Then I also have vanilla there in S for the same reason. These two are like the yin and yang of ice cream. You can never go wrong with either. Who the hell likes flavors as boring as vanilla? Of course, the one and only vanilla lover, Sleepy Joe, would like something as plain as himself. Donald, you are such a freaking idiot. I am laughing at how stupid you are right now. Vanilla is the penultimate flavor of simplicity. I don't need all these fancy ingredients or all these flavors to satisfy me. Get me a vanilla ice cream cone from McDonald's and that alone will bang. When you add too much, sometimes things can get worse, like with our next entry, which is double chocolate. I am putting that in B tier because it's just too much, to be honest. I don't need a whole lot of chocolate to be satisfied. But if you love the hell out of double chocolate, more power to you. I actually respect this line of thinking. Too much of a good thing can often lead to a bad thing, and I'd say the same applies to double chocolate. It just does a bit too much, in my opinion, and the sweetness can overwhelm you. I didn't know a bunch of pussies were here complaining about too much chocolate. Are you freaking kidding me? I will take that double chocolate and even triple it. Too much chocolate, just that line of thinking is absolutely insane. What are you going to say next, Joey, that the rainbow sherbet is too much? Actually, Donnie, I believe it has a nice blend of flavors that mesh together really well and provide a great sense of sweetness. In other words, this shit bangs and belongs in A tier. This next one, though, I know I will get flack for, but I want everyone to know that I am not a fan of coffee, to be honest. Sue me. It's a solid C tier for me, but I rather have the stuff above it. But in some cases, coffee ice cream can bang. Yeah, this is a bit of a bad take, Joey. Coffee ice cream genuinely might be better than actual coffee. Put some nuts in that, and I would take that over double chocolate any day. True, but I think in the context of this list, it'll make sense. Up next, I got banana-flavored ice cream going into F tier. Something has to go there, and who the hell likes banana ice cream? I can't wait for all the fruit tier list people to come back and absolutely decimate you in the comment section, Joey. Bananas as a fruit is different than banana as an ice cream. No way in hell. Up next, we got a real sleeper, and that is pistachio ice cream. I used to think that it would be nasty, and I don't know why. I actually like normal pistachios, and you know what? It translates wonderfully into ice cream form and belongs in A tier. I've never had it, so I can't hate, but like pistachio? That just sounds unappetizing, to be honest. That's how they get you berry, but trust me, if you haven't tried it, it's actually pretty good. Same can be said about cookie dough ice cream. I like mixing that with my chocolate or vanilla ice cream, too but by itself, it's a solid A tier, honestly. Finally, a solid selection here. Well, Donnie, I know how much you like Shamcock shakes from McDonald's, so you and quite a few others will be upset, but mint chocolate chip ice cream belongs in C tier. You've gotta be fucking kidding me, Joey. Right when I complimented one of your selections, you probably just don't like mint because you don't like your breath smelling nice in any way, shape, or form. No, man, I am not a fan of mint, and I will die on that hill. If you want mint ice cream, go mix up toothpaste and vanilla ice cream, but don't go ahead and ruin chocolate by adding it into the mix. Then after that, we get a cleanser and get strawberry ice cream going into A tier. Come on, Joey, you know, mint chocolate chip isn't that bad. Don't get me wrong. I'd still eat it, but man, there is so many better things like our next S tier, which is cookies and cream ice cream. As a big lover of cookies and cream, I support this message. It's essentially just Oreo ice cream, and who doesn't like Oreos? Word, my brother. I then have butter pecan going into B tier. It's a solid choice and I enjoy it. You bumbling buffoon, did you just say pecan? Uh, yeah, I did say that. It's pecan, you panty huffer. How about you pecan on this dick, you orange shit stain? 
Okay, but jokes aside, do you or Barry know what the hell a dinosaur crunch is? I'm going to keep it real. I have no idea what the hell a dinosaur crunch is, but I will say the blueness looks good. Yeah, can people in the comments tell us what it is? I have to agree with Donald that blue means it must be good. I'll put it in D for dinosaur for the meantime, but up next we got Rocky Road, and oh man, I love Rocky Road. I want to put it in S tier, but I think I prefer moose tracks slightly more, so I'm going to put it in A tier, and since you all know I like moose tracks more, that then we'll go into S tier. Pretty mid list. I never even had moose tracks. I'm only a lover of moose knuckles. Ooh, what flavor is that? Moose knuckle, huh? That sounds like a pretty cool name. Don't worry about it, Joe. You'll never get any of that. What is going on, gang? We are back after a long pause, and we are here to bring you another tier list, but this one involves one of my favorite things, and that is pizza pie. I would twerk for some good pizza right about now. Well, good thing we don't have any near us at the moment because not a single soul in this world wants to see that Joey. On God Barack, plus we all know I would throw it back better than Joey ever could, just like how I was a better president than he could ever imagine himself being. Anyways, let's get started with the list, and I see Home Run in Pizza on this list. And we have Home Run in Pizza twice in this list, and I am putting the frozen pizza version of it in C tier. It's pretty solid and easy to cook, the perfect rating for an okay pizza. Also helps to add that no pizza is truly bad because we all know that pizza bangs no matter what. Really? What if it was pineapple pizza, guys? I personally would rather lick Ron Jeremy's taint than eat that garbage. If you're putting pineapples on your pizza, you may as well be putting goddamn blueberries on that shit. Go ahead, what's stopping you? Fruit simply doesn't belong on pizza. There goes Joe not taking his dementia meds again. I am a pineapple on pizza truther. It provides the perfect bit of acidity and sweetness to a salty pizza. And if you pair that with some jalapenos, Jesus, I will come at the thought of that. If you hate pineapples on pizza, you simply are not an elite pizza eater. I personally don't care either way. I'll eat any pizza if it's there, no matter what, to be honest. Barack, you can't tell me you'd eat some garbage Hawaiian pizza, right? Joe, you do realize where I was born, right? Uh, Africa? And they say I'm the offensive one. Jesus, America, wake up. Anyways, up next we got CC's, and this place is going straight to D tier. I honestly believe you'd be better off eating frozen pizza than eating at this place. It did have a unique concept with the pizza buffet, but like, let's be honest, guys, it's pretty garbage. Yeah, but garbage can be yummy sometimes. I guess that has to be true, considering how you and Barack enjoy being married to your wives. Uncalled for man, what the hell, I've been on your side. Sorry, Barry, sometimes the Dominator can't focus on one target. What I can focus on is the fact that Domino's is an A-tier pizza place, especially for fast food chain pizza places. Man, get me that garlic crust, and I will bark and go on all fours for that pizza. Can't lie that garlic crust is elite. I'd giga twerk for that. Giga what? Jesus, but that's a solid selection for our first A tier, to be honest. Of course it is. I put it there so it is simply an elite selection, you dingus. Up next, I am putting Papa John's and DiGiorno in B tier. I think DiGiorno is one of the best frozen pizzas and Papa John's as well. It's kind of a mess internally, but the pizza isn't bad. Some say that Mr. Papa was spitting on what he was saying. Not a goddamn soul was saying that. What did he spit? Was he spitting on the pizza? Gross. But I like how Shaq is in the commercials now. I just feel so safe and secure knowing his big, strong hands is helping make my pizzas. Purr. What the hell? Joe, you get more and more odd every day. Now, this next one is home run in pizza, but like the actual restaurant, and I can't lie. I went to one before, and I had severe diarrhea from that place. I spent the whole night on the toilet just evacuating my entire insides into my toilet bowl. Just for that experience, I have to give it an F. But Donald, it's not really fair to rate a place based on just one singular experience. What if they're really good and yummy and you just went to a bad place? I like the in-person restaurants. I would rather eat a used condom than visit that place again. Up next, we got Red Baron going in C tier. I like the name Baron, reminds me of my son. Wow, what a way to rate things. Listen, Barack, it is my list, but I will admit the great Don needs your help for these next two because I haven't had enough Chicago pizza to know the difference between these two, and I know you were in Chicago for quite a bit. Dude, you literally have a tower named after you in that city. I'm not trying to get shot in that city by all the troglodytes just to find out if Lou Malnatis is better than Giordano's. God, these Guido names are so hard to pronounce. God, you cannot be saying these things, but I guess I can help. Now, I think they're both great places and the best of all the things on this list. But I would put Lou over Giordano's personally, so I think an S tier for Lou would be appropriate. 
Their deep dish is amazing. God, I hate deep dish. Chicago pizza is so overrated compared to New York pizza. On God, Donnie, I hate all that tomato paste in my mouth. It makes me feel like I'm eating a tomato pie. Plus, it's just so thick and like, what the heck is the point? I want pizza. I don't want a freaking mush pie in my mouth. On God, Joey, only pies I want are creams. Guys, it's literally called pizza pie. The whole freaking point of deep dish is for that novelty. God, you two piss me off sometimes. But yeah, I would personally put Lou at S tier and Giordano's at A tier alongside fucking Domino's, I guess. God. Yeah, I guess that's cool, but we got Little Caesars up next, and boy howdy, that's a pretty mid pizza, but it is only $5, so like I have to give it an A tier just for that. It is pretty bad pizza, though. Like, objectively, it is worse than the ones below it. But Barry, it is only $5. Joey gets it. Do not order Little Caesars sides that are not crazy bread. I got wings from Little Caesars, and I swear that a leather boot would have been easier to swallow. Okay, so you're gonna ignore how Joey pronounced $5? Okay, sure. And I do have to say that the crazy bread does indeed go crazy shit as gas. Yeah, call that crazy bread schizophrenic with how good it tastes. Anyways, we got Pizza Hut up next, and much like Domino's, I am a pretty big fan of the Hut. I want to put this in A tier, quite honestly. I don't mind that placement, honestly. I would devour that pizza, and they have pretty good sides, too. To put it in words that Barack would like, their pizza is the bomb, and I love it. I cannot say the same for Tombstone Pizza. That shit is dog food. Actually, I am swapping it from D tier to F tier with Home Run In. I would rather be poisoned again than ever have Tombstone Pizza. Since I'm talking about bad pizza, I am putting S Barrow in D tier. It's mall court pizza, and I think that speaks for itself. I'm happy you finally put Home Run In slightly higher now. We can end a list calmly with Totino's at like C now. Are you crazy, Barack? C tier, really? They made pizza rolls and that shit is fucking gas. Okay, but we're talking about pizza, not pizza rolls. Back me up on this, Donnie. I'm afraid Sleepy Joe is speaking facts. You're speaking to king of pizza rolls, and this shit is elite just for the invention of pizza rolls. I am placing Totino's at S tier. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, my pizza rolls are ready. Hold on, guys. Lucky. Gang Alang, what is up? Your presidential trio is back once again with another tier list. This time we are going to be ranking different flavors Kool-Aid packets. Now, alongside the Cheetos that I had in prison, I also had a copious amount of Kool-Aid with them, so it's safe to say that I'm an expert. Again, we've been over this, and you were there for only like 20 minutes at best, so I can't imagine you drank that much Kool-Aid. Oh, but I did. I just had people serving me different flavors until I found the right one that suited the Don's taste buds. Well, uh, did you find the right one that suited your taste buds? Well, no shit, Joe. That's why I said I was gonna make the list. Enough of this time wasting. Let's go ahead and get started with the list. Up first, we got the berry cherry Kool-Aid flavor. And I know that we all share the opinion that artificial cherry is terrible. Like the absolute worst thing. This flavor, however, it bangs. I think I have to place berry cherry into A tier because it's got the right stuff going on. Like the other berries are nullifying the acidness from the cherry flavor and might actually work together well with it. And for that alone, it deserves to go that high. Oh man, that's some praise from you, Donald. Especially about a cherry flavor, but if I were to guess, I'm gonna assume the same doesn't apply for black cherry Kool-Aid, right? And you'd be right in guessing that because I have black cherry Kool-Aid going straight into C tier. Now, no Kool-Aid is terrible, but I would say that the black cherry was my least favorite one of them all. Thankfully though, we got like a good ass flavor up next, and that is the blue raspberry lemonade flavor. I have this going straight into S tier. I honestly think I'm just a fan of blue products. I get blue ices, I get blue Gatorade, and I get blue Kool-Aid. I'm a blue sort of guy. I freaking love the flavor blue. I think I'll eat or drink anything that's blue. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Joe. What the hell is the flavor blue? Also, what can you possibly be eating that is blue? Like, seriously, honest to God, I cannot think of a food that comes in the natural color of blue. Well, I sometimes boil my hot dogs in blue Gatorade, and it gives them this yummy tinge of blue that you can see and taste. That is so freaking gross, man. Like, I don't think we can even explain it to you. He is too far gone. Let's just keep going. And up next, we got normal cherry. I think everyone knows my opinion on that. So no need to talk or explain why I have it at C tier. Now, this next is for all my brothers out there. I will be placing grape Kool-Aid up there in A tier. I'm so happy to represent all my brothers who are also known as grape lovers. This one goes out to Barack and Kanye West. Why are you changing your manner of speaking? Why call them brothers? 
why not brothers? Why did you also only seem to mention a certain demographic of people? Uh, well, you see, I know you love grapes, and I have lots of conversations with Mr. West. Lovely man, and he tells me he loves grapes. Yeah, I have nothing more to add to that. Uh, let's just move on to lemonade, and I like it a lot. But let's be honest, it is basic as hell if you get lemonade-flavored Kool-Aid. I am placing it at B tier just because of how basic it is. B for basic, if you will. Like, at least get the lemon-lime-flavored Kool-Aid or blue raspberry lemonade because it adds more oomph and quite honestly is just better than the plain old lemonade flavor. And since we are talking about how good lemon lime is, I guess for that reason, I will be placing it into A tier. That's a pretty good take, Donald. I usually try to avoid pure lemons because I remember one time I had lemon heads in the White House and I was choking and no one wanted to give me the Heimlich. Um, I don't know if they were purposely ignoring me or if they wanted me to die. Pretty sure everyone in the White House is instructed on how to give the Heimlich, but I also don't blame them for ignoring you. They probably just felt like you could have handled it. Anyways, up next we got the Mixed Berry Kool-Aid. This is an absolute slapper and goes straight into A tier. It has a lot of things that I like, uh, berries and strawberries. Ooh, and it's the color blue, so, you know, I gotta give it points for that. Points for just being the color blue? Wow, that's dumb. But I will agree that it slaps, so I can't even hate you for that. Dumb to uncultured people, but as a blue believer, I don't think it is. Anyways, up next, we got orange-flavored Kool-Aid, and all I have to say is that it is mid, still better than the cherry flavors, though, so I will be placing it into B tier. The same cannot be said about the peach mango flavor. God damn, is this shit a masterpiece. Like, I love mangoes as they are, but then the combination with the peach, God, it's just marvelous. I'll write poems about how good this is. Damn, is it that good? I always thought that mango-flavored things would be kind of mid. So I never really went out of my way to try that flavor. Just like how you don't go out of your way to do or help anyone in this country, Joe, because you're too busy boiling hot dogs and Gatorade. But as I said yesterday, you called me handsome, so you get a pass. Anyways, up next, shit, we might have a bit of a problem. What is it? Have you not tried these flavors before? No, the problem is I have tried all of these, and these next three all slap. Like, I don't think you understand the magnitude of how hard these slaps. These three are all amazing. Strawberry Kool-Aid absolutely belongs in S tier no matter what. I am a die-hard strawberry enthusiast. Anything strawberry flavored always seems to bang. Then next we got strawberry kiwi, and that is yet another classic flavor, which is a big banger. The big bang, if you will, that just has to belong in S tier. And then lastly, we got tropical punch Kool-Aid. This is also an S tier, like there's no way around it. We just got hit with the super team of Kool-Aid flavors. Nothing can stop them. Well, I don't know about that. Um, you see, after I boil the hot dogs and Gatorade, I drink the leftover liquid, and I feel like the hot dog meat adds this extra layer of oomph needed to make Blue Gatorade truly elite. And if you all would give it a try, I think... Shut, Shut up, Joe. Joe! What is going on, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time around we are doing a Nesquik slash milkshake tier list, but obviously with ones you can buy in store. Now, I am a milk expert, and since you all also must know, I am the Nesquik expert because I can chug these bad boys faster than anyone else in the world. I have yet to hear of a man who can chug as many Nesquiks as I can under the heat of 110 degree weather in a car with absolutely no ventilation. Why the hell would anyone subject themselves to that? The only thing I'd leave in a car with 110 degree weather is a baby or a dog. Okay, that is not the right thing to say at all. I'm sure what you meant to say was that you wouldn't leave any living creature in your car with no AC in extremely hot weather. No, I really meant what I said. I said it proudly with my chest. See, I like to stay in the car by myself because it then becomes my own personal sauna. Sometimes I pass out, but that's when I power up and chug some delicious Nesquik. And oh boy, let me tell you that being in the car makes it all warm and yummy, but that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get the tier list started because that's the big thing here. And up first, we got the protein versions of the strawberry and chocolate Nesquik. Now, I personally don't work out, so I do not care for these protein-filled drinks. I never understood why people stress about protein when I know a simple life hack that will get you tons of protein. Joe, what the hell is your life hack? I need to know to keep cultivating mass because these protein Nesquiks are good, but I usually drink Fair Life or Muscle Milk. Well, I'm gonna ask you later to close your eyes and rub this hose, and in a couple of minutes, some weird tasting goo will come out, and I promise you that it will have tons of protein, 
and you will get shredded. Oh shit, bet. I cannot wait to get that, but you gotta tell me the recipe for your protein drink one day. We can just call it Papa Joe's special sauce for now. Donald, please, for the love of God, don't do what he's telling you to do. Now, Barack, he is a grown man who can come to his own decisions because Lord knows I'll be coming to uh, making my own decision. I will be coming to my own decisions on these drinks. And I think that the strawberry Nesquik protein is a D tier because strawberry protein is just not it. It tastes absolutely abhorrent. And this gutter slug of a drink has no redeeming qualities, like say what you will about pedophiles. But at least they drive slowly past schools, and that is one redeeming about them, while protein strawberry Nesquik has none. And the chocolate protein flavor will go into C tier because that one is actually kind of yummy. I can actually withstand the awful taste of chocolate protein and sometimes think it's not half bad. Anyways, after that, we got a bit of a pickle because, as you all can tell, there are two purple labeled Nesquik flavors, and I have them. But the thing is that the flavors online either show it being called fudge brownie or double chocolate. And I think that they are the same thing. But the thing is, I cannot remember which one I had for the life of me. So I cannot verify if they do taste the same. But Google shows me mixed results. So I will grade them the same. Go figures that you can't remember what the flavor is, Joe. Your sleepy ass can barely remember what day it is. Yeah, Joe, you really need to fix that problem of yours. It's not a problem. It is simply a mix-up, and it is not a big deal. And me getting names wrong and not remembering things is not a sign of future or current health problems that I have. Either way, that has very little to do with the list, and I will be rating both the double chocolate and brownie fudge flavor a B tier. I swear that they are the same thing, but I am going to need some help from the comment section on it, but I felt as though it was too much chocolate. Like this was extreme cacao for my liking, but it still is not half bad. After that, we got the tried and true chocolate flavor, and this is like in the hall of fame for chocolate flavored drinks. So you all know this is an easy S tier, and I don't even have to think about it. I absolutely am in love with this flavor and can drink it like it's water. As a matter of fact, I think I've gone a couple of days drinking just Nesquik instead of anything else. Sure, my piss might have been darker than cheddar cheese, but let me tell you that I absolutely loved crushing these bad boys every other hour. I don't care how much you need to strengthen your bones, Joe, because of your frail, weak body. Drinking anything more than three of these a day is not right at all, and you should probably be institutionalized. I personally actually respect the level of dedication it takes to drink that much milk in one day. It's gross, but I can't help but cheer him on. It's like watching Joey Chestnut crush a bunch of hot dogs. Like you're absolutely repulsed by the mere sight of him dipping his dogs in water or Gatorade, and then just shoving the mush down his mouth with no beauty at all. It's like pouring slop on a plate and watching a pig just go buck wild. Well, I personally think that dipping your hot dogs in Gatorade water is delicious and totally see the appeal to it. But uh, thanks, Donald. I'm glad you respect me. I respect your dedication to how much of a filthy, vile human being you are. I don't really respect you as a person at all still. Well, a dub is still a dub, so I am going to take the road less traveled and not go at you. I know y'all like that Robert Frost reference. Yeah, I'm a bit of a poet and I didn't even know it. I actually hate you so much right now, Joe. Please, for the love of God, just continue on with the list instead of doing this bit. Fine, but I won't be happy about it. Anyways, up next, we got a cinnamon toast crunch shake, and this isn't Nesquik, but it is still a Nestle product, so I do not care. The Nestle cinnamon toast crunch drink, which is also called Cinnamilk, is a freaking bop. I have to place this into S tier. It tastes amazing, and just like the milk you have after having some cinnamon toast crunch, and I'm so happy that someone decided to make a drink after that because it has to be the best part of eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's some fat boy shit right there, Joe, and I respect that, but I have to disagree. I still prefer the crunch of the cereal alongside the milk more than the end where I drink the cinnamon and sugar mix. Don't get me wrong, thought it is amazing, but it's not the best part of it. It's more like eating a nice dessert after demolishing a nice Wagyu steak. Ain't no way you just compared Cinnamon Toast Crunch to Wagyu steak. I refuse to believe I just heard that. I think we will agree to disagree, Donald, because it's the inverse for me. I eat all the delicious cereal so I can reach the milk, which has then become the nectar of the gods because of all the cinnamon and sugar. But yeah, point is that this drink is a bop and you all need to try this. Then after we got the strawberry banana flavored Nesquik, and this is pretty good. Once again, the Joe Dog has to reiterate that he is a fan of artificially flavored banana, so it should be no surprise when I place the strawberry banana into A tier. It's a good one to have in case you're getting tired of the other flavors. Joe, I promise you that people are not having so many of these that they, quote, get tired of the other flavors. 
Hop off the jock Barack. You're riding me harder than Angela White ever could. Hey ho! Thanks, Donald. But anyways, aside from Barack's constant need to try to correct me, we then got another pretty good flavor. And that, of course, is vanilla. Now, some people don't like vanilla because it's too basic, but I am not one of those people. I personally really like the flavor of vanilla. And once again, would love one of these if they were available. Dare I say, I would twerk for one of these, but I would not handstand twerk for this, which will then place the vanilla Nesquik into A tier alongside the banana strawberry. Good decision there, Joe. Now, normally I am a part of the white is right movement, but not for this case. I like the placing you got for it. Thanks, Donnie T. We're just gonna overlook his comment just now. What that he agrees with me. Man, you don't know what you want, Barack. You tell us to get along, and when we finally do, you decide to just talk shit constantly. Everything okay at home with you and Michelle, man? I'd rather not talk about that. Can uh, we just go on with the list? You must not be allowed to drink Nesquik. What a sad existence it is for your berry. Not for me, though, because I can bathe in this shit if I wanted to. Sugar contents be damned. But anyways, after that, we got the glorious follow-up to the delicious chocolate Nesquik, and that, of course, is the pure strawberry-flavored one. This is an immediate S tier, and we all know that strawberries dominate all of the Joe Dog's tier lists. It's no secret, but I would, in fact, get on all fours and bark like a dog if someone were to wave a strawberry Nesquik in front of me. Joe, what would you bark more for? This Nesquik flavor or a used Margot Robbie shoe after she got done running a marathon? Come on, man. You think I'm some sort of weirdo or something? Of course I'm picking the shoe. What kind of oddball would say otherwise? Anyways, after that stupid question, we got a, this Snickers drink, and this is actually made by Nesquik as well. And let me tell you all right now that this is an automatic S tier as well. I love Snickers. And if you add that to anything, I will most certainly love it. Like, just a bit ago, I was eating some Snickers ice cream that I just bought. And it's this amazing chocolate ice cream with bits of Snickers all throughout it. And it is absolutely delicious. Snickers lovers rejoice because this shit do indeed fucking bang. And uh, Joe, if I am not mistaken, they also have a Twix flavor as well, right? What would you rate that? Well, I like Twix more than I like Snickers, so it would also go in S tier. We probably should have added that drink in before doing the list. But hey, what can we do? We're not the editor, so it's not our fault. If anything, we should be applauded for working in these harsh conditions. Joe, you were literally napping earlier. What do you mean by harsh working conditions? Way to be a snitch, Donald. Anyways, we are on our last entry on this list, and I want to let you all know that this is a sore topic for me because I thought this Fruit Loops drink was going to be amazing. I really did. But it is quite the opposite. I don't think I have ever tried a lazier drink than this one because it is literally milk that has been left to marinate with Fruit Loop cereal. And while that might be amazing with cinnamon toast crunch or even frosted flakes, this drink had so much potential, but I am placing it in B tier only because it doesn't taste as ass as the protein drinks. Uh, I'm sorry I gave it such harsh words, but those are my honest to God feelings. No one please buy this and don't mention this drink in front of me again because it is a touchy subject for me. Joe, it's okay. We don't have to keep going because the video is over. Hey Joe, you wanna know what is a real touchy subject? What is that, Donald? Well, you see, Joe, for pedophiles, children are always a matter of a touchy subject. What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time we're doing one that we have been asked to do for quite some time, and that is the energy drink tier list. We have tested many and have had all the ones on this list, and I can confidently say that this is the definitive energy drink tier list. Well, we can't say that. What if someone just likes different things than us, Donald? We have to be nice and accept everyone's opinions. Joe, stop trying to play the middleman. That's my job. If they don't like it, they can argue about it in the comments. Yeah, Joe, this is no democracy. This is a Trump-ruled list through and through. Well enough yapping. Let's go ahead and start this amazing list. And up first, we have Ghost Energy. I think most people who have had Ghost knows it bangs. It used to be my pre-workout, and I absolutely love the Sour Patch Kids flavor and the Warheads one. Donald, let's be honest here. You never use this for pre-workout unless you were exercising your gaming fingers. But yeah, anyways, I personally was more of a fan of the Swedish Fish one, but those are all really good selections, Donald. Don't try to hide that stutter, Barry. You've been hanging out with Sleepy Joe too much, but yeah, that's exactly why I have it going into A tier. There's a lot of variety, and it's just a great tasting drink overall. Up next, we got C4 Energy, and this is pretty mid. I don't really hate it, but I don't really love it either. It is a good substitute if you don't have anything else, and it won't taste bad either. I, however, would prefer the things above it, but hey, a B tier isn't bad at all. 
I personally like it if things are mid, it keeps it grounded. Like I'll be eating plain pasta with just oil on it. That's just weird, man, but this is slightly better than mid. I'd still take it over our next entry, which is a classic, and that is Red Bull. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, how the hell is this a classic but not better than C4? And I'll tell you, it simply just tastes like ass. Hot, fresh ass, if we're being specific. It is a flavor you can get used to and begin to enjoy. But when you compare it with other things on this list, it just isn't up to snuff. The energy boost you get from a Red Bull is good, though. So if you have nothing else to use or really need that huge pick-me-up, well, then Red Bull is your safest bet. And I would not judge you for choosing this. Now, given all the info, I will now be placing Red Bull into C tier, which, again, not really that bad, but still doable. I feel like that's a reasonable take. Like, are there a lot of people that genuinely enjoy the taste of Red Bull? Like, if you ask me, I much rather have the drink up next because monster fucking slaps. Don't go jumping ahead of the list. Wait till I get to it so I can give an opinion. Jesus Christ, Barry. How many of these have we done and you and Joey still do this shit? Well, anyways, up next we do in fact have Monster, the classic drink you'd see in every caffeine enjoyer's hand and for good reason. Monster has a variety of flavors, and I feel like it was the first energy drink to teach us the lesson that caffeinated drinks don't have to taste like hot, wet ass. I think for taste, energy boost, and legacy reasons, I will be placing Monster into S tier. I feel like it's too much of a legend to be placed any lower than that. I remember drinking Monsters before my speeches way back when Barry was in office, and to this day it still bangs. But I think I got too used to it now because I'm still sleepy after drinking a couple. Well, Joey, just keep drinking more and more till you have the inevitable heart attack, because that would truly be the greatest thing you've done for our country. Burn aside, we should move along this list. And up next, we got Mountain Dew Energy, and I think this is pretty decent. It's like a decent to high B tier. And now that I look at the next entry, I have to say the same about Bang Energy. I used to like Bangs, but they kind of fell off for me personally. Then there was all that super creatine nonsense. Like, I still don't know what the hell super creatine is. Okay, cool, but can we move on to the best energy drink ever? I love Prime so much, and I can't wait for Logan Paul to knock out Dylan Dennis in the fight on October. Joe, I do not care enough about that whole situation, but please take Logan Paul's cock out of your mouth. I personally hate Prime, but only the Gatorade clone of it that one tastes like garbage, but I will give you this small W, Joe. The energy drink version of it absolutely slaps, but it is most certainly not the best in my honest opinion. I think a solid A tier is good for Prime. I would prefer it over everything in this list, but Monster, I think. So I'll give the Logan Paul crew a dub for their energy drink, but two thumbs down for the Gatorade one. I thought both were okay in all honesty, but I think Joey can live with an A rating, right? Ah, uh, I guess that's okay, but I am telling you all that Prime will take over the world and will be the best energy drink in the world. And their Gatorade clone is better because they have cool flavors. Joe, you are not 12. Please grow up, but let's just move on to our last drink, which is Rockstar. I am going to keep it a buck with everyone here. I hate Rockstar. It is possibly the worst energy drink I have ever had in my whole life, and I will be placing this into D tier. I had it a long time ago, so maybe it got better, but I will keep my hater energy from back then and refuse to ever buy this horrid drink ever again. It tastes like a used cum rag that's been drenched in gasoline. How would you even know what a used cum rag drenched in gasoline even tastes like? No, 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 trust me. He hit it on the head with this one. But to me personally, that flavor sounds like a good time. Hey, everyone. Your presidential boys are back at it again with yet another tier list. It's only a matter of time before we start making a tier list about air. I wouldn't underrate fresh air, Donald. You're going to miss it when you're in prison. Joe, don't you go starting this again. Settle down, gents. Let's go ahead and get this condiments tier list started. So for our first entry, I have Dijon mustard going in C tier. What? No way. I am a mustard enjoyer, and there is no way Dijon mustard is in C tier. You seem like a mustard for that take, Joey. Mustard is OK, but I can't have it with anything alone aside from a hot dog and a burger. On God, Donald, when do you ever see someone dipping their fries in mustard, hmm? I like to sometimes dip my fries in a little bit of yellow mustard when- Stop it, you freak. I thought you were gonna say honey mustard, but yellow mustard? Gross, anyways, we already got our first S tier, and that is guacamole. Yes, Barack, if there's one thing those damn illegals know how to do, it's build great houses, clean very well. Frankly, they do some great lawn work as well, make some fantastic food, but most important of all, they know how to make a goddamn great guacamole. 
I would Piper Perry a motherfucker for some guac right now. Strangely enough, I agreed with everything you just said. Aside from that last sentence, but I hope you'll feel the same about hummus because that's our first A tier. Mm, it comes from Egypt and is associated with Arabs, but it is extremely halal, so I must agree with that amazing take. Give me some hummus and carrots and I am set. Donnie, stop trying to act like you'd ever touch a vegetable. The hell are you talking about, Joe? I love carrots. Must explain the orange skin. Okay, guys, enough. Anyways, up next, I got Jack Daniel's sweet and spicy barbecue sauce at B tier. I love it, don't get me wrong, but I have a soft spot for Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and much prefer it. That's okay, Barack. I think we all have soft spots for certain things. Only soft spot you have is in your brain, Joey. You're probably gonna want your honey mussy at S tier up next. Well, yeah, it's freaking honey mustard. I love eating it with my chicken tendies. Just because you said that I am putting it in B tier, but I can't even lie, I do like me some honey mustard. I dabble in the occasional honey mustard dip. You guys don't understand. Honey mustard is literally the best. It can go on almost anything. I will for real twerk for that shit. And it's definitely staying in B tier. Up next, we got actual honey going in A tier because, well, it's honey and I think everyone loves it. Fun fact, guys, did you all know that having a honey allergy is rare? With an estimated incidence of less than 0.001% in the general population. Pretty cool, right? That is not pretty cool. That sounds sorry as hell. How the hell are you going to be allergic to honey? God, you might as well keel over anything at that point. Motherfuckers being allergic to honey is like the equivalent of someone taking Lizzo's advice for workouts. Both are equally lousy. Can we stop with the Lizzo hate? She actually has some bangers. Well, I can't say jokes about Jonah Hill. He stopped Kanye from hating Jews. On God trumpet. Anyways, we have Cholula up next, which I'm confidently placing in A tier. It's better than Tabasco sauce, and I love having it on my eggs when I'm not using ketchup. A little too spicy for me, but I like the way it tastes as well. A little too spicy? Come on, Donald, it's more vinegar than anything else. More vin what, Joey? Stop with that bit, Donald. We gotta get to maple syrup up next, and I can confidently say that it is a B tier. Honey clears it. On God, Barack, I'll split a wig if anyone dares to say maple syrup is better. That's some Canadian shit, and I do not fuck with Canadians. There he goes again with his rant. It's not a rant, I'm just saying the world would be better if we just wiped them off the face of the planet like the vermin they are. Like if I had the choice to cure AIDS and cancer or kill all of the Canadians, I would do the Canadian one 10 times over. You're just mad that Drake talks to me and not you. Yeah, he's salty as fuck about not getting the autograph from Drake anyways. We got Prego marinara sauce next and that's another A tier to be honest. I love marinara sauce on my pasta and on my mozzarella sticks. Ooh, I love pasta. This is a W of a choice, Barack. I am telling you guys, I am on fire with the list recently. Then we have mayo up next, and that's the next S tier, fellas. This shit is so versatile and is used in so much stuff. Oh my God, I love mayo. I can eat that shit straight out the tub. Wait, what? Joey, that is not fucking normal. Did you expect us to jump for joy when you said that stinky ass shit, eating a whole tub of mayo? Jesus Christ, your cholesterol must be out of control, Joey. Okay, I didn't mean it like that, I just... No, you definitely meant it like that. That is gross, Joey, borderline asinine. Yeah, I just feel gross after hearing that, but nonetheless, we gotta keep going with the list, and I have ranch at S tier as well. It goes on pizza, wings, fries, nuggets. It's another goaded sauce, in my opinion. Yeah, but I feel like if you have too much ranch, it gets kinda gross. I don't disagree, but in moderation, it is amazing. Unlike our first D tier entry, and that's relish. When have you ever heard anyone ask for relish on anything that's not a hot dog? Yeah, but it's pretty good on hot dogs. Eh, it's all right, but I'm not gonna bend over backwards for some relish. Ain't no motherfucker gonna cry over relish going in D tier. On God, Donald, relish is probably the worst thing on this whole condiment list. Same can't be said for Tostito salsa, and I have that in B tier. It's some good salsa from a jar, and it's pretty easy to enjoy. Yeah, you set that up alongside some chips and it's an easy snack to enjoy. Shit is good. For real, Joey, up next I have Prego Pesto. And even though it can only be used on pasta, I'm still putting that shit in B tier because it is good. Okay, so then why is relish in D tier? That's not fair. Ignore him, Barack. I agree that it should go somewhat high. I love some good pesto. Thanks, Donnie. Honest questions for everyone. How are we feeling about sriracha? I like it, but I don't like love it. The same for me, honestly, it's decent and I'd say above Dijon mustard, but at times it can be a bit too oriental for me. I don't know what that means, but I'd agree that it isn't amazing, but I'd say B tier is a solid placing for it. That's what I was thinking. And next I got soy sauce and C tier. I really like it, but it is way too salty and filled with sodium. 
It's also super overpowering, but with a little, it adds the perfect amount of flavor to some dishes. Yeah, but you can't dip food in it unless it's like sushi. Agreed, I then have tartar sauce going in B tier alongside Tabasco. Both are pretty solid, but I don't think they exceed a B. Factual? We got our fourth S tier, and that is ketchup. This shit goes on so many things, and it is just so amazing. On God, Barack, I'll put ketchup on my fries, hot dogs, meatloaf, you name it. Joe, I can't disagree with you here. Ketchup is indeed one of the best condiments. Thanks, guys. I got Frank's Red Hot going at A tier because it's a good hot sauce. It's a classic. And it can go on so much shit. Then, and I am sorry, Joe, but I am putting yellow mustard at C tier. I just feel disgusted that you would put that shit by itself on your fries. Don't knock it till you try it. Nah, that shit sounds rancid as fuck. I don't think I will ever be trying that shit. We're almost done with the list, and I have Thousand Island at B tier because it's a solid dressing for salads, and it tastes pretty good in general, not gonna lie. Then I have Sweet Baby Ray's at A tier because that shit is banging. God, I love Sweet Baby Ray's. I bet you love you some Ray's deep inside of you, don't you, Joey? Donald, stop. And finishing up, I have the bomb at D tier as well. Like, why the fuck is this even here? Who genuinely enjoys this extremely hot sauce? Like, you have to be a masochist for this. Like, you'd enjoy getting pain inflicted upon you. You of all people putting the bomb in D tier is just absurd. We all know how much you enjoyed bombing stuff, Barack. Haha, <laughs> real funny there, Donald. You got everyone laughing. I thought it was funny. And that's why you're not coming to Wendy's with us later. Aw, oh, hamburgers. What is up, gang? It is your favorite president here. The one, the only, Donald the Great. I am joined here by Barack and Joey in order to make the best cookie tier list on the face of this planet. Although I will admit we couldn't think of more cookies, so please let us know which ones we're missing. Well, right off the bat, I can tell you that we're missing animal crackers. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. That's a cracker, not a cookie. What's the difference? Like, genuinely, what is different? Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started, and we got some Nutter Butters coming up first. I personally am not a huge fan of these, but I don't judge people who like them. Ooh, I love these things. I shove so many nutters in my mouth that it gets all dry and becomes one big glob of nut in my mouth. Never mind, I most definitely judge people who like them, and I'm now putting this into C tier. That's a solid placement, despite what Joey regurgitated out of his mouth. I know my cookies, what can I say? And up next, well, we got some cream pies, and oh boy, I love me some cream pies. I personally can't get enough of them. We are talking about the cookies, right? Yeah, so I'd put cream pies in S tier, but the cookies go into C tier alongside the Nutter Butter. Up next, we got our tried and true Oreos. I feel like we all know where this is going. There's no way people can argue against Oreos being in the cookie hall of fame. This goes right into S tier. I love Oreos so much, but if I eat too many, I get like really bad stomach cramps and then my shit looks like tar when it comes out. Joey, dude, what the hell? What if people are eating while watching this tier list? Joey doesn't care. Joey simply voices the truth. Joey, stop talking about yourself in third person anyways. I then have grandma's cookies going into A tier. I don't know why, but whenever I have these, they always hit. Like, I can't explain to you all why, but just know that these always bang when I grab them. And after that, we got knots. And these cookies are pretty good, I can't even lie. A solid B tier for me, but I enjoy the fruity flavor mixed with the cookie. I'm seeing a whole bunch of boxes up next. What the hell are those things? Something I'd advise the sellers of to avoid you at all moments possible. Send a Girl Scout to Joey's house and that's basically game over. Little girl gonna come out of Joe's red screen like in COD. But yeah, the cookies though, I would rate an S tier. We could go into a tier list of flavors for the fans, but as of now, we are rating them as a whole and the Samoas are simply elite and that alone places them that high. Solid selection here, Donald. I will twerk for Girl Scout cookies any day of the week. Those cookies must have nicotine or something inside of them. Thank you, Barack. I'm glad someone appreciates Samoas as much as I do. Anyways, we got Keebler cookies, and with their fudge stripes alone, I'm putting them into S tier. I was thinking A tier, maybe, but I smack on those cookies way too often, and they taste different from the other options. Like, I feel like they're more unique. I'd agree with that, actually. Keebler cookies are banging, and they separate themselves from other cookies as well. Joe, don't just go repeating what I said so that you seem smart, you mouth breather. Up next, we got Famous Amos cookies, and I like them, but I believe they're slightly worse than Grandma's, so I am putting them into B tier because of it, but more importantly, guys, 
We have Manila's up next. I love Manila's. Whenever I see Anila, I go, what up, Manila? Okay, stop the cap and stop the corny joke, Donald. You are going to get us canceled, and I will personally go and make you choke on Nilla's if we ever do. All right, relax, relax. Yeah, truthfully, Nilla's are ass and go into D tier, to be honest. I don't really like them all that much. But the same cannot be said for these next ones. And those are Chips Ahoy. God, I love these things, and I'm putting them into A tier. My favorite thing to do while eating Chips Ahoy is to fill up a glass with those cookies and then pour milk till it fills up to the brim. And then over time, the cookies get mushy and perfect. And I scoop them out with a spoon and then drink the cookie water and get the chocolate chips at the end. That sounds like straight ass, Joey. Like you're drinking a bunch of dookie water, just dunk your cookies into the milk like a normal person. Anyways, lastly, we got Walmart sugar cookies and they're okay. Like you know what you're getting with these and they aren't Nilla's, so I put them into C tier, to be honest. The sugar cookies are pretty good. I like them a bit more than C tier, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I bet your Nillas love them too. You motherfucker. What is going on everyone? And we are back with another presidential tier list, but this time around, we are going to be talking about me and Donald's favorite thing. And that is some milky, milky, num, num goodness. For once, Joe, I have to say that you are indeed spitting because the Don is known to be a prolific milkman. If I see some good milk, I have to admire it for at least a couple of minutes. We're talking about the drink, right? Like this tier list is purely based on the milk drink. I, for one, am not talking about the drink unless we count that last picture in this tier list. God, I hope that picture doesn't get us demonetized. I personally am speaking on behalf of all milk drink or not, and that last picture certainly intrigues the old Joe dog. I already know what I'm rating that masterpiece, but right now we have to rate the current milk, and that is good old 2% milk. Now, I don't hate this, actually. While I do prefer actual full fatty milk because it actually tastes better, and I am not a calorie-challenged human like Donald, However, I will give it some credit because it is still passable as a milk and so is 1% milk. These both merit a C tier from me because I don't think there's some sort of abomination and I don't have some sort of aversion for it based on the flavor as well. It still tastes all right with cereal or some milk and cookies. When the hell did your sleepy ass start using words like aversion and abomination? Did you study up on the thesaurus before coming into today's video, Joe? See the fact that you think that words like aversion and abomination are quote unquote big words. That actually makes me worry more for your brain rather than your already clogged up arteries. Shut the hell up, Joe. You hear me mess up the meaning of avant-garde once and you think you're some sort of brainiac now. My bad, I didn't know we had Aristotle in the building, except instead of being a philosopher, you instead chose to be something else that starts with the letter P. A Peter Gazer? Because I will admit that I just can't help to be curious. Like if you're peeing next to me in the urinal, you can't expect me to not gaze at your Peter. Like honestly, if you stand next to me, you're basically asking for it. You're basically spread eagle, begging me to just do it. Jesus Christ, no Joe. I was just gonna call you a pedophile and make jokes about you sniffing kids. This is so gross, Joe. And is that why you always stand next to me when we pee in the urinals? I can neither confirm nor deny that fact. Oh, but I can definitely confirm it. I literally saw you peeping on me when I went to go pee last time. I had to see and confirm if the BBC was really all that it was cracked up to be. And uh, by that, I mean I had to confirm that the, the British Broadcasting Corporation really had the correct height description for Barack. I did it only for that reason. Oh, uh, let's uh, get back into the video. I think that would be for the best. So up next, we got some banana milk. And let me be the first to tell you that this stuff ain't half bad. Now, I am a fan of bananas, and I'm a fan of banana-flavored Nesquik. So it should not surprise anyone when they hear me say that this is a solid B tier. Matter of fact, I got a fun fact for everyone regarding bananas. Oh, God. No, I swear this is a good fun fact. But anyways, did you all know that artificial banana flavoring tastes more like actual bananas than real bananas? Now, what I mean by that is artificial banana flavoring tastes more like Gros Michel bananas with a brighter and fuller flavor than the Cavendish banana we are most familiar with. The reason why we don't have the old flavoring is because of a fungus that wiped out most of the old yummy tasting bananas. So we genetically engineered the modern day banana to combat that. So the banana we taste now isn't the bananas people had back then. That was actually a pretty cool fun fact, Joe. Thanks, I pride myself in my fun facts. Anyways, up next, we got two substitutes for milk, and that is almond milk and coconut milk. And quite honestly, the Joe dog really likes these two a lot. Like, I think an A tier is warranted for them both, and let me explain why. They're just good. I don't know what else to say. 
like unless you're allergic to nuts, then I can understand why you wouldn't want almond milk, but then there's coconut milk to drink. And yes, I understand that this in no way will replace dairy milk for some people. But if you understand it and appreciate it for what it is, I'm sure you'd enjoy it more that way. Sometimes I just drink a glass of coconut milk by itself because it's just that good and flavored almond milk is literally the best. Some chocolate almond milk tastes almost exactly like normal chocolate milk, but with less fat and more protein. Just make sure you get one with low amounts of sugar. Look at Joe here appeasing all the vegan subscribers with his almond milk is good take. I know damn well your sleepy ass is drinking cow milk. I do drink cow milk, but whenever I go to Barry's, he always has almond or coconut milk. Barack, is this fucking true? Yeah. It's not my fault, though. Michelle won't let us get anything that isn't soy, coconut, almond, or skim milk. So I just have flavored almond milk throughout the house, and Joe has the audacity to ask for juice every time he's here, knowing damn well that all we have is homemade prune juice. And when he drinks too much of that and gets the shits, he then has the audacity to ask me to bring him a glass of almond chocolate milk for when he goes to the bathroom. I must have misheard. Do you mean for when he comes out of the bathroom? The fucked up part is that I wish I meant it that way, Donald. He makes me bring him a glass before he goes in to do his business. A glass of chocolate almond milk while blowing up a friend's toilet is one of the best things you can have in life. I am sorry you two have yet to experience that, but it's more of a if you know, if you know type of situation. Anyways, we actually have one of the best things you can have in life, and that is some chocolate milk. And you all already know that I have this going into S tier. Who the hell doesn't like some chocolate milk? Like this is a goddamn staple. And I refuse to hear anyone out if they think it should be placed lower. I will literally orgasm if you bring me some chocolate Nesquik. I remember I once chugged so many that I literally puked all over my car. But then again, I probably shouldn't have had six of them in a row on a hot summer day. Why the hell were you drinking that many on a hot summer day? Like, why would you ever subject yourself to that? Same reason why I edge for over an hour. I just like having too much of a good thing. After that, we got some goat milk and... Uh, I don't really have strong opinions on it. Like I have had it once and I remember it being okay. Like I think I only thought it was weird because I knew it was goat milk. I'll give it a C tier because I honestly don't think it was that awful. What is truly awful is that dry milk powder because that shit belongs in the garbage. It belongs in D tier. And I have no bad feelings about putting it there. Then I may as well talk about the next two because I think that's lamb milk and cow milk, but straight from the teat. I'm giving both a C tier because I have never had lamb milk, but I can imagine that it's not worse than dry milk powder. And some fresh milk from a cow's teat is the freshest milk you can have. Just make sure you boil it a bit, or I've even heard people say they put some alcohol in it to clean out the bacteria. I don't know about that, but it tastes pretty all right. I would not go out of my way for it though. What's your hate with dry milk powder? What if someone can't have normal milk because they're lactose? And that's the closest thing they can have to normal milk. With all due respect, this is how I can tell you're a freaking nincompoop Barack. Dry milk powder does in fact have dairy slash lactose, so it isn't for those who are intolerant of lactose. God, you're such an idiot. You have room temperature IQ, yet you have the utter gall to try to tell me how to rank things. I'm honestly ashamed of you, but not as ashamed as those who like skim milk because this watered down milk tastes awful and belongs in D tier as well. Rare W from Joe here because I freaking hate skim milk. And I almost thought you were gonna rate this high because you were sucking off almond and coconut milk and you rate one and 2% milk a C tier. See, I actually like those and never disrespect almond or coconut milk in front of me again. But back to the skim milk. I just think it's doing too much and crosses the line when it has absolutely no fat. It gets rid of all the flavor and makes it taste bad. Then I have soy milk going into B tier because it is also good, but kind of has an odd flavor to it that I can't describe. But hey, I still somewhat enjoy it despite it tasting a bit off. What doesn't taste bad is our next entry, which is strawberry milk, which immediately goes into S tier. I love me some strawberry milky and I can drink that like water. See, while I'm pooping, I drink my chocolate milk, but when I'm pissing, I do the strawberry one instead. There's layers to this. Gross, disgusting layers that we really should not learn about you, to be honest. Like, I feel like a certain point, there has to be a thought in your mind that says, Maybe I shouldn't share this information with the public. Nah, I want my Joe heads to get more Joe lore and it would be a disservice to not feed them that info. They need all the lore they can get. But enough of that because we are nearing the Ned of our list. And you all already know I want to talk about our last entry in great detail. 
Dear God. No, no, I feel him on that one. Thank you, Donald. But anyways, after that, we got normal full of fat milk, and this is going into S tier. This is the best type of milk to have, and I love me some red cap milk. No surprise there, but what I have questions on is what the hell that next milk is. Like the image is cut off and it isn't labeled, so I have no clue what it is. For all sakes and purposes, I will just say that this is evaporated milk or condensed milk. And this stuff is amazing for treats and desserts. So you know, you gotta have some handy if you got a sweet tooth and know how to bake. I am giving that a B tier because you can't really have it by itself. Well, I mean you can, but it is not advised. Then after we got some steamed milk and with steamed milk, it is a lot heavier than frothed milk, which is why baristas typically use it as a milky layer on top of your coffee. So for that fun tidbit of knowledge, I will give it a B tier as well. I like having it in my coffee whenever I do drink some. I'm actually amazed with the amount of milk facts that you know. You were actually the most qualified for this list. Of course I was. I am the great Joe Dog, and enough of these other milks. Let's talk about the mother of all milks. Pun intended, by the way. But now we got some, uh, O-E, breast milk. Mommy Milky Num Num, so good. Um, but yes, the flavor with this is, uh, well, uh, the answer is that the exact flavor of breast milk varies from person to person and from day to day. It's affected by factors like what you eat and how fresh it is. In general, many people say that it tastes like skim cow's milk. So if you have it in a bottle, it's a D tier. But if you have it the way God intended and you suckle a woman's teat, then it's an absolute S tier, and I will have it there. I also think some men can breastfeed, and I have to say that if I had breast milk from a man, well, uh, I'd still give it an S tier. You dirty, dirty dog, Joe. All right, that's enough before we get demonetized. How about you demonetize these nuts, Barack? But on another note, I have a serious question. What if men had to breastfeed babies with their cock? What is going on, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time around, the Don has full control over this great list. And what we have here today for you all is a drinks tier list. And we aren't talking about alcohol, but rather we are gonna discuss various liquids. I like the way that sounds. Various liquids just makes me shake with happiness. I don't think he's gonna talk about what you wanna talk about, you weirdo. Joe, I can assure you that it will not be what you're thinking about. I mean, look at the goddamn list. It looks very normal to me. Oh, this is a big disappointment for the Joe dog. If it's making you upset, then this list was an even better idea than what I previously thought. Anyways, up first, we got the absolute best sports drink to ever exist, and that, of course, is Gatorade. Some nice and tasty Gatorade hits hard as hell after you're done doing some hard work. If they had this in the medieval ages when we had people doing the most grueling task, like pushing a sawmill by hand or tending to crops and fields of wheat without a break, imagine handing one of those dudes a Gatorade. I mean, they'd probably have an aneurysm from the amount of flavor. But if they don't succumb to that, then they have the most wonderful electrolyte recovering drink. And I say all this to basically just say that this is a bona fide S tier. That was an unnecessarily long-winded way of basically saying that you enjoy Gatorade. There was no other way to get that point across. Me saying that I will handstand twerk on a wall for some Gatorade just isn't enough. I'm gonna have to come up with another analogy for this next one because I have lemon lime sodas going into S tier. Like the best example of how good this can be is some McDonald's Sprite. I swear they make that stuff crunchier than their fries. What do you even mean by crunchy? How the hell is a drink crunchy? You know exactly what I mean, don't act dumb. That stuff has like a times two multiplier for its carbonation. I take one sip and immediately feel like I'm being dragged to the shadow realm to atone for my past sins. I can't even imagine what would happen if Joe drinks it. He'd probably succumb from madness and start talking normally for once. I'm scared of super carbonated drinks. I like soda, but I let them get a little flat so it feels like I'm drinking juice. But if it's super carbonated no matter what, then I'll stick to my chocolate and strawberry milk. What you just said was basically a cardinal sin. Like, I don't care if you're not religious, Joe, but you need to confess somewhere. It can be a pastor or a nun. Heck, go confess your sins to the DMV people because someone needs to help you. Oh, don't you worry, I have a guy for that. Frail roll the clip so that all the viewers can get non-consensually cleansed of their sins. I absolve you of your sins. You have been forgiven. What the fuck was that? Wait, why the fuck is there a censor on my cuss words? Fuck what the hell is going on here and why isn't hell bleeped see that word isn't bleeped to remind everyone that hell is a very real place and we all would have been going if it weren't for my guy i call him up when i've done sin too much he's like lester from gta 5 for me 
Like this one time I got a five star sin wanted level after I had some fun in the playground and immediately had to call my man in order to get forgiven. That is not okay at all. Jesus Christ, let's please not get too sidetracked in this video. We are going off the fucking rails. Oh man, not me too. I can't even say fuck either. Just give it a few minutes. It works like a protection spell in a video game. The cleansing was too recent and will still be protecting us. Just like how that restraining order is protecting that one pesky kid I couldn't get to. Wait, what? Nothing. Carry on with this wonderful list, you handsome young man. Joe, stop. You're embarrassing me. I mean, it's true, and I can't stop people from speaking the truth. But still, let's go back to the list, as Barry said, and continue on. Huh, we got some fruit punch. And honestly, sometimes these things are hit or miss. But I like them enough to merit an A tier. But we got a banger up next. Because up next, we got another S tier, and that, of course, is water. We, of course, have made a water tier list, so our opinion is that we all love water. Even if Joe likes Dasani, which if you ask me, that's also another sin. Should I call my guy again? God, please no. Atoning for my sins makes me feel like too good of a person, and quite frankly, I'd rather not feel good about myself. Let's just go on with the list. And we got coffee, and while it isn't awful, in the grand scheme of things, I'd rather not have it and think it goes in C tier. I'm sure Barack would disagree, though. Nah, I'm actually in agreement. I prefer tea, but coffee isn't bad either. I just hate that it stains your teeth and makes your breath smell. Who cares? I drink coffee for fun and no one has complained about my breath. Joe, that is quite literally what we've been complaining about every other week. And if it isn't that we constantly complain about your foul body odor, you raise your hands and I swear the stench can kill any plant growth around it. Anyways, after that, we got some lemonade and what can I even say about this? It's a pretty basic drink, but just because it's basic doesn't mean that it's bad. I quite enjoy lemonade and we'll put it in A tier. I don't think I have to make much of a comment on that. After that, we do have milk and I'm sorry, Joe, but this is going into B tier. I know you made that whole list on milk, but the Don is not a huge connoisseur of milk. Like I'll definitely have it with some Oreos or any type of pastry at all, but I won't be drinking milk by itself unless it's strawberry or chocolate milk. I'll let that opinion slide for now because not everyone can stand up and take the title as a milkman like old Joe over here can. I can't have enough milk in my life, especially mommy's milkers. Okay, you've talked enough. Donald, please continue with the list. Are you sure we uh, can't hear him out further and allow him to elaborate on what he said? No, we cannot. Buzzkill Barry is back at it again, whatever. And as we go, rank the next thing on our list, we have energy drinks, and I guess this is all energy drinks, but I will have to give this an S tier. I personally am a big fan of rice recently and love the fact that they have no sugar in them, but I will more than happily sell my soul and swap brands if we were to get sponsored. No shilling on the video. Donald, you should know better. I really don't know better, that's the thing. Oh, by the way, everyone become a frail channel member to unlock exclusive emotes from this channel and just be a cool guy overall. But enough of that because I'm really gonna upset you here, Barack. That was actually a W plug, but I swear if you say something dumb regarding this next entry. You're already angry. I am so sorry, Barry, but I don't think grape juice is that good. It's still a B tier, but please don't call up your gang and hurt me. How many times have you done this gag? It's been at least like four times off the top of my head and it doesn't hit a single time. Nah, someone out there is definitely laughing. And if you are laughing right now, precious viewer, just know that the Don appreciates you. I laughed at your joke, Donald. Do you appreciate me? No, I really don't. And you know how they say you don't appreciate something until it's gone? Well, it's the opposite for you, Joe, because I am reminded about how much fun life is whenever I am not around you. Yeah, sure you do, Donald. I'm sure the viewers totally don't remember our Resident Evil video where you basically told me that you loved me. Stop bringing up established lore, Joe. And I only did that because you literally leave me voicemails of you crying and it's like sitting with the kid who is all alone in lunch. It's literally charity work, but whatever. Up next, we got iced tea, which is a certified banger that is going into A tier. If you would have combined the lemonade and iced tea to make an Arnold Palmer, then that would have been a certified S tier. Unfortunately for us, we got the worst drink on this list, and that, of course, is sparkling water. Why would anyone willingly drink this slop? It quite literally ruins water for me and is going into D tier. Well, some flavored sparkling water is delicious, and some people like the carbonation in the drink, and I am actually one of them. In fact, did you know that drinking carbonated water is just as hydrating as drinking regular water? It has also been shown to increase feelings of fullness and may aid in constipation and improve digestion. 
So drinking that would actually help with weight loss, and you can finally start cutting Donald instead of being in a forever bulk. I'd rather munch on shards of glass and drink pure lemon juice for an entire day than drink carbonated hot ass. Wait, why can I say ass? Well, it's an animal. You're so silly, Donald. I hate you so much. Anyways, after that, we got a uh, hold on. We actually have an unprecedented thing because we have back to back to back to back S tier rankings. I have citrus soda going there, normal colas, chocolate milk, and root beer all going up there. I think citrus soda is pretty explainable because who the hell doesn't like squirt? Personally, I like both types of squirt if you catch my drift. Oh, are there multiple flavors of squirt? Probably, but I'm not talking about the soda. Anyways, I also love normal colas. I mean, I am the president who installed the Diet Coke button, so no explanation is needed again. And chocolate milk is another banger. We've made milkshake tier lists, a milk tier list, and a freaking Nesquik tier list. We love chocolate milk here. And root beer is explainable too. If you like colas, then you're probably gonna love root beer too. I know I do. Valid reasonings for all of those, but I don't know if cola and root beer lovers have the same taste. Yeah, I just said that, but I frankly don't know if that's true. Either way, it stays in S tier, and up next we got apple juice, and this is going into B tier alongside grape juice, because I do like juice, but it's a scam, America. It has just as much sugar as soda sometimes, so why not just drink soda instead? I don't think that's the message you should be sending across to all of our viewers. You're right, what is wrong with me? Do not drink soda or juice, unless it is the diet version. Diet drinks reign supreme everyone, but an occasional non-diet drink won't hurt anyone, unless you're diabetic, in which case it will most definitely hurt you and possibly get you a leg amputation. Anyways, after that, we got Powerade, and this is like Gatorade's little brother with Down syndrome. Like, he's cool, but he's no Gatorade, so I think a B tier is in order for this one. What if he's a Down syndrome kid with cool-ass dance moves? I don't know what you want me to say to that. Like, I guess that'd be dope as hell, but I don't know what you want as a response from me. That's like asking me if I'd like it if my dog can do a backflip. Like it would be a cool party trick, but what the hell does that do for me? Anyways, following that, we got orange juice, and that is a certified A tier because I can most definitely understand the appeal to a glass of OJ in the morning alongside your eggs and French toast. Then we might have a controversial entry here, but I actually have orange soda going into B tier. Like I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but like I am not gonna place this in the upper echelon of drinks because when do you guys normally drink orange soda? The only time I do it is when there's no other drinks I want at a fast food place, so I go with the orange Fanta instead. Ooh, I love fast food. Why haven't we done a fast food tier list? Wait, we haven't done that yet? Yeah, I just checked the channel and uh, we actually haven't. Huh, would you look at that? We've done limited time fast food and fast food fries, fast food nuggets, but no fast food tier list. Well, Frail, add that onto our to-do list. Yeah, I will of course be doing that one, but anyways, we lastly have tea, and even though Barack loves this stuff and ranked them in his tier list, I personally am not that huge of a fan, but I'll still place it into C tier alongside the coffee. And that is the list wrapped up, man. It feels pretty good. I wonder though, can we still not cuss? Let me try. Huh, you still can. Fuck! What is up, gang? Your presidential trio is back, and we are excited to do this tier list right here, which is about canned food. Normally we get Donald to handle food-related things because of his elite eating skills, but he isn't that knowledgeable on canned foods. Sorry, I like my food fresh, sue me, but I will admit that canned tuna is a slapper, and I am quite frankly a huge fan of that. Yeah, and I am a huge fan of canned sardines. I love eating them with the tomato sauce and stuff. Yeah, we can unfortunately tell that you love sardines, Joe, because you never brush after eating them, but I will admit that you and Donald have good taste, but enough of that. We don't want to jump ahead of the list, so let's go ahead and get started. And up first, we got some canned artichoke hearts. Okay, so I got to keep it real with everyone. I freaking hate artichoke hearts. And we'll proudly put this in D tier. Oh man, I love artichokes. What the heck, man? What's next? Sweet peas going into D tier? You cannot be serious, Joey. This thing is gross. And you know what? I do believe that you love it, which makes me even more confident that this belongs in D tier. It's okay though, because we have back-to-back -back Chef Boy Artie cans, and one is beefaroni and the other is the classic ravioli. I'm proud to say that I freaking love the both of these and I will be placing the beefaroni into A tier. And even though I know many of you will probably call me out on this, I do not mind. I'm placing the ravioli into S tier because of legacy reasons. This was the one that put Chef Boy Artie on the map and I will give it the praise it deserves. 
To be fair though, it's basically the beefaroni, but in different pasta form. Yeah, there can't be much of a difference between those two, like it's the same sauce and meat, so it basically is just a change in pasta. Either way, I do enjoy me some Chef Boyardee, so I support this message. Thanks, Donald. And up next, we got canned chicken breast. And I am not a WeGo Gym type of person, so I don't really care about the macros and how much protein is in canned chicken and how good it is for meal prep. So I am placing it into B tier because it actually isn't bad, but you will not catch me eating canned chicken on the regular. Something about it just seems off, and I do not want to get used to eating chicken from a can. Then following that, we got another A tier, and that is canned chili. Come on now, this was an easy A, maybe even an S tier to some. Who doesn't like some good chili in a can, if you ever go camping and bring one of these? Man, that is game over, because everyone is going to be munching on your chili. I absolutely love it. What do you mean, munching on my chili? Hmm. Anyways, I can't have too much chili. I love the stuff, but my stomach bubbles up, and then I get the shits from it. I don't know why, but I still don't stop myself from eating it. Even if it means I'm going to be clogging up someone's toilet, it doesn't matter to me because I need my chili. That's why you're never allowed to set foot in my house, Joey. That and, well, many other reasons. Yeah, that's pretty gross, man. Let's just pretend we don't know that about Joe and move on. Up next, we got canned corn, and I think this is a solid C tier. Like, fresh corn on a cob is always preferred, but if you're too lazy, well, I won't judge you for getting corn in a can. As for our next entry, I got fried apples going into A tier because this slaps. I probably am just a huge fan of canned desserts, but either way, I like it, so it's going up high. After that, though, I am putting the fruit cocktail in C tier, but only because I've never had it. And quite honestly, it looks like it would be delicious. I need the audience to help me out on that. Yeah, I haven't had any fruit cocktails in a can either, so don't feel bad, Barack. Nah, don't cap, Joe. I bet you've had the cocktails just without the tail. Okay, relax now, Donald, before you make Joey sound that word out. Next up, we got another decent one, and that is canned green beans that I'm then putting into B tier. I fuck with green beans. Let it be known. As for the canned mac and cheese, I do not smell that at all. It sounds quite awful, to be honest, but again, I've never had it, but it somehow has to be better than the artichoke. So I am putting it into C tier. And while we're at it, I am putting fruit cups into C tier as well because they aren't canned. Quite frankly, I don't even know why they're here. I love fruit cups, though. Aren't fruit cups basically the same as a can, though? They both last a while and have preservatives in them. Are we really going to be nitpicking that one triviality and then proceed to not give it an accurate ranking because of it? I find that very impractical. Shut up, Joe. Thanks for that, Donald. Now we can move on to the peach slices, which come in a can, and I love peach slices. I will be placing these into A tier because I love me some peaches. Can't say I love sweet peas either, but I'll give them a solid B tier. If I got to use these peas when I'm cooking, I will. Up next, we got a good ass entry with the refried beans in a can. God damn, is this another good one. Bring one of these camping and you also got yourself another banger. I'd like to place it into A tier, but it's like a super high B tier in my opinion. Oh no, the illegals are gonna get you for that one Barack. Then Joey will shit himself in your car if you don't place the sardines high. It's true. I will actually do it and I'll also do it in a secret area in your house. They don't call me the Joe Dog for no reason. Okay, let's relax, Joey. I thought they called you Joe Dog for a different reason. That's kind of gross, but don't worry. I will be placing sardines into A tier, but only the tomato sauce sardines. This one says it's in mustard sauce, and I'm not sure if that's good, but I can vouch for the tomato sauce ones. Then we have our second S tier, and that is spaghetti O's, and I love these things. Actually, looking at what's next on the list, all of these are bangers. The spam and tuna instantly go into S tier. Honestly, if there were a tier above S, I would put tuna in that. I think it is the ultimate canned food, and I know the image shows a plastic bag, but these come in cans, so I count it. Yeah, huge W for tuna, and I expected it the whole time. Yeah, yeah, we knew this Hawaiian dude was gonna put spam in S, but more importantly, where do the Vienna sausages go? I would suck the hell out of the sausage juice that was left over in the can. That sounds absolutely putrid, but I don't expect anything less from you, Joey. I'm feeling mighty generous today. And I do like Vienna sausages, so I'll put it in S tier. Why the hell not? Come on now, Barry, these cannot possibly go that high. 
Shut up, Donald. You only hate them because they remind you of your cock. What is up, gang? Today, we're going to be making another tier list. And this time around, we're going to be doing a sandwich place tier list. And I will not lie, it was hard as hell to think of all these sandwich places. Like, there aren't a lot of sandwich places. So if we missed one, please do let us know, because it was tough finding or even thinking of some off the top of our head. I can tell because there's a freaking house on this tier list. What the heck is that about? Well, obviously, it's a sandwich from home and not from a shop. Again, it's a sandwich place tier list and not a sandwich shop tier list. Couldn't I make a sandwich at work or in the park? Would that then make it a sandwich place? Joe, don't start this again like when you kept yapping about having prime rib for breakfast during our breakfast food tier list. I am actually on Donald's side for this. Joe, please stop being so annoying. I'll pipe down, but just know that the Joe heads will not be pleased because you are silencing the truth speaker. Remember to question everything society throws at you and never believe anything the media says. Joe, the fake news bit is mine. Don't go stealing my ideas or I'm gonna have to go off on you on my social media platform. Acting like you don't do that already, I've seen your mean tweets. Yeah, you're right, I'll probably do it anyways after this list. Anyway, speaking of the list, let's actually please, for the love of Christ, get this started. Up first, we got Subway, and listen, I have very strong opinions on Subway, and they are not good ones. Like, if you're starving and have absolutely no other options, then I would understand. But like, going out of your way for some Subway is crazy. I ordered some like a month or two ago, and they gave me some soggy-ass gross lettuce sandwich and had the nerve to charge me around 15 bucks for it. Like, who the hell does Subway think they are charging absurd prices for the most mediocre food to ever exist? I ultimately give it a C tier for being the king of mid, and quite honestly, it just is not that good, and I will proudly stand by it. I will admit, though, that they do have some banging cookies, and I think that raises their grade higher than it honestly should be, because the sandwiches are just not that good. Why are we giving it a better ranking for having good cookies? This is a sandwich tier list and not a cookie tier list. I don't care if their macadamia nut cookies are amazing. Joe, it's my list, so shut up. I will rank it a C tier, and that is final. God, the nerve of that guy. But anyways, after that, we got sandwiches from home, and you all already know these are banging. I'm still only going to give it a B tier because we all know that having a sandwich made for you is still superior. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but having someone else make a sandwich for you is just better because you don't have to expend any effort at all in making it. Like, the thought of getting up and lathering two pieces of bread and layering it with whatever I want just seems boring and tiresome. But when you go to a sandwich shop and you just see people assembling whatever the hell you ordered, just feels great and enhances the flavor. Donald, that's just called being lazy as hell. And quite honestly, it really is not that hard to make a sandwich. Like what you just said was nothing earth shattering. Like you literally just complained about getting up and putting mayo on two slices of bread. After that, you just put cheese or whatever meat you want and maybe some spinach and boom, you're literally done. The process could be accomplished in under five minutes. Nah, there's some actual science behind the fact that sandwiches taste better when you aren't the one making them yourself. Like the same applies when you're at home and someone brings you a sandwich, like your brain releases endorphins that help with your happiness and gives you more dopamine. Are you for real right now? I didn't know that. Nah, I'm lying, but the fact that you trusted me immediately goes to show how easily the American people can be fooled and does not give me hope for people with low media literacy. If I say that I can poop gold, would you believe that too? Okay, those two are not the same at all. That is an unfair comparison. I would believe it if you pooped gold. That sounds cool. Joe, you piss me off so much. Anyways, moving on with our tier list, we got Jimmy John's, and I like Jimmy John's, but quite honestly, their sandwiches aren't quite up to snuff. I don't enjoy their freaky fast delivery because I would rather just pick up my food. I think a solid B tier is okay for them because they aren't doing anything extraordinary in the sandwich making field. But I will be the first to admit that if a gun were pointed at my head 10 times out of 10, I would be choosing Jimmy John's over Subway any day of the week because that is just how much I freaking despise Subway. I think I would rather eat a rubber shoe than ever to eat Subway again. Man, this Subway hate is real. What would you rather have, Donald, a McRib or a sub from Subway? Hmm, uh, I honestly could not answer that question. And the fact that I can't actually is quite concerning. I think I'd leave it to a coin flip, but anyways, after that, we got Panera Bread, and I am also giving this a B tier. I also like their sandwiches, but again, it's nothing amazing, to be honest. Like, everything left in this list beats out Panera, and I don't think it is deserving of anything higher than a B. The Panera Bread lover can crucify me, but I stand by my goddamn word. 
After that, though, we got a really good sandwich place, and I visit this place whenever I can. But the problem is that it is never near me. But whenever it's on the way, I make sure to get something, and that is potbelly. I really like potbelly, and maybe if I have had it more, it would go higher. But the few times that I've had it, I can tell you all that it has been great experiences every single time. I think this merits a solid A tier in my book. See, I disagree with this. I have not had potbelly since an incident that occurred to me over three years ago. I was eating some potbelly, and I went to watch this one Star Wars movie. I forgot which one, so don't ask me. Actually, uh, it may have been Rouge One, but either way, that doesn't matter because I don't know if I got a stomach virus or if potbelly poisoned me, but I had severe stomach pain when watching the movie, and I had to shit so bad, but I did not want to miss, so what did old Joe do? I'll tell you what I did. I held it in with cold sweats, constantly coming and going whilst grabbing my tummy as if I were hanging on for my dear life, but it did not help one bit. Towards the end, I hit my breaking point and I had to erupt. My chocolate starfish could not hold back the incoming fudge wave that was coming, and I sprinted to the bathroom, but whilst I was running, I had little sharts along the way. And when I went to the bathroom stall, I examined the damage, and it was quite severe. My white undies had a nice caramel hue, and I had to abandon my precious cargo, and I smelled too much to return to the theater. But once I thought it was okay, I then suddenly fell to my knees in the parking lot and realized the sandwich had not finished its rampage in my inner sanctum, and I projectile vomited all over the grass and could not stop. I've never felt the presence of a higher being until that day because I was shown how utterly defenseless and human I was when I had both ends of my holes just evacuating as if they were on the plane during 9-11. I then had a very sad drive home, and honestly, I have not had pot belly since then. Dude, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, man, that is fucking hilarious. It actually made me like pot belly some more. But anyways, after that whole long fiasco, we got Jersey Mike subs, and I also really like this sub place. My favorite thing from here is the tuna sub because they just know how to make it here. So I am thinking we also place this place into A tier. After that, we got our first S tier, and that of course is Mr. Sub. And I hate giving it this high of a rating because it originated in Canada, but goddamn, if I don't love me some Mr. Sub, because this is one of the best places for some sandwiches, and they have some amazing freaking cheese fries here. They are absolutely to twerk for, and I am a frequent Mr. Sub visitor. Again, why are we rating stuff based on things other than their sandwiches? Because I'm the one making this list, and if you go to a place with variety, then it'll be good for the people who don't want to eat sandwiches. Following that amazing choice, we got another good sandwich place, and that is Schlotzky's. God, with a name like that, you'd think that it would run out of business, but surprisingly, they are thriving. And I will even say that they have some of the better sandwiches on this list. Like, out of all the A-tier selections, I personally would prefer Schlotzky's to everything else there. If you all have not gone to Schlotzky's yet, I would heavily recommend it. And they are also like all around the U.S., so you should be good on finding one nearby. W placement here. I'd maybe argue that it could go into S-tier because they're French dip sandwich because it has roast beef, two cheeses, caramelized onions, and it's all served on a sourdough bun. If that doesn't sound appetizing to you, then I don't know what will make your mouth water because I am a huge fan of roast beef. I'm a fan of roast beef, but uh, not the meat if you're catching what I'm throwing down. Some good old fashioned beef curtains, Joe? Oh man, you're a dirty, dirty dog. But yeah, it is good berry, but it stays in A tier because our next and final entry will be taking the coveted S tier spot. I love Firehouse subs and I love their hot subs so much. The sweet and spicy meatball sub is to die for. And if you're not in the mood for some meatballs, you can go ahead and order some spicy Cajun chicken all in your sub. And if you want to make some monstrosity unknown to man and just create the best sub you ever imagined, then you absolutely could do that. This place has had some of the best service every time I go, and they are even offering pulled pork sandwiches right now with coleslaw inside. And you all already know the Don fucks with some good coleslaw. So all in all, I would implore you all to go to this place whenever you're craving some sandwiches. Man, it sounds like you would jump on a grenade for this place. I respect your level of dedication to this place. I won't go as far as to say you're glazing because quite honestly, I feel like you have really good recommendations because as I always say, Donald, you're an elite eater and I will forever respect that about you. Okay, what the heck? So you're gonna sit here and praise Donald for that BS. But all of a sudden, when the Joe dog is a diehard fan of something, it's the end of the world. And Joe over here is the worst human being alive and should be crucified in front of a live studio. 
and be streamed to millions worldwide. Exactly. I'm glad you get the memo, Joe. What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time around we are going to do a chicken wing tier list, and we can't lie to you all. We could not come up with a lot of wing places, so we are going to work with what we got, but I'm sure all of you in the comments can tell us what we should have added or where you personally would rank these things. Also, everyone, I just want to assure you all that I made sure that Barry did this tier list because even though I have the most refined palate out of everyone here, we all know why Barack is the chicken expert. Really now? Tell us what exactly tipped you off on the fact that I love chicken. Well, uh, to put it quite simply, you told me one time. Yeah, I actually probably did, to be honest. And because of something else. What was that? Nothing at all. You guys are about to make me snooze. Can we please get on to our precious chicken wing tier list? Because I need to see my precious little Caesar's wings get the respect they finally deserve for being the most elite of the elite wings to ever be made in human existence, really. Let me just tell you right now, Joe, I would rather get JFK'd on national television in front of my whole family and loved ones than ever allow myself to place little Caesar's wings in S tier. Well, keep up this attitude and we might turn that into a reality. Is that a threat, Joey? It's not, not a threat. It could merely be a goof and gaff. Or it could be the reason why you're six feet under Barack. Let's play our cards right. Joe, a threat from you is like having Lizzo say she can beat you in a race. If I'm being quite frank here, Joey, I am like in no way at all threatened by the likes of you, nor will I ever be for the entirety of my life. Yeah, I have to fully agree with Donald here, Joey. A threat from you is like someone pointing a bubble gun at me. Like, what are you going to do? Tickle me to death? Hey, man, don't underestimate the power of tickling another grown man for so long that he either soils himself or he starts crying because he legitimately cannot breathe and has his life flash before his eyes and starts to wonder where it all went wrong. Like, was it during his teenage years when he had an encounter with another male his own age and realized that he was indeed super straight? Was it when he kept getting high and kept buying OnlyFans content until eventually his credit card was maxed out and he had to explain why to his wife? Or was it when his son mugged him to buy cocaine and take a trip to Mexico like around three years back? That person who got tickled almost to death knows that's who knows. Uh, that is a lot to unpack, and I am more than 500% sure that you are talking about yourself, Joe. But that is neither here nor there because we are not your therapists, so instead of trauma dumping all this knowledge of your personal life onto us, why don't you instead just get a session with your local therapist and talk it out? Anyways, that aside, let's finally please, for the love of all things holy, get to this list, and up first we got Papa John's Pizza, and their wings are pretty solid. Like, I know that isn't their main thing, so I give them more of a pass. But I personally think out of all the pizza joints that Papa John's has the best wings, and I believe it is deserving of a B tier in all honesty. The Don is quite pleased with this rating. I always make sure to get some wings whenever I get pizza in general. And I have to agree that Papa John's has the best wings, but I don't think it's running away with the award, to be honest. I think at the end of the day, it's all on personal preference, unless you're talking about Little Caesar's wings. With that comment right there, you just got added to my list, buddy. Oh, no, I got added to the big bad list. No one is scared of your stupid list, Joe. But anyways, up next, we got Domino's, and I'm feeling, hmm, I think uh, another B is in order for this, because Domino's wings are not bad at all. And like Donald said, I love to get some wings alongside my pizza. But if I had to choose one, I'd still have Papa John's over Domino's. That's not a hot take at all. Yeah, but this next one might be a bit of a hot one because up next we got Applebee's and I just don't know, but their super cheap margaritas and their bottomless wings make me sick every time. Like, don't get me wrong, paying 13 bucks for all you can eat wings is a steal of a deal. And if you combine that with the $1 margaritas, well, uh, you got yourself quite the banger on your hands. Every time I've done this though, I get super sick, but the actual flavor of the wings is not bad at all. Like I can eat them. And if I get an unlimited amount, then who am I to complain about the quality of said wings? I just wonder what type of meat they're using to be able to accomplish such a deal. Like what if I'm munching on some mystery meat? But either way, like I said, the price is worth the mystery meat, so I have to give it a solid C tier, I think. Like I would rather have most other wings, but Jesus, man, if you have that bottomless wing deal going on, you just gotta try it once. It's like getting gas station taquitos, like it's so gross, but it's a yummy and deplorable type of gross. Oh, believe me, the Joe Dog knows about the yummy, gross stuff, except to someone like me, it's not gross at all. 
I'll eat all the bottomless wings I want, even if it's ostrich meat. Give me that with some foot-long glizzies from Sonic, and we are freaking set. That is absolutely atrocious, Joe. As for what you said, Barry, I can see the allure of bottomless wings, so I won't judge at all, especially for that freaking price. But I think Applebee's is a bit gross, like not even their food necessarily. But whenever you tell someone you're going to Applebee's, they give you a look, like a disgusted look, as if you told them you were about to go eat some resident evil ass food. But if you ask me, well, $1 margaritas and $13 bottomless wings is enough to merit an A tier. Yeah, but it's a limited time deal, so I can't really put that up higher than a C because on pure flavor alone, it belongs there. But anyways, up next, we got Buffalo Wild Wings, and I think an A tier is in order for this one. I appreciate the taste of their wings, and had I not have had the other wings on this tier list, it might have gotten an S tier from me. I used to love their traditional Tuesday deal and would order so many wings and beer during that time and just fill myself up. Their wings aren't gross, and they have a decent bit of variety when it comes to their flavors, so... I like this placement for them. I just like the fact I can eat and drink with the boys and also be able to catch a game on their TVs. If you ask me, I uh, think they have too many freaking TVs in the building. Like, what the heck is up with that? Also, they only have sports and no freaking eSports. Joe, you're the only one who thinks that's a problem. But if it bothers you so much, why don't you go open your own restaurant? Anyways, up next, we got Popeyes, and I love their wings as well. I think this is not a surprise at all to anyone when I say Popeyes has good wings because they have amazing chicken in general. I'm gonna have this going into A tier alongside Buffalo Wild Wings. Doesn't surprise me that you of all people would have it so high considering you twerk for Popeyes in our other tier lists. Okay, I did twerk for Popeyes, don't get me wrong. But you're acting as if my butt was fluttering like a damn butterfly when I ranked this high. Like, goddamn, Donald, you do realize you made the other two chicken-related tier lists, right? Wait, I did? Looking like Joe there with the way you forget, but yeah. Anyways, we got our next entry, and that is Hooters. And I have them as our first S tier on this list. And before you and Joe say anything, I want to clarify that it is not because of the women, but rather because of the quality of their food. Nah, I'm going to keep it a buck with everyone and say that if Hooters did not have girls in those skimpy outfits, well, then I'd probably be eating wings from Little Caesars exclusively. On God, Joe, those Hooters girls really get it done, and that establishment more than deserves the S tier. Hell, I'd give it an S plus tier. Okay, that's enough, you two. I knew you guys were going to take it there, but I actually just enjoy the flavor and texture of their actual wings and nothing more, but I guess to you two, that doesn't matter. Thankfully for our next entry, we have nothing that'll deter you from giving it an actual ranking based on the food, because Wingstop, has nothing else going on. They give out some food and that's it. No need for all the extra stuff. And honestly, I love them for it. I am giving Wingstop a solid S tier as well because their quality in wings are unmatched. I will actually twerk for some voodoo fries too. Like they are so freaking spicy, but it is so worth. And the spicy Korean Q is the best possible flavor for a sauce that I can ever imagine. Like it is my go-to sauce whenever I got to Wingstop. Wingstop is all right, but it has no chicks and skimpy little outfits. For once, I have to agree with Joe. Yeah, it's a true S tier in my eyes and is my favorite out of the whole list. The comment section can fight me on it, but I am a Wingstop ride or die. But anyways, up next we got another pizza joint and that is Pizza Hut. Actually, our last two are pizza places, but we all know where Little Caesars is going. Straight to S tier. Yeah, uh, we'll see. But anyways, the rating I'll give Pizza Hut will probably be another B tier. Like, I have no hate for these pizza places and genuinely like their wings a decent bit. As long as they aren't shitty booty places like Little Caesars, then we will be set. Super funny, Barack, but get to the S tier for Little Caesars, please. Joe, I'm not really that sorry, but for our last place, we have Little Caesars. And much like I have alluded to this whole time, I will not be placing this that high. Fine, I guess I can live with an A tier rating. I will be placing Little Caesars pizza into D tier for their terrible, terrible wings that have a worse texture than the McRib and just feel like they've been doused in Frank's red hot sauce. Ooh, that is rough for Joey, but Barack has a point here. I don't think I have ever had worse wings than whatever monstrosity comes out of Little Caesar's wing making process. I'd rather lick some boots or chew on rocks covered in Frank's red hot than ever eat another Little Caesar's wing again in my whole entire life. And Joey, you know that when I say something, you know it has to be bad. 
see Joey, it's uh, not just me, and I'm sure that everyone in the comments is going to agree as well. Please just open your eyes to the truth. Oh, I'll open my eyes, all right. You guys better skedaddle. What is up, gang? We are back with our weekly tier list, but this time we're bringing you a fruit juice tier list. I'd like to add that Joey was fighting for his life trying to include his favorite juice, which was, of course, freaking prune juice. I can't help it. It's the only thing that helps me go to the bathrooms nowadays. Yikes, Joey. You can get fiber in other ways. You don't have to resort to drinking only prune juice. Let's go ahead and get this list started before Joe starts talking about his bowel movements more. I was just about to tell you why prune juice gives me the best consistency in my poops, but fine, you're the one missing out. No, Joey, I don't think I am. Fine, the audience is missing out, but whatever. To start this whole list off, we got the iconic Appy Juicy. That belongs in an immediate A for apple, in my humble opinion. I like apples a lot. If you liked them so much, you probably wouldn't have fiber problems, you dementia-ridden panty wad. Listen, man, I don't think apple juice helps with constipation. Trust me, I would know. Up next, we got cranberry juice going into C tier. This shit is too freaking sour, but I love the juice when it's mixed with other juices. I can get down with that. The cranberry mixed drinks are bomb, and I also prefer them over just pure cranberry. On God, and of course you'd say it's bomb anyways, I then got Hawaiian punch going into C tier. This is red 40 in liquid form, and I kind of mess with it. I am not even going to lie to anyone. I will say, though, that blue Hawaiian punch is better, and you all can fight me in the Joe Dome about it. The hell is the Joe Dome? The dome where Joe goes to fight and Hulk smash those who defy him. Like, if I hear any people tell me this next juice is their favorite, then we're going to have some problems. Literally, I don't think anyone likes grapefruit juice. Like, that is pure, like, bitterness going into your mouth. Okay, this kind of contradicts the fruit tier list because I remember we placed that higher, but anyways. What if someone put sugar in it to lighten up the bitterness of the grapefruit? You know, I've never thought of that. Well, then it would probably be pretty good, but for now it belongs in D tier. Not at all like our first S tier, which is going to be coconut juice water. This is like straight up the nectar of the gods. I can drink this at any single time of day. This is legit the best type of water juice I have ever had in my life. If I had the choice to either get rid of coconut water or my son Hunter, well, let's just say I will miss him while I sip out of my coconut juice. Let's be honest, Joey, you would not miss him, but I hate having to agree with you on that coconut juice slash water is elite as hell. If you keep this up and put grape juice high, I'm gonna have to actually compliment you for once. Also, sorry for taking your Thunderberry. I know how much you like grape juice. Uh, I never once told you that I loved grape juice. Dude, I just assumed from the fruit tier list, of course. God, you were about to non-consensually grape me there. Wait, what, Donald, you can't say that. What, I can't say you almost graped me? You're a grapist with the amount of love you show grapes. It's just fruit talk. Joey, please help. Yeah, I like grape juice too, but I have to be honest, fellas. Both grapes for me are a solid B tier. I am not a huge grapist. They aren't like the best, but I enjoy a glass of grape juice from time to time. Unlike our American classic up next, which is good old fashioned lemonade, and I have this going into S tier, I feel like there is never a bad time for lemonade, and when you can't have any of that, the second best thing is the fruit right next to it. Some good ass limeade is almost as good, and some even prefer it. But I have limeade going into A tier as it falls below lemonade, in my opinion. You got me fucked up on the grape one, but lemonade is amazing. Pair that with another fruit too, and it becomes even more elite. Get some lemonade mango drinks or lemonade strawberry, and ooh, that is good. On God Donald, speaking of mango, I then have mango juice also going into A tier. It is solid, and I really like it, but I feel like our top two entries are better, but I may be tripping. I definitely feel like you are Joey, but I will personally let it slide since A tier is still pretty high. Thanks, Barry. I love getting the pass from a brother. Anyways, I then have the original morning fruit juice at S tier. A good glass of orange juice is something I'd kill for. Joey, I'm not used to you taking these many dubs. Just like how I'm sure your skin wasn't used to the amount of orange juice that you were ingesting, so it had to adjust and make you look like an Oompa Loompa. Joey, you are fucking dead next time I see you, you sleepy little shit. Yeah, yeah, Donnie, sure, back onto the list. I then got pineapple juice going into A tier. I sometimes drink this so much that my mouth hurts. That doesn't sound healthy. Probably hurts from all the amount of sucking he does. Donald, I don't use straws, so I can't be sucking you silly goose. I then have pomegranate going into B tier. If pomegranate juice was fused with cranberry, I'd have that fusion up in S tier, I can't even lie. But alone, both are pretty good. 
Then I have our next S tier, which is strawberry juice. I can drink it alone or combine it with almost any fruit here. Banger with the strawberry choice here, Joey. Thanks, and now we can wrap this list up and I will be putting tomato juice into S tier. No way, dude. You're not putting freaking tomato juice into S tier. That belongs in F and you know it. He has got to be trolling. Joey quit trying to be different. You know, you never had tomato juice in your life. You two don't know my life. What if I love tomato juice? Put it in F tier right now, Joey. Fine, I will, but I'm serious, guys. What if I like tomato juice by itself, like just the pure tomato juices? Then you should off yourself. What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list. And this time around, we got a Hawaiian punch tier list. And let me tell you all right now that this is the definitive tier list because we have no one else other than the Don making this list. Now, I am a connoisseur of the finer things in life, so you bet I have had every single flavor of Hawaiian punch on this list, and I will be able to give the most accurate rating for every single one. Watch him rate nothing lower than a C, because, of course, Donald would love this sugar-infested drink. Ha! That's how I know your knowledge on this magnificent drink is almost as outdated as you, Joe. Since you've been hitting us with fun facts, let me hit you with one about Hawaiian punch. It actually does not have much sugar, and for every serving, which is about eight ounces. There are only 11 grams of sugar, so it is actually not that sugary. Donald, I really hate to be the one that burst your bubble, but uh, the American Heart Association's recommendation for sugar intake is that men should consume no more than 36 grams of added sugar per day. For women, the number is lower at around 25 grams per day. So if you think about it, one serving of this drink is around 30% of our daily sugar intake. That is one third of our daily sugars from one cup of your juice. And I can't even imagine what else you eat or drink because your bloodstream must be more sugar than blood. Joke's on you, I already knew that fact and I only drink Diet Coke aside from the occasional punch I have here and there. You know, Barack, not everyone goes all in on the things they do. I, for one, have self-control and do not go over my daily sugars, I uh, think. Either way, only losers count that, and I am only a winner, but who cares about some nerd stats? And let's get started with this list. Up first, we got the classic Fruit Juicy Red. And before you guys try to grill me in the comments, it is actually called Fruit Juicy Red. I don't know why they didn't just call it Juicy Red Fruit or even Red Juicy Fruit, but hey, I am not in charge of their marketing. Nonetheless, we all know where this classic flavor goes, and it is an immediate S tier. This shit slaps harder than an abusive husband with a couple of brewskis in his system after his wife refused to grab him the TV remote. The light version is still okay, but that's a C tier. It is not as good in the Don's opinion. All that red 40 going in my bloodstream. Yummy, yummy, I actually think I can become superhuman if I consume all the colors. Red 40, blue one, yellow five, green three, and whatever the hell else they got. I will consume them all and become the ultimate being Joe, I don't know about that, but I'm sure it'll have the inside of your stomach looking like a goddamn rave festival with all the colors. After that, we got Berry Blue Typhoon, and this is another goddamn banger. This is another S tier in my book. Like, I don't know how you could possibly hate blue colored things. Make any drink blue, and I think it'll just taste better. It might be the blue one Joe was talking about, but this is a masterpiece of a flavor and honestly might top the red one for me, but let me not go too crazy. Nah, I think you were spitting there for a bit because I honestly prefer the blue flavored one to the red one. But then again, Michelle only lets me have the sugar-free one, so I can't really judge that well. Sugar-free sounds so un-American, but hey, chalk my shit up full of aspartame or sucralose, and I honestly won't care. Cancer this blah, blah, blah. Listen, all I know is that it makes my drink taste delicious and it has no sugar. That's a life hack, and I don't care about the medical downsides. Anyways, up next, we got Berry Limeade Blast, and this is our first A tier. Don't get me wrong, I love the inclusion of the lime, but I rather have the original red flavor because that's like the OG. It is nice to have around and use whenever you want to switch up flavors, though. What isn't that good is our next entry, which is Berry Bonkers, and this looks like black sludge, but it tastes actually not that bad. I still would rather have everything above except for the light drink, but I'll give it a solid B tier. It really isn't that good though, but if there's no other flavor, then I'll drink it. Now you're berry bonkers for placing it that low, Donald. God, shut the hell up, Joe. Do not make those puns. After that somewhat bad one, we got its cousin with Green Berry Rush, but unlike berry bonkers, Green Berry Rush actually tastes pretty good in comparison. Like it's worth an A tier in my opinion, and it almost had me debating putting it into S tier, 
But I have too many good things going up there that I just could not put it there. It was a good contender, but I think A tier is a perfect spot for it. Not too high and definitely not too low. You're really getting analytical with these takes. Do you really care about the placements of these drinks that much, Donald? Of course I do. I take all my lists very seriously, and even more so if I am grading the nectar of the gods. Don't try to distract me, Barry, because I am on a roll right now. And then up next, we got some good old lemonberry squeeze up next. This is honestly another A tier for me because this flavor has the nice addition of lemon with all the berries, but once again, it just doesn't quite reach the zenith that the other flavors above it do. Do you like that, guys? Yeah, I'm a pretty smart guy for using the word zenith, I know. You know what? The Joe Dog likes the verbiage you just used. Zenith would indeed be applicable for those items on top. No shit, Joe. That's why I used that word. I told you that the avant-garde incident was a one-time thing. Speaking of one-time things, I got Lemon Lime and Lemonade Hawaiian Punch going into B tier. Like, it isn't bad, but these two are just too citrusy for my liking. I'll have a couple of cups of this and my face will contort more than Joe's when thinking of what to say during live TV. Wait a minute. You just said earlier that you don't drink more than a cup because it would exceed your daily limit for sugars. Barry, why are you such a snitch, bro? And I obviously only do that during my cheat days. That must be every day then for this round mound of a man. Shut the hell up, Sleepy Joe. I do not want to hear any snide remarks from the man who is a professional kitty sniffer. Anyways, after that, we got yet another S tier, and that, of course, is Mango Monsoon. I am pretty sure if you make anything mango flavored, it will just automatically slap. Like, I legitimately think it's a cheat code when it comes to artificial flavors. Then, uh, damn, we got back-to-back -back S tier ratings because I got Whitewater Wave also going into S tier. You know how I mentioned that anything mango flavored tastes amazing? Well, the same can be said about anything white colored, like you got the Glacier Frost Gatorade or whatever it's called, tasting absolutely amazing. And then now you have this. I actually uh, don't know if there are any other white colored drinks, but fuck it. I'm still gonna say that my statement holds true. Would you count clear colored things with flavor a part of that category? Well, that would make no sense at all, but sure. So like stuff like clear Pepsi and actually didn't older Gatorades have a clear flavor? I swear, remembering that to be a thing, Joe, you're full of fun facts. Is this an actual thing? Well, if you're asking me if I remember, buddy, you're asking the wrong person. Of course, as always, you do not come through when we need you most. But watch out if you misuse a fucking word, because then you'll have Joe down your throat. Figuratively and hopefully physically as well. You are so gross, Joe, but let's keep going with the list, because we're nearing the end of the list. Up next, we got Orange Ocean, and let me tell you all right here that this is not really that good. I give it a solid B tier, but most of the time, orange-flavored things miss unless it's pure orange juice. Oh, that and Sunny D, actually. So those two things are primarily the only two things that are orange-flavored that I actually really enjoy. Did you know that Rice Energy has a Sunny D flavor, Donald? You might actually enjoy that, because it tastes amazing. Shit, actually. I might have to order some, and we'll probably do a tier list on that then. Following that, we got another S tier in the Polar Blast flavor. And once again, if it is blue, then the Don will probably like it nine times out of 10. What was the one time you didn't like it? Okay, I can't recall that, but Joey people just say that to signify that they like something a lot. Stop being a smart ass. Wait, I can actually remember the one time I didn't like it, and it was when you were talking about boiling hot dogs in Gatorade water. When the hell did I say that? That sounds very un -Joe like Frail, roll the clip. Going straight into S tier. I honestly think I'm just a fan of blue products. I get blue ICs. I get blue Gatorade and I get blue Kool-Aid. I'm a blue sort of guy. I freaking love the flavor blue. I think I'll eat or drink anything that's blue. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Joe. What the hell is the flavor blue? Also, what can you possibly be eating that is blue? Like seriously, honest to God, I cannot think of a food that comes in the natural color of blue. Well, I sometimes boil my hot dogs in blue Gatorade and it gives them this yummy tinge of blue that you can see and taste. That is so freaking gross, man. Oh, that, uh, well, what can I say? If I said it, then it must indeed bang. You are so fucking gross, man. Anyways, following that disgusting stuff, we return to some mid. And I know, Barack, you might find this controversial, but uh, I have the watermelon flavor of Hawaiian Punch going into B tier. Please don't be so angry. I really don't care. As a matter of fact, I uh, actually kind of agree with you. Barack, please calm down. Don't yell at me, please. I will never disrespect you ever again. I'll stick to berating the illegals instead. Okay, I said that in a pretty calm manner, and uh, I don't know if that's the right thing to say in this situation. You're right, I just gotta live with the fact that I'm pissing you off with that rating. And you know what? I feel better standing on business and not backing down to you. 
Watermelon Hawaiian Punch will stay a B tier no matter what you say, Barack. God, Donald, you can be just as stupid as Joe sometimes. Actually, you can be as dumb as him a lot of the times, but we don't call you out on it nearly as much. The fuck did I do to merit that stray? Joe, do we need to roll that clip of the hot dog boiling in blue Gatorade again? God, sometimes just seeing you pisses me off. I want to, like, pop your head like a pimple. Mama did always say that people are going to hate on my success. She always used to tell me they hate us because they ain't us. Pretty sure you just ripped that entire saying from the movie, the interview, like that was the biggest joke of that whole movie. Yeah, you caught me. Boy, howdy, I freaking love that movie. It was okay. I may need to rewatch it, though. But we're on the very last item, and that is Citrus Splash. And uh, I don't know why there's two, but we'll only rate one. And as I said previously with orange-flavored things, I uh, just don't really like them that much. I am giving this a B tier, but I will say it tastes slightly better than Orange Ocean. Well, now that we're done with this list, I noticed another thing. What is that, Joe? That this fat ass didn't rate anything lower than a C, and the one and only thing he did put into C tier was the diet version of one of the higher rated flavors. Yeah, you actually have a point, Joe. Donald, you need to cut back on the sugar. I'm telling you that my sugar levels are fine. I bet vampires would love the hell out of your blood. They'd probably use it as a honey substitute for their pancakes. I can only imagine what they use your semen for. What? What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list. This time, we are going to rank all the chicken nuggets from various fast food places. Of course, we don't have every single one, but we got the ones from our area and freshly tasted them, so I am confident in this list. Also, Joey and Barack graciously allowed me to take over and do this tier list because they know I am the Nugget King. Yeah, we always know to let you handle it if it's anything involving food. We know the Don loves his Elite Eats. Is that what we're calling it, Elite Eats? I thought what he always used was called Uber Eats because his fat ass can't get up and drive in a car to the place. Sleepy Joe, shut your ass up because you're not even legally allowed to drive a vehicle with all those mental illnesses you got going on. Don't act like we haven't seen a whole compilation of you falling down. God, but let's move past that because we are about to talk about one of the holiest and greatest food items to ever exist, and that is the chicken nugget. Up first, we got Burger King chicken nuggets, and even though I literally said nuggets were the greatest and holiest item like 10 seconds ago, this shit is ass. I hate Burger King nuggets and will place them into D tier. I swear that meat cannot be healthy for you considering they sell a ton of nuggets for $1.50. Don't act like you're too good for $1.50 nugget, because me personally, I will devour those nuggets. That's a bit gross, Joey, but I respect you being a human garbage can and be willing to devour those things. Yeah, I bet Joey is also a fan of Jack in the Box nuggets, which is not saying anything good at all because I have those things also going into D tier. I legitimately think that the tacos from Jack in the Box might be better than the nuggets, and I really don't understand how. Their burgers and chicken sandwiches are gas, though. Wow, look at that. Trump is just shitting on all of my favorite foods again. I am disgusted that these two are your favorites, but I don't expect anything more from someone like you, Joey. Anyways, up next, we got the grilled nuggets from Chick-fil-A, and these are pretty solid. I can't even lie. They're a C tier because I think they're pretty OK, but I think they just taste like real chicken, which is why I even have grilled nuggets that high. Plus, it helps me count my calories. Let's be honest here, Donald. You are most definitely not counting your calories. OK, you may have gotten me there, but that's because I am already in peak physical condition. I would dominate any bodybuilder with my strength. On to the next one. I feel like a lot of people will hate me for this, but I have the KFC nuggets going into C tier. I just feel like KFC fell off. Like, remember the days you'd get popcorn chicken and it would slap? Now it's bad, or at least the location we went to was bad, but it feels like ever since Popeyes came, KFC has just fallen off and they only care about their Asian markets now because apparently Asian KFC slaps. We need to make KFC great again one day, but for now that will stay in C tier. I remember when it was good, I would love ordering my popcorn, chicken and gravy. But I like your message, Donald. That's a campaign I can get behind. Make KFC great again. Truly the only thing that can bring both parties together. Coming up next, we got our first S tier, much to nobody's surprise, and that is the Chick-fil-A fried nuggets. This combined with any sort of sauce is a deadly combo. I fucking love the hell out of Chick-fil-A, and I will do anything to have it open on Sundays. Did you mispronounce Chick-fil-A at the start? Anyways, knowing your fat ass, you'll probably enact some policy to force it open on Sundays. You know what? I would, and I will fully have the support of all my fellow Chick-fil-A lovers behind me. 
Up next, we got yet another S tier. And I know some of you guys will be like, ew, McDonald's nuggets aren't even that good. I want you all to shut the fuck up. I will never tolerate any type of McDonald's slander and will personally send you all to the gulag if you ever disrespect the most American fast food place in the world. I love the hell out of these nuggets, especially if they come in fresh. Okay, yeah, I hear it, Barry. I think he's in rant mode and isn't thinking about how he's pronouncing Chick-fil-A. But anyways, the McDonald's nugget ranking is one I won't argue at all with. I love McDonald's, and their nuggets are bona fide. Joey, I appreciate you not being stupid for once. But anyways, we will now move on to our next entry, and that is the Popeye's nuggets. They're basically tenders and are pretty good. I would give it a B ranking because I love Popeye's chicken so much, but it isn't really a nugget like how we all think chicken nuggets are, if that makes sense. I mean, it kind of does. They're breaded and fried more than the traditional nugget and aren't made the same exact way. So it makes sense that you would make that distinction be known. Same would apply for the KFC nuggets. Way to use the thesaurus on that one. Why not just say different instead of distinction? Anyways, we got our last two coming up, and it is normal and spicy chicken nuggets from Wendy's. Now, for the normal nuggets, I will be placing these into B tier because I like them, but I feel like there is a level difference between these and McDonald's or Chick-fil-A, but I still like them. You can order like 50 of these nuggets for 10 bucks, and that value alone is insane for these good of nuggets. I then will be placing the spicy ones into A tier because even though I am not really a spice man, I just don't know. The flavor is enhanced with the spice, and the Don can't get enough of them. The only bad part is how it makes my butthole burn every time I eat them. I end up feeling like Joe on a Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah, very funny. Way to pick on the Joe dog, but I'll have you know my butthole doesn't burn nor hurt. You get used to it after a while, and it even feels good. Uh, are we still talking about the nuggets? Maybe. Hey, hey, hey. What is going on, gang? We are back to making yet another tier list, but this time we are making a Halloween candy tier list. I'm specifically rating this with the gang based on how happy we would be if we got this during Halloween. Is that what we're saying to make it different from our candy tier list? That, and this episode is spooky, so like it is totally different when compared to the other tier list. Listen, gentlemen, I can care less about what goes where, but can we all please agree that Tootsie Rolls are simply the best candy in all of existence? Like it's taffy, but with chocolate flavoring, and who would not like the marvelous wonder that is that? Oh, I cannot wait to rip your heart out soon, Joey. Anyways, let's start this Halloween candy tier list. And up first, we got plain old Hershey's. No nuts or nothing. We just have the plain old milk chocolate bar. I personally think that you cannot go wrong with this bar. And I think a solid B tier would be needed for this. I would not be mad if I got these if I were to receive them while trick or treating. I'd be a bit upset, but at the end of the day, it is chocolate. So I guess you're right in that instance. I'd be happier to get a Tootsie Roll if you ask me. Well, thank God none of us were asking you about that, but now that you mention it, let's go ahead and rate your precious Tootsie Roll. Before that, I want you to look at the tier list, Joey. Do you notice anything different? Uh, hmm, uh, oh, you added an E tier to it. Uh, why'd you do that? So I can place your beloved Tootsie Rolls beneath that. They are so garbage that I went out of my way to add a goddamn E tier just to shit on your Tootsie Rolls some more. You can't possibly be meaning to add these to E tier. Even better, I am adding Tootsie Rolls to F tier because that is how awful they are. If I was out trick or treating and someone handed me a goddamn Tootsie Roll, man, I would kill their ass. Have some sniper take them out on the spot if they think a goddamn Tootsie Roll is a candy that is worth handing out. Like I would rather chew on Lizzo's used workout underwear than ever conceive the thought of even chewing on a Tootsie Roll, let alone eat one of those turd sandwiches. Now that is a goddamn lie and you know it. They're the best goddamn candy out there, and my butt is fluttering just at the thought of eating one. You just haven't matured enough to fully understand the complexity of flavor and sweetness, something like a Tootsie Roll would have. If that's true, then I never want to be mature like you, Joey, because apparently that only leads to sniffing younger women and genuinely enjoying Tootsie Rolls, and only one of those two statements are cool. Hold on there. Uh, none of those statements are cool. You haven't gotten a good whiff, that's why. But anyways, up next, we got Skittles and Snickers. And there better be no complaints about these two because they are both solid selections. I would understand placing them higher or lower, but I believe these two both belong in A tier. You can never go wrong with a Snickers if you're feeling in the chocolate mood. And if you're a bit fruity, then you can have Skittles. Oh, I am super fruity when I get in the mood. Doesn't surprise me at all, Joe. Up next, we got Twix and Whoppers, and I got Twix going into S tier. I am a huge fan of these, and in this instance, it does not matter if you're team right Twix or left Twix, 
because they are both so unbelievably great that it simply does not matter. As for the Whoppers, well, I like them, but I think they're somewhat mid compared to what's there. I think a solid B tier for this big Whopper Black Balls is the right rating. I love me some big black Whopper Balls going into my mouth. Joe, you really have to learn more about phrasing. I think he's just fine and he shouldn't change at all. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Donald. Yeah, uh, don't sweat it, man. Anyways, up next, Three Musketeers and a Mr. Goodbar and I have to unfortunately ruin all five of those Three Musketeers fans because this is an automatic F tier. Before any of that, let's move back on to Tootsie Rolls. On second thought, I hate these things so much that I'll make them their own tier called Tootsie Ass. But anyways, back on to Three Musketeers. Like, no one really enjoys these things, and if you do, I am sorry to inform you that you are in the minority, and you all better band together in the comments because these things suck. As for the Mr. Good Bar, well, uh, it's honestly midder than mid, so I think a C tier is needed for this one. Way to shit on all my favorite candies, man. First Tootsie Rolls and now Three Musketeers. There is obviously some anti-Joe propaganda being thrown about. The crazy thing about this, Joe, is that I already hated these things, but I somehow knew that your ass was gonna be a fan of these gross things. Following that shit show, we got another shitter coming up, and those are Twizzlers. I have this going into F tier as well, and I'm sure that we will hear all about Joey complain that these are placed too low when in reality they are garbage. Then we got peanut butter M&Ms going into B tier because they are pretty good. I actually don't really like Twizzlers. Thank God you have some semblance of a brain. Uh, I actually freaking love Twizzlers and eat them pretty regularly. Have you not had the flavored ones? Those are great. Yeah, but if you're a kid who got handed a bunch of Twizzlers, you think your ass is gonna be happy? Man, I'd throw a fit if I saw these lousy ass strings of licorice in my freaking bag. Same with these next ones because I also have Barack, or I mean Milk Duds going into F tier. Wow, real funny, man. Are you calling me a Milk Dud? Well, I am not not calling you a Milk Dud if that's what you're asking. These things suck ass and taste like ass and we'll happily keep them there. After that though, we got a Heath bar and the Don thinks they are okay. Solid C tier placement. Like if I got these during Halloween, I wouldn't jump for joy, but I wouldn't scoff at the sight of them. However, these next ones, I would give you a mean look. Like I'd stare you down for a bit till you looked away because you should have known better than to hand me a Milky Way, which I am placing in D tier, by the way. Now what the hell is wrong with Milky Way? The problem is that when you chew them, it's like trying to munch on slime. Like the sands of time prevent me from fully closing each bite and my mouth just gets more and more tangled in the caramel and it feels like I'm stuck in Minecraft cobwebs. Moving past those, we got Baby Ruth candy bars and these are fairly mid. I don't really have a strong opinion on this one other than the fact that I thought they used to be called Babe Ruth bars. More importantly, gentlemen, we got a banger up next and those are Kit Kats. Now, if anyone, one of you in the comments, try to lie to me and say that you hate Kit Kats, just know that I would publicly execute you in the most cruel and unusual way. These are an automatic S tier in my heart and objectively. A bit too much with the public execution bit, but I have to agree that Kit Kats are elite. And if you ever have the raspberry or green tea ones, I guarantee you'll be sent to heaven. Can't be as good as flavored Tootsie Rolls. Okay, that's one thing I'll let slide because flavored Tootsie Rolls actually kind of bang. They aren't amazing, but the Don fucks with them. Following that masterclass performance, we got Crunch and Butterfingers, and I think A tier fits Crunch Bars the most. I like how simple and crunchy they are. It's just an all around solid thing, and if I got that during Halloween, I'd be jumping for joy. But not as much as I would be for a Butterfinger, because holy shit, I will twerk for some Butterfingers. This is an auto S tier. And the only bad thing you can say about Butterfingers is how they basically get glued to your teeth after chewing it for a bit. Do you know what else gets glued to your teeth but tastes absolutely amazing? Joe, I'm not moving Tootsie Roll from its own dedicated section. After that, we got Candy Corn and Dots. And actually, now that I think about it, I think Candy Corn belongs with Tootsie Ass because that is just how awful it is. And Dots are bad, too. So I am placing that shit into F tier. Dude, you just simply don't understand the finer things in life, Donald. Candy corn and dots are freaking amazing. If I were deserted on an island and had nothing to eat aside from candy corn and dots, I think I'd rather just start eating the fucking sand before I even consider eating those two things. Enough of that ass candy. Let's talk about dum-dums and these things bang. They get a solid B tier from me for always being slightly above average. 
This next rating, though, I know will get people riled up, but I am placing Swedish fish into C tier. Like, they're okay, but I am not going to go crazy for some Swedish fish. Just give me some Haribo gummies, and it's the same thing. Donald, chill the hell out, because you know damn well those two are not the same thing. You're right, because at least Haribo gummies taste better and have more flavors. Up next, we got two back-to-back -back B tiers, and that is Reese's Cups and Laffy Taffy. I like them both, but I don't think they're beating out any of the ones above it. And I would place Reese's higher, but it's just so tiny. You fat piece of shit. Just how much chocolate do you even eat? I am a healthy weight for my height, and I eat as much as I want because I naturally have a slender frame. Anyways, up next, we got normal M&Ms, and these get a C tier from me. I personally prefer their peanut butter counterparts. But up next, we got a banger, and those are nerds. I am placing these into A tier because if I ever got these while trick or treating, I'd bust my load right then and there. I'd eat the whole box and just had a sugar high for a while. Speaking of high though, did you two see our next entry? Did you guys ever crush up Smarties and pretend to smoke them? Because Lord knows I did, and it was fun for that reason, but overall they deserve a C tier for being mighty mid. You know what? Hunter used to always do that with his Smarties. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. Following that, we got two big kahunas, and that is Sour Patch Kids, which we all know belong in S tier. Like, these are the best gummy candies out there, and I'd like to hear all you haters in the comments argue otherwise. Then we got Starbursts, which are also absolutely delightful, and we'll be placing into A tier. Solid selections overall. And I have to agree with the Sour Patch take, because I can legit get only the watermelon or grape ones and still think they are absolutely amazing. Go figure it's those two flavors, but uh, anyways, Let's move on to our final entry, and this is what I have to say about Almond Joy, and it's that you either love it or you hate it. And thankfully, the Don understands the complex flavors behind chocolate and coconut, and will be happily placing this into A tier. Obviously, you don't have an advanced flavor palette, or you'd be rating Tootsie Rolls higher. No, Joey, you don't understand. What you're saying is simply called being retarded. What is up, gang? It's me, Barry, Barack Obama here, and I am joined by Joe and Donald, as always. This time around, we're going to grade different types of gum, and hopefully everyone hates chiclets as much as I do. Barack, don't go jumping forward in the list, but you know what I really hate? Any form of mint gum or candy. Like, go brush your teeth if you like mint, and it is absolutely the worst because I constantly have people offering me some mint gum. Joe, you realize they do that because your breath smells absolutely rancid, like it possibly smells just as bad as liquid ass, maybe even worse if I'm being honest. Haha, uh -huh, very funny, Donald, but my breath does not possibly smell that bad. Uh, no, you should really go to a dentist sometime in the future, Joey. And you could have just said it was me who was constantly handing you the gum. You don't hang out with anyone aside from us, so you could have just said it. Plus, I only do it because it genuinely feels like you never brush your teeth. I do brush my teeth, well, uh, when I remember. Mother of Christ Almighty. Yeah, let's just get this tier list started. Up first, we got Wrigley's Spearmint Gum, and I like Wrigley's. And I actually prefer their mint over their juicy fruit one. But yeah, I will go ahead and place this into B tier and follow it up with Mentos in A tier. Oh my God, here comes all the mint propaganda again. I can't wait to hear about how you guys just love all the minty fresh stuff. Joe, I'm sorry you don't know how good it feels to like finish eating at a barbecue or at a burger joint and then popping a piece of minty fresh gum after a meal. That shit is so satisfying and adds to the experience. On God, Barack, I know about eatery, so I know how much it enhances the experience. Plus, I know you don't care about how you smell or what your breath might smell like, Joe, but me and Barack do. It's OK, though, Joe. We only judge a decent bit, but not a whole lot. Anyways, let's move on to our next entry, which is Wrigley's Double Mint Gum, and I will confidently place that into B tier. It's just mint, but doubled. But as for the juicy fruit flavor coming up next, now I want everyone to hear me out. I love this flavor, but I feel like with Wrigley's in general, the flavor runs out quick, and especially more so if it is a fruit flavor. So despite it being really good, I will be placing it into C tier. It just runs out of flavor too fast. Nah, Barack, you got me fucked up here. How are you gonna say it's really good, but then put it into C tier because the flavor doesn't last that long? Are you chewing on the same piece for 30 minutes or something? Let's keep it real here. The flavor literally runs out with the first three minutes of you chewing a juicy fruit. Probably runs out sooner, but I said what I said. You're gonna have to deal with this ranking, just like how I know Joe is gonna have to deal with these next two rankings. Barry, please don't do what I think you're about to do for the love of all things sacred. I am putting Double Bubble and Chiclets both into F tier, 
and I do not care about hearing any other opinions on this, Joey. You are quite literally the only person in my life that I have seen actively pursue these two disgusting things. Like, I'll chew them if they are there, but objectively, they are some of the worst pieces of gum I have ever had in my whole life. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with that anymore because I got extra and trident gum going into B and then A tier, respectively. Way to slam dunk on Joe and then put trident gum up in A tier. I freaking love trident gum and I especially love the trident layers gum so much. That thing had me hooked on it for weeks like I was being fed some sort of drug. I freaking love the trident layers gum so much. If that were here, I would give it an S tier. But we only got normal trident, which is still pretty good. I might lose you guys on these next two, though. I have Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape going into C tier alongside the Bubble Yum. Now let me explain why I am putting them here. I am going based off of the flavor, and I don't like bubble gum flavored things, and the Hubba Bubba Tape is neat and smacks, but it's kind of a gimmick and runs out of flavor quick as well. The big pieces of Hubba Bubba Gum is superior, but sadly that is not on this list. Barry, you don't have to worry about losing me because you lost me a while ago when you put my two favorite pieces of gum all the way in F tier. Joe, I'm gonna be honest here. We do not care if we ever lose you because you always lose yourself in your own train of thought because of the dementia. Anyways, Barry, I don't entirely blame you here because you had a good hubba bubba take, but I definitely feel like this could have gone higher, my guy. It probably could have, but I like to think of C tier, like mid tier stuff. So like, I think those pieces being there really fit. And honestly, the only one I feel like has an argument to move up is the juicy fruit. Anyways, our next two are Orbit Gum and Big League Chew. I am putting Orbit into B tier for being a decent piece of gum. And again, Big League Chew goes into C tier because these are just mid pieces of gum. And while we're at it, let's throw Eclipse in B tier too, because a lot of these gums kind of feel the same if I'm being honest. Well, Big League Chew is a bit different, and I think it should go higher, but everyone always disagrees with the Joe Dog. Nah, I kind of smell you on that one, Joey, but this is Barack's list. He has not done one of these in a while, so maybe he's rusty. I am not rusty. I just think what I think, and I think it is mid. It's okay, though, because we got our first S tier in Icebreakers gum, and these things are amazing. They have a huge ass variety of flavors too. Like you guys should look up and see just how many they actually have that all sound delicious. Then I'm putting bazooka into D tier. Now wait one moment, Barack, please, for the love of God and all things holy, please put bazooka in A tier at least. I grew up my whole life chewing these and they were a huge part of my childhood. Donald, I know you can vouch with me on this. As much as I hate to admit it, Joey is speaking facts. Back in the day, we would be smacking on these like crazy. Okay, but you two are old as hell. This thing came out in 1947. Jesus, bazooka is mid now, so like why would I place it that high? I'll shit myself in your car if you don't place it high. Well, with that convincing argument, I guess I'll place it into A tier, even though it's a D tier at best. Now let's move on to some real A tier gum, and we have a back-to-back -back combo of Stride and Big Red. I like Stride gum a decent bit, so that's self-explanatory, but I am also a big fan of cinnamon-flavored things. So I also love me some Big Red. I also love me some Fireball Whiskey. Fireball is kind of gas, I can't even lie. I like cinnamon things a decent bit too, so I approve of this message. Thanks, Donald. And lastly, we got my favorite gum, which of course is Five Gum, and I am placing it into S tier. I love these things, and I love the commercials that came with them. Those commercials always scared me. I never felt like chewing Five Gum after seeing these people like enter another dimension when they chewed on it. Yeah, a lot of things seem to scare you, Joe. Your biggest fear seems to be your toothbrush, though. What is going on, gang? We are back with a very cool tier list, in my opinion, because we have ourselves a T tier list. And this time around, I am making it because we all know how Donald feels about British people. And then you have Joe over here who only consumes milk products. And if he doesn't do that, he'll instead drink some weird and nasty stuff. OK, first of all, there's nothing weird and nasty about milk. And what is weird and nasty about Gatorade and soda? Because guess what? The Joe Dog freaking loves his Gatorade and sodas alongside his milk, and sometimes I drink them all at the same time. I alternate between sips, and let me tell you that it brews a yummy potion in my tummy. Okay, let me stop you there, Joe, because you making a cauldron of disgusting liquids in your stomach is absolutely asinine. It probably looks like a witch's cauldron in there, but there's nothing wrong with Gatorade, but it's the way you try to normalize hot dog water Gatorade that gets everyone messed up. And what do you mean, Barack? I personally love British people, and I will give beans on toast a try because that honestly looks like it bangs. 
Sure, they have a classist society. You will never be upper class unless you're born into it. They're also pessimistic, sarcastic, and just generally have a cynical outlook on life. Just look at Gordon Ramsay and how much he hates absolutely everyone, and it feels like he dreads being kind. See us Americans at a tailgate for a football game. I can ask a dude to hammer a beer in front of me just for fun, and he will do it while exclaiming a victory belch. But if I were to do something similar and give someone a drink in a British bar, he'd look at me funny and call me a bell end and tell me to bloody piss off. But their bangers and mash does look quite exquisite, and I respect them for their food because people honestly don't give the Brits enough credit for their cuisine. I personally think British people are cool. Have you guys ever seen The In-Betweeners or Peep Show? I love those two British comedies, and I agree that their food does indeed look banging. Okay, it is clearly shown that you two are unfit for this tier list. And again, Brits are not the only tea drinkers in the world. We got some Asian countries that mess with tea heavily, and why can't us Americans enjoy tea as well? Unless you douse my shit in sugar and basically turn it into juice, I'm afraid I will not be drinking tea. Who the hell wants a bitter drink? Well, I do, and before you guys say anything, it is not because Michelle forces me to drink unsweetened drinks. I just so happen to enjoy tea. It's totally because of Michelle. Oh, 100%. Whatever, let's go ahead and get started with this list. Because up first, we got two back-to-back -back D tiers, in my opinion, and that is both the pure tea and the herbal rooibos taste like absolute dog water. I cannot stand the taste of poor tea because it just tastes earthy like wild mushrooms and smells like the forest. And if I want a nice tea in the morning to enjoy alongside some avocado toast, this is simply not it. And then you got the herbal rooibos tasting like smoky, sweet, woody, grassy, vanilla, floral. Like none of that sounds appetizing to me in the slightest and makes me feel like I might as well make some tea out of mulch. Isn't that simply how all tea tastes like? Like how the hell can you taste the difference between that and something like Earl Grey tea. Enough with the trolling Donald because you know damn well you can taste the difference. Even if you add your boatload of honey to the teas, you'd be able to feel the difference in flavor. Do you know what type of tea I'm interested in? You know how cocaine comes from a plant? Couldn't you make some cocaine tea with those plants? Now that sounds like an absolute banger of a tea. Joe, do not promote the use of that on our channel. Like, I know you made a tier list revolving around substances, but I don't want to hear it on my tea tier list. I don't even know if that will do anything because I'm not sure about the whole process behind making that. Why don't you go ask Hunter about that instead? Anyways, after those two bad ones, we got some herbal chamomile, and this is an honest-to-God S tier. I always have some when I'm sick, and this is like a miracle tea because it can help with loads of things like inflammation, immune system support, stomach issues, and a whole lot more. The flavor of chamomile is great too, which only adds more support for it being an S tier. Why don't you just go to a damn doctor if you feel sick at all? Dude, I refuse to pay a ton of money to get checked at because my stomach happens to hurt a ton that day. It's like this one time I dislocated a finger and someone near me threatened to call the ambulance on me and I just popped that sucker back in because I refuse to pay over a grand just to have a ride to the hospital. I can be red screened and on my last goddamn legs and still would rather drive to the hospital myself if I need to. I don't know about that one. Motherfucker like me just pays for it because I can, they say more money, more problems. But as a matter of fact, it is quite the opposite. Oh, I'm sure someone like you does not have to worry about the hospital bills. I just sleep off whatever ailment I have. It seems to work out pretty well in my opinion. And of course, there is Joe's dumb comment. Anyways, after that, we got black Earl Grey tea, and this is yet another S tier in my book. The flavor profiles on this are absolutely immaculate, and this with a nice breakfast is a banger in my books. It's a great way to start off your morning and is better than coffee, in my opinion, because it prevents that coffee breath that a lot of people have in the morning. Tell me about it. Whenever Joe says hi to me in the morning, that shit is like the Sunday breath from SpongeBob. It is so bad that I can actually see the stink clouds emitting from his mouth. Well, you don't have to go that far. I get it's a joke, but that's a bit excessive. I have feelings too, guys. No, Joe. He is being for real. And having smelled your breath in the morning before, I can definitely assure you that I'd rather smell the inside of an overweight person's skid mark tidy whiteys after they just had the most grueling workout session of their life than smell your breath after waking up. Okay, ow, this is noted. I'll up the teeth brushing to once a week from now on. God help us all. Anyways, after that, we got English breakfast tea, and this is also a certified banger, but 
Before we have all of British audience jump for joy at this, I want to give them the harsh reality that I do indeed like it, but I feel like this only merits an A tier. You can all argue in the comments, but I stand firm on this decision. Yeah, here in America, the only tea we like is a good old cup of freedom. Okay, that's not it either, but I appreciate your enthusiasm on my decision, Donald. After that, we got some herbal hibiscus, and this has got some flavor packing in it. I know this helps with its antioxidants and reduces blood pressure. But I'm talking about the flavor alone, and hibiscus is underrated as hell. Have you guys ever tried hibiscus drink, too? Like, I go to my taco place, and they got this red punch. And apparently, it is hibiscus. And that is when I open my eyes to how yummy this plant can be and is an absolute A tier in my book. I have tried that actually. I am a connoisseur of Mexican delights and they got it right with all the sugar they put in those drinks. Okay, well it doesn't need that much sugar to be good, but whatever. After that we got yet another banger and that is jasmine tea because I have this deliciousness going straight into S tier. Any tea lover will tell you that jasmine tea is one of their favorites. And if they say otherwise, then they are not real tea lovers. Well, I frankly don't really like jasmine tea. Well, that's because you're not a tea lover, Joe. You're a kitty lover. Okay, that's enough with those type of jokes. You two cracked two jokes like that in our Nesquik tier list, and I was not a fan of those jokes. Okay, I'll change the joke style here. How about this one? What did one lesbian vampire say to the other? Hmm, I don't know. What did they say, Donald? See you next month. Okay, that one is kind of funny, but still gross as hell. Moving on past that, we got some black lapsang, and this one is pretty all right. I don't have a super strong opinion on it, but I still think it merits a B tier. The same cannot be said about black chai because I have that going into S tier, and I may as well rank our next one too because I got green matcha also going into S tier. These two are some absolute bangers. I'm sorry, but every time I hear matcha, I think of Japanese people, and whenever I think of that, I think of that one South Park episode where they have the Japanese and Chinese guy in the show do an assembly for the school. Frail, you're gonna have to roll that clip because the behind the scenes for that episode was absolutely amazing. Today we have a special assembly, okay, to learn about, we're gonna learn about the diversity of Asian people. This part okay, coming up is hilarious. Welcome, Mr. Liu Kim and Mr. Junichi Nakayama. Jesus Christ. Did you know that China and Japan are actually a different countries? Oh, really? Wow, that is so stupidly offensive. I cannot put into words how much that probably offended people. Oh, really? God damn it, Joe. Now you're forever clipped saying that. Anyways, up next we got some oolong tea. And yet again, this is another W in my book because I am a fan of some good oolong tea. I'm thinking an A tier is in order for this one. And unfortunately for us, I think this is the last bit of good tea we'll have because everything I see right now that's left on the list are kind of some stinkers. Now as a non-tea drinker, I wanna know what the hell is the difference between these last set of teas and the ones you had going before it? Well, really it doesn't start till after Orange Pico because I have that going into B tier and actually uh, I have the green sencha going there with it. I really am just hating on the white tea to be honest and it still is better than the things in D tier. So it really is just a pretty mid T, and I have that going into C tier. To be honest, I just can't get over the fact that we played that clip in our video. Don't worry, Barack, I'll end it off with a tried and true Joe dog banger of a joke that won't offend anyone. Him, last Christmas we bought a fake Christmas tree and the guy behind the counter said, are you gonna put it up yourself? And I said, don't be disgusting. I'm gonna put it in the living room, not up myself. Yeah, uh, I think I like the offensive jokes more. What is going on, gang -lang? We are back with another tier list. But this time it is a chocolate bar tier list with a few exceptions because I know Payday, Whoppers, and M&Ms are not candy bars, but you make a couple of exceptions. But for the most part, it is all chocolate. Only reason we even have these is because Joey loves popping those big black Whopper balls in his mouth. You betcha, I love Whoppers the most of those three, to be honest. I'm glad you remembered Donald. Joe, for the love of God, just start the list already before you embarrass yourself even more. Uh, okay, I guess up first we got a 100 grand bar and this is pretty decent. I would definitely eat these if they were just there. So I think B tier is good for the bar. Yeah, Sleepy Joe has a point. They're decent, but I wouldn't keel over if someone said I couldn't have one. 
On God, Donnie T. next, I think everyone here has to agree that the Three Musketeers bar belongs in F tier, and I would place it lower if I could. Agreed. Give anyone this bar, and if they happily eat it, then you know that you would never want to associate with that person ever in your life. You know, I'm surprised that Joey here didn't say they were his favorite. He seems like the type of slow person to like these things. No, they are icky as hell. I'm not a fan of these at all. Anyone that eats these should just stop saying they're chocolate lovers. Same can be said with the Fifth Avenue bar, which is also bad, but I put it one tier above the Three Musketeers. No one should eat or enjoy these things. That is fine and dandy, but I swear to God, Joe, if you don't put this next one up high. Ew, you like Almond Joy? Who the hell likes that gross candy bar? Uh, lots of people do. Who the hell doesn't like coconut and chocolate? On God, Barack, this dude doesn't realize the elite combo chocolate and coconut provide. It deserves at least an A tier. I would even say it should be an S tier. I deadass twerk for Almond Joy. I will jump for joy if someone brings me one. Uh, fine, I'll put it at A tier, but it's honestly like a C tier, if even that, to be honest. Shut your stupid whore mouth, Joey. We will not let you desecrate this delicious treat from God himself. You guys are a bunch of weirdos anyways. Up next, we got a baby Ruth bar. And once again, I think we have hit something pretty mid. I think a C tier is fine because the bar is decent, but like I would not jump for joy if someone gave me one. I would eat it and feel fat, but I wouldn't enjoy it. Stop insinuating that this is on the same level as an Almond Joy by saying, oh, we have mid again, you sleepy fuck. But yeah, I agree that it is simply mid as hell and belongs in C tier. The next thing on the list looks very appetizing though. Now you're speaking my language, Donnie. I love Butterfingers. I will twerk for some Butterfingers and I will confidently place it in S tier. A bit too high, it constantly gets stuck in my teeth, man. It should go in B or A. You simply do not know Ball Barack. I bet you're the type of person to like Charleston Chews. What if I am? Is there a problem with that? Damn right there's a problem that Charleston Chew sucks ass and tastes like Lizzo's gooch after the hardest workout of her life. It will go into D tier. Up next, we got a couple of mid entries. We have Heath bars and Hershey kisses going into C tier. They are all right, but let's be honest, no one is dying over these bars. I can agree with that, I guess, but where do normal Hershey's go? Don't worry, I'm placing Hershey's into B tier and I think it's mainly for legacy reasons, but it is mid, but a good mid. Oh man, though, we got Kit Kats up next and oh my freaking gosh, I will like bust a neck vein from how good these things are. Perfect amount of crunch and flavor on these, and if you get the flavored ones, they are even more elite. It is so weird for me to agree with what Sleepy Joe is saying, but this dude cannot stop spitting facts. Kit Kats are the most elite of chocolate, and they belong in the Hall of Fame for chocolate bars. Agreed, Donnie. And now, unfortunately, we are back to mid, and I have normal M&Ms going into C tier because they're not as good as their peanut butter counterpart. If we had the peanut butter ones that would go to A tier, I'd argue. And even worse, we got a Mars bar here. Shit is garbage and will go into D tier for me, honestly. Okay, now what's wrong with a Mars bar? What isn't wrong with a Mars bar? God, Barack, you just don't get chocolate like I do. And since Barack looks like a milk dud, we might as well rate that too. I will confidently put that into F tier. How the hell do I look like a milk dud? I have hair and the joke would have worked if I were bald, but I'm not. Don't listen to him, Joe Bag. That was a good one. God, I can't believe Barack is here getting decimated by a dementia-ridden old fart. Thanks, Donnie. And God, looking at these next bars, it's all just so mid. I got Milky Way going into C tier and Mr. Good Bar is going into B tier because they're both, once again, just nothing amazing or outstanding. Same can't be said for the Crunch Bar because I will get down on my hands and knees for a good Crunch Bar, which I am confidently putting into A tier. Joey, now you are speaking my language. Milky Way isn't all that because I'd rather have a Twix and I love Crunch. I'd even argue for it in S tier. I disagree. Crunch is a good solid piece and it barely reaches A tier, to be honest. It's nothing amazing, though. It's just a Hershey's bar with a bit of Rice Krispies in it, basically. Yeah, but for what it is, I love the hell out of it. And Barry has a point. It should go into S tier, but I'll keep it in A tier for now. I know what everyone is thinking for this next one, and I know payday isn't chocolate, but it is a bar. A bar that is not good at all and is too dry for my liking, it goes into D tier and barely. Reese's then goes into A tier because peanut butter and chocolate never fails to amaze me. Joey, how the hell is Reese's not an S tier? That shit is amazing as hell. I just want to keep the list even and not have too many S tiers, and unfortunately that did not make the cut. I swear to God, Joe, if you put Snickers and S over Twix. Don't worry, Barry, I got you. I have Snickers in A tier as a very close S tier, but I have Twix over it and have that going into S tier. 
How the hell is Twix and S, but Snickers isn't? That is asinine, and it is rigged like the election was. Yeah, yeah, keep whining. I Then I'm going to put Whoppers into A tier. Hell no, Joey. You are putting that in B tier, and that's that. I do not care how much you like big black balls in your mouth. Fine, it'll go into B tier, but I do love me some big black balls. Is no one going to say anything about what we all just heard? Sorry, Barack, but what's wrong with saying I love some big black balls? Oh, and I guess I like Whoppers, too.